Hello, welcome back everyone. You're here with Brothers Forge Gaming and this is King's Bounty 2. Uh, we were in hour three getting through. We kind of left off right here. There was this massive battle I was in against these crazy elemental golem things. That fight was tough. So uh, I barely made it out of that uh, fight with my life. I wish that it would have not cut off. We were about two hours, 50 minutes into the stream. It cut out. Uh, spoilers, though, I did make it out of the fight alive. I did make it out of the fight alive. And afterwards, we came here, and we're about to go advance to the next part of the quest. I think there was a little bit of dialogue, nothing much, after the fight. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys want to go back and check out that first play, go check it out. First play, King's Bounty 2, first play. Uh, this is basically the second time we're playing this game. But anyhow, there was a key right here. Let's go progress the story. Looking for treasure. Hey, you. Speaking of looking for treasure, scroll. It's like LFG, but I call it LFT. Looking for treasure. I don't know what the background's uh, sounding like, guys. I did lower the music and I raised it back up for this stream, so hopefully if there is background music, you can hear it and it's not just my dumbass well, talking. Nice, dude. Don't you already have those? <laughs> I mean, I guess you see a deal like that, you can't pass them up. Where'd you find those little treasures at? Hmm? No, can't open that door. But yeah, some of the things I talked about yesterday, you know... Whoa, something's happened. Ooh, elevator lever. You know it is. Oh, you didn't get them. Oh, dude, sword. Yes. God, now I feel properly prepared. How do I equip that? Yes, equip. Boom. I don't know if you can equip things on other guys. I did buy that. Let's see, how much is this sword worth? Nice, a lot more. I don't know what Warfare does. I can't figure out where to find what stuff tells you it is. I'm assuming that 650 is my leadership. You, have, you can only have so many troops per amounts of leadership that you have, so that's another balancing kind of number you have to, to figure out. But I don't really know where it says, and I don't know what the Warfare bonus is. I'm assuming it's like your attack, maybe? Ah, oh, dude, nice. That's pretty good. We're at at the record store. Oh, gong. Don't fear the Reaper, but don't forget your gong, you know what I'm saying? Useless trash. Okay, so I guess it's useless trash. I know, man, I've been out of the game hunting scene so long, it's just like any time you do it, it's either, you know, stuff you already have or whatever. Oh, cool, at the antique store. That's a good find, then. Ooh, pouch of gold hiding in there. Uh, this, the deals are still out there, you know, but that's the other thing. you got to be out there. And then also, you know, just the availability of certain things. And um, I've been having a great time with the wrestlers, so I'm glad I've been doing that. It's a lot It's a lot more easy, you know, for us and less time intensive to, to find really cool stuff that we're into. But, yeah, I do definitely miss getting games, looking around games. I still have probably 10 games sitting on my desk I need to clean. So I'm not in any real hurry to go get more carts and things that... Uh, I don't have time to clean. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely miss. Those scores are excellent. It's not so easy. I should think a bit harder. <laughs> really? Okay. There are others like that. Are there now? Oh. What am I supposed to get? It? Nice. Warrior's gloves. Yeah, we ran out earlier, but, um... Nothing fun like that. Okay, heading up here. No, I definitely, man, at some point in my Where is time, everyone? I want to play through so many old games. There's just so much fun. Such good games I haven't had a chance to play. But that's, realistically, I've been trying to figure out what to do with that stuff. You know what I mean? Because you can do playthroughs, you can do walkthroughs, you can do all these different things. But I think I just want to sit down and every game I play, I'm going to beat. So I'm like, all right, today... I'm playing Barbie Sports on PlayStation 1. I'm going to beat the shit out of this game. And that's what's going to happen. And that's where I want to get, like, dinking and dunking. Like, we're bread and butter. We did retro reviews and stuff growing up on this in, on YouTube. You know, we did those quick things and whatnot. And they're great. And, and people like them. And, and I had fun doing them. And, you know what I mean? I'd like, I wouldn't mind doing some more stuff like that again. 
But realistically, when I get to want to sit down and play these games, I want to beat them. I want to, you know, if they're worth my time, I want to sit there and invest the time into them and play them and beat them. So that's kind of where I want to get with that. And currently, you know, I'm lucky to get an hour, two hours to do this kind of stuff. And that just ain't enough to beat old retro games that don't let you save or don't, you know, are hard as hell or whatever. These fornications laid, <laughs> fornications laid down in the third year of King Claudius region were completed in four years. Okay. You know, this, the, this game actually has great pacing for me because I can start... Oh, ring it. You can ring my... No, I won't sing. I can't hit that high note. Hey, yo. Uh-oh. I should have talked to that other guy first. Dang it. Hold right there. Let's see your letter of passage. Now. Let me see your passport. Let me see your papers on the cable. Have at them, boys. Take no prisoners. I don't know if they're level four. They're strong, eight percent. We'll have to see. So I may send my ghouls after them, or I may try to come around the the back door here with with them. Dude, this a lot of this reminds me of actually playing old school Warhammer, dude. Fantasy. The troops and the movement and the way it kind of things go down, dude. It's it's very similar. So if you like that kind of strategy in games, you know this might be a good game for you. It definitely has that that uh, Games Workshop feel to it. So I want to get the archers. So they're putting them right here in the middle and making me go around. This is this is gonna be interesting. I I don't know. I'm I'm having I, at the beginning. I said this game was pretty easy, but uh, depending on if you can go back and kind of get gold somehow. Um, I'm coming to the point where if I keep losing too many guys, I'm not going to have any troops to fight. I may, I might have screwed up by kind of splitting everything and getting too many different kinds of troops to begin with. I maybe should have stuck with the original guys and leveled them up and, you know, figured that out. So, we'll see. I can actually hit them, but see, this is going to be sacrificing my ghouls. What does this do? Deal 115 damage a minute when the purge is all wounded. Huh. I don't know what purges does. I guess that takes away the thing. But so I could go all the way over there and hit them. And they have an execution. So I may wait because... What kind of movement do these guys have? Four movement and they can reach that far. These guys have three movement. So I think I'll wait. Let's see what goes down. Why did you guys skip your turn? I thought I... Oh, what the hell was that? Somebody cast weakness on my ghouls? See? Dude, that ain't right. So see how they're almost dead? I need to cast a heal on these guys. Let's heal them up. Well, I can heal and move at the same time. Maybe I should move first. Oh no, actually I like them right there. There it is. Wow, 43. That's pretty good. Okay, so I can still move. I can defend. I can move here. I don't really know what those archers are doing. What's these guys' movement? as three, so they shouldn't be able to come over this far. But now I can't defend. I, you know, this is kind of where I wanted them to come up the pipe here. Those are the swordsmen, though, so they're pretty awesome. How am I attacking them from here? Through the mar Oh, I can attack through this marshland here. Interesting. If I want to get over that far yet, I might go stock them up over here. Let's do it. Might as well Let's start engaging these troops. So I could cast a heal on them to keep them alive. Let's see what kind of magic I got here. More healing light. It's expensive to buy these scrolls too, so I may end up losing a spearman. I'm gonna have to just get used to that. I think the scrolls are actually less than buying the heals. Hmm. Sixty to eighty. Sixty to ninety. Hmm. Alright. What's this? Uh huh, interesting. And it gives you an armor increase? How do I use...
All right, all right. Well, we have some technical difficulties there. We're getting disconnected. Don't know what that's all about. Could it be because of the music? I don't know. It didn't look like it. Oh, whoops. I hit the wrong bit. And... But we're back. We'll see if it is the... If it is the indeed the music. Got to get chat back up here. Sorry about that, guys. Trying to figure out this battle map here. Easy was getting some games, getting some scores. But we're back at it. If you guys are looking for gameplay on this and you're wondering if you should buy it, like I said, if you like RPGs, if you like strategy games, you, sh you should probably enjoy this. And if, if you're no games to play right now, I'd say grab it. If not, if you could wait, maybe wait for it to go on sale, I think you'd be all right. So I can't figure out how to use this armor increase. Does it do both? Because that's pretty awesome. I think I'm going to do it. Okay. No, I want to stand here. Or do I want to stand here and be blocked from the... Yeah, that actually sounds kind of cool. Is this terrain bad for me, though? It doesn't say. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a shot, though. Maybe I won't be able to attack here. Here we go. Get him, skeleton. Too bad these guys pushed out or they could have charged in there. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, my ghouls can get in there. Nice. Hit him. I don't know how I earn or store AP or whatever, but I'm just using it up. Yeah, these ghouls are nice, dude. Right, maybe if so, these guys are strong. If I hit them with a spell, I might be able to save some of my ghouls. But at this point, I'm just going to kind of use them. And I don't know if having these undeads in my army is hurting me. And they don't. I mean, they're good. Don't get me wrong. Ghouls are great. They have high strength and attack. Nowhere to get more if I need them. Oh, they get to attack again? What the hell is going on here? Oh, I just need to be able to kill. What did I just do? Is the question. Okay, well, I have Freezing Ray. I could use those on the archers who are probably going to do some work. Yeah, why don't I do that? Because I just don't like them. Maybe it'll slow them down or something. Maybe they won't get to attack me now, which would be nice. Save some troops. Oh, okay, so they do get to attack, and then I can actually defend, which is really cool. Oh, see, now those guys are going to get in the way. Let's go wait for now. Can I attack them? I can't attack them. Okay, so I shall wait as they burn. Ooh. I didn't lose a swordsman, I might be able to heal him. Or, uh... Oh, wow. So they tried to backdoor my ghouls. You will pay for your backdooring. See, now, even if I heal them... Ghoul, that, see, that could be useful. Skeletons. Get one full hill over here. It's easy. I'd heal these guys, but they're kind of out of the fray at the moment. The so skeletons are ghouls. Cool. See, that might only give it that much. That shows you. I could wait. Hit those skeletons. Healing skeletons generally isn't a good thing. It usually hurts your skeletons in really old school D&D. Man, how did they get to get attacked twice? I guess I should have healed my ghouls. Dude, my ghoulies are dead! Oh! Getting down on the ghoulies. Swordsmen are too slow. Would it be faster than come back around now? Because those archers are just going to keep coming over the top on me. March! Awesome, yeah. Going for the kill. That's what I'm talking about. Kick their asses.
Interesting. Maybe the archers can't shoot more than a certain amount of times, because why the hell would they run all the way over there? Oh, these guys can actually shoot as well. Interesting. Or I could keep healing my guys. I shoot them and do some damage. Pretty cool. You guys are useful. Wow, my spearmen can actually get them. Nice. Let's go. Back door, see? And they're still alive. Done. Get them, skellies. Man, I wish I could necromance. It'd be like my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. So heal them all. That's what you want to do. It's actually, yeah, about the same price. I w did he level up? Did he level up? Oh, I better heal him all before I start screwing around. No, what the hell? Rank one. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how to rank them up. It shows their rank, but maybe they're only always level one. Awesome, got gold, got scrolls, crystal gems. Beat this level four marauder. Took him down. Those aren't our men. They're bandits. Hey, answer me. <laughs> Dude, they probably ran a check on us and stopped my stream while doing it. We're not cut out for this. Because you know how they like to roll. Destroy them! Every last one! Oh, damn, double fights? Who are you running from? Them? I told you not to be afraid. Oh shit. Is that a red dragon? Light him up. Yes. Now, dragons are pretty cool. You are immortal. I, the great dumb razzle, grant you permission to ask Ooh, a, single, a question. single question. The old adage is true. The side with the dragon always prevails. <laughs> what are you doing here, great old? Why he ask that? You're one I question. I was paying a debt to an old elf. My promise is fulfilled, and now I'm free. Thank your patron. And farewell, mortal. What a silly question. What a waste of a question. Why not ask him where all his treasure is? Or join me. Victory is ours! See to the wounded, haste the horse, hide it to Marcella for sucker, call out to the knights of the guard, now! Or rather, as you were. The fight seems to be over. Horus, Legate of the Royal Guard, at your service. Ivar, formerly top spear of the Guard, now an exile and mercenary. Glad to see you too, Horus. You were a good squire, and yet I see you've become a Legate. Since when? Not that long ago. The previous Legate, Thurbert, died during an overseas campaign, so the Royal Council promoted me. So now you're in command of all those Baron's sons? Can't be an easy task, given your origins. <laughs> They'll just have to deal with it, won't they? Are you alright? Ready to press on? Horus, an attempt was made on my life but moments ago. A perilous skirmish. You must investigate. I need to take you to Magnus's Bastion. My men will investigate the Batil Gates attack and question the survivors. Right now, we're headed for the court. As you know, royalty never likes to be kept waiting. Loyal subjects, I, King of Nostrum, by the grace of Elu, have gathered you here today. The time has come to renew our oath. Cease! Cease, rulers of the world! The time of oath 
is over. The blight is coming. It cometh quicker and quicker. Devastation awaits. Death and ruin. No one will be spared. But the Savior has already come. He is among you. Kathor, shut him up! Accept this path, Chosen One. Follow it to the end. Do not fear, for I will meet you in the void. Don't let... Stop! To Crucis with him! our valiant guard with loot the king's counselor Montier what does he want wait I require but a moment of your time well your excellency this personage has an audience with his highness Prince Adrian ah the prince is so fidgety but he's not waiting for you is he Horace I have some questions for you Please stay. And you, go keep your appointment with the Prince. But afterwards, return to me immediately. It is a matter of utmost importance. What's happening in the Royal Guard, Legget Horus? We serve, as we always have. And what did you find out about the Batil Gates incident, my good man? Your Excellency? When you were attending to our Prince's whims, did you conduct an inspection? Found all the traitors, have you? Interrogated every living creature, every bird. The stones, too, I assume. Sniffed out any evidence of treason, skullduggery, clapped the perpetrators in irons, warmed up the rack. Um, no. The prince gave me no such assignment. Well, what are you waiting for, my lackadaisical friend? Get on your horse and ride ahead to reconnoiter. Check everything over with your own two eyes. Don't besmirch the reputation of the defenders of the throne and kingdom. Hurry up. Oligar will command the royal guard in your absence. Alright, well it looks like we completed the first map. Instead we got to a new one. Maybe we haven't gotten a new map yet. There was actually one quest I did not complete here. So hopefully it lets us go back uh, to finish that up or we'll see. So we're basically to the second place here to talk to the prince. Who's that? Maybe I'll get some new troops. Who's what? Yeah. Let's log. Don't you think our reception's under Adrian become rather dark? Prince? Hello. Hmm. Yes. First order of business? I gave the order to release you not out of mercy or any misguided belief in your innocence. You've been released because I find myself in need of a capable agent. Is that so? I'll take it. Listen to me closely now, and no interruptions. Whilst my poison-struck father remains incapacitated, I must bear the weighty burden of the crown as Keeper of the Kingdom of Nostria. A few days ago, a... a calamity occurred at the Monpatry Mage Factory. Several people died. My subjects. Since then, I haven't learned a single true thing about the incident. The mages are searching for signs of necromancy, while Montier claims it's an act of sabotage by the Artisanians. The Lowborn are milling about in a panic, spreading wild rumors on the wind like grain for hens. The Royal Guard tarries, even the acclaimed spies of the Adepts of Darkness can give me no straight answer. Thus I, Prince Adrian, heir to Nostria by the grace of the Creator, command you to carry out an investigation. But do not forget, until this task has been fulfilled to my satisfaction, you will not truly be free. Go, perform this deed with full royal backing. Uncover the truth of what happened at the Mage Factory. There are people camped near Marcella. 
They call themselves Monpatri refugees. Start with them, and do not rest until you find out the true cause of the catastrophe. Alright, I need to talk to this counselor, it sounds like. There. So yeah, uh, another trophy had proc. What's about you, you know? What's that one called? Let's see if I can see it still. I don't know if it popped up. It's something about the below zero. So these trophies are popping, but I don't even think they're counting on. Uh, well, let me go see. This is gonna close the stream down, or well, at least the. Uh, so yeah, they're popping, but they're not actually counting. But they're popping, so that's weird. We'll we'll see what goes on with this trophy set. I've actually never seen a game come out where the trophy set doesn't show up on the list, but I'm also earning the trophies. Like they're like I'm saying, they're popping up on the screen saying I'm earning them, but they're not actually counting for my for my trophies in there. Like I said, I can't even access the King's Bounty two uh, trophies. They're not there. So there's some funky stuff going on there right now, guys. Are, my dearest friend. I'll let the, the day one jitters maybe. Let's not waste words. So what's going on? Those murderers and villains trampled on Nostria's honor when they donned the uniform of our guards and attacked you. In broad daylight, in an impregnable fortress, oh creator, outrageous, unspeakable, impossible. But my resilient friend never fear, for you are in good hands. While you were taking your meeting with the prince, my people figured everything out. Those conspirators needed you. They wanted to get to the king with your help, and... But how can we even think on such things? It would mean the ruin of the kingdom. The point. Can we get to it, please? We found out where the Black Guards are hiding, and have already dispatched both our regular guard and a detachment of Royal Guards to that location. The Conspirator's house is in the Market Square, at the Southern Gate. I suggest you hurry if you want a hand in thrashing those rascals. <laughs> the rascals. They must be destroyed. Immediately. If not sooner. Mm. My assistant Bardolph will provide a travel allowance to cover your first expenses. Go. The Royal Council is counting on you. Sir Montier, what a wonderful yeah. speech. I will collect my reward. Distinguished Bardolph, you have to understand. We yesterday. Oh, I guess I could listen to those guys. And today you're acting in Prince Adrian's name. Hmm. Take this. Your allowance from his excellency, Royal Advisor August Montier. Sir Montier wishes you the best of luck in scouring our lands of schemers and traitors. Damn right. Uh, I shall listen. Oh, I got a shield? Nice. Maybe they'll start talking again. Oh, I should have listened to these guys talking before I did that. My bad. Sometimes you get answered. Did I level up? Oh, hell yeah. Power ideal units. I have order and anarchy, so I should maybe do. Let's try to do order units. I want to go anarchy, but power. And yeah, let's do that. Oh, I can't add an. Oh, I need two points. So you need two points to do a second level in there. Okay, that's kind of rough. Try to get more credit, but yeah, I definitely need more um, morale. It's it's actually affecting my guys pretty bad. That's why resistance. So yeah, I guess I'll have to wait. Awesome, got a shield. Legendary item. Morale plus one. Okay, I'll take it. From another world. So even though I have this. Morale. It should be even, right? Hmm. Okay, so I got plus so it should just be no bonus. Okay, perfect. It's always good to have a morale bonus, but a, a morale negativity is what we don't want. Is that your phone? 
Everybody's breaking stuff. How cool is that dragon, though? Damn, that was cool. 200 XP. I'll take it. Find the refugee camp. Entrance oh. is forbidden to anyone not on this list. Who are you? I am Gilda Crespin, the Queen's former lady-in-waiting. My son went to the mage factory and vanished. I demand the Crown take action and find him. Uh, I will pass your request on to His Excellency, Councillor Montier. Perhaps His Excellency will consent to your request and send a rescue party in search of your son. Montier used to serve me tea, and now I must beg his kindness from the front stoop. Oh, Creator, is there no one who can help me? Are you from the Citadel? Where are you headed? I just came from there. What's this about? I am Gilda Crespin. My son Albert went to the Mage Factory and never returned. It was right around the time of the disaster. The Mage Factory is locked down because of the quarantine. Surely you know this. Oh! If only someone would hear me out. Yesterday, I was approached by some suspicious people who asked about my son. They said Albert had recently been seen near the Mage's Tower. Now that is a different matter. He might be an important witness to the events at Montpatrie. If you see my Albert, pray tell him his dear mother is in a state of righteous outrage and demands he return home at once. That serpent, Ursula, bewitched him. First she compelled him to marry her, now she's lured him to the other end of the country. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not what I wanted. No, because that's not anywhere near here. Okay. So that should be closer by. Let's go see if we can find royal some subjects of the king. In troops. the name of his royal majesty, King Claudius, sovereign of Nostria, defender of the realm, the citizens of this noble city, and our most noble and esteemed guests, we are to let no one from Monpatri enter Marcella, so as to ward ourselves from the threat of deadly plague. That poisons the air and land of the Mage Factory. Be wary and be vigilant, for these virtues go hand in hand. Keep your families safe, for death by plague is long and full of suffering. Signed, Count Montier. May his will be unhindered. Furthermore, in the name of his royal majesty, King Claudius, sovereign of Nostria, defender of the realm. All visitors from roads leading to the Mage Factory are to be quarantined. Violation of the quarantine will be punished by exorbitant fines, and no one may enter the afflicted land. Signed, Archmage Caithorn. May his will be unhindered. Furthermore, the forecast by Archmage Caithorn in all a lot. his mighty wisdom. The town cry. The skies shall be clear for the entirety of the coming week. The mana reserves are low, so no rain shall be summoned. The night sky shall be clear. The days shall be warm, and the flies shall be moderate in number. The heavenly bodies shall grant a boon to those who seek to travel far and are decisive. Seek new knowledge and unveil old secrets. That's all for today. May you live in peace, good people of Nostria. Kind of funny with the it's sort of relevant to what's happening. <laughs> He's talking about a plague. That's crazy. Hey, get, get out of my way. Yeah, hey yourself, buddy. Wanna fight? Wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? Yeah, see this is why you wanna look around. You find this stuff. I don't know if there's only a certain amount of junk you can carry without bending, so we'll see if that comes to be a thing. 
but he's just going to keep talking. You can hear him from all the way over here. Defender of the crown. You hear that easy? He's calling you, telling you to play. Defender of the crown. Oh, this might go. Some other quest over there. We'll save this side for a bit. I don't want to get too far away from what I was doing. So he sells a bunch of stuff. I don't know if selling to different vendors gets you different stuff. So we'll just sell all of our... Because you know what? If I can only hold this much stuff. So let's sell all this trash. Lots of gold. I don't even know what I sold. Can I sell this? Quite a bit of cash now. Hopefully I didn't just sell something I was needing. Yeah, this guy just has mead. Fifty thousand. This must be like in-game armor right here. Fifty thousand. I was just thinking, like, oh, I've got lots of gold. Maybe what it is with magic is once you learn it, or you get a scroll, you can research it so that you don't have to keep having scrolls. Maybe that's the benefit of being a mage. Potentially, you could spec to where you cast multiple spells in a turn as well. Would you like to go for a walk? A walk? Well, I love going for walks. And by walk, I mean. On horseback. That can easily be arranged. There we go. XP 50. Very good. Look for some more treasure. Hey, look at that. You gotta look for those pouches of gold and a, and a jewel in there. Very nice. Oh, beauty of beauty. What are you doing here? Why are the floors still dirty? It's not my fault, my lady. More I don't freaking wear that cow hat. Warfare plus one. What is this going to be? Health plus one. Oh, I like my warfare. I mean, health plus one is good. Stop that pushing, or I'll push back. Really? You want some? Stop that pushing, or I'll push back. Let's do it, dude. Stop that pushing, or I'll push back. <laughs> we talked a big game. All right. Where are you guys? Twin sprites. <laughs> Write a book. Give you some time to read through it, and of course you can pause and go back if you need to. Generally I'll read it, kind of skimming it, and uh, you know, if you guys are reading along, hopefully you'll be on it. <laughs> she always whipped me on weekends. She prepared me for the inevitability of being. That's funny. Yeah, time to get your weekly beatings. This town's huge. I'm already lost.
I really am thinking that I should have been a mage. Thought maybe being a warrior would be kind of this kind of like the easy way to go, but it seems like I'm really catering toward mages so far. Is this the main court? Man, this place is so big. I'm like freaking lost. Can't remember if there was everything, if I hit everything in the courtyard. Nothing cool at Walmart? Dude, I think I just went the wrong way. Wait, did I talk to this guy? I did not. See, ooh, they have swordsmen. Hell yeah, dude. Only carry three, because, okay, see, so that's how that works. So they're 240 leadership per unit plus 400 gold. So since I only have 750 leadership, I can acquire three of them. For 720. See how that works? So eventually I can get more of them. Those guys are pretty beefy. I can't buy more spear, uh, spearmen. I, they don't have healers. I could try to buy some archers for reserves. Archers are decent. 200. I could get uh, 50 slots. And, you know, spearmen. The healers are pretty good. I could bench these guys. I could actually try to have all order troops and see if that helps. Me get. That's one of the bugs I was talking about. Like, if you're on something and it, like, the icons won't work, so I couldn't use move to reserves there until I move off and go back. These guys aren't bad, but let's see if I can. I do have some hounds. At least the hounds, man. So now let's let's actually let's take a look at what their morale is. If that was actually helping me. So plus one, plus one. So none of those other things are helping me. So I can actually take these units and respec order, which is something I might do actually to try to get more beneficial things. But you know, if you get to the point where you run out of troops, that could be bad. All right, I wish I could get healers here. Well, who knows? They might have other other armies here that I can use. So it could be. The dogs were good, but they seem to get attacked pretty easily. And maybe I'll wait. I'll bring these archers in. Maybe I can find something better than the dogs of war. Oh, uh, really? I was going to ask you if your stream got interrupted earlier. I, I figured because it kind of looked like it ended abruptly that they they stopped you. It's becoming a real irritant, man. I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. Does anybody else out there in the YouTube world that's streaming, getting constantly their stream stopped and their stuff blocked and, and just having that whole, that whole problem of, you know, just general... I know, because, well, yeah, it was, we were, we took a stop, so I, I tuned back in, and I, you were not streaming anymore, so I was like, oh, I bet you something happened. Yeah, anybody else out there experiencing that? We, we're basically just under fire at all times. We can't do nothing. We can't do anything. So how much is there? Will it last a week? Uh, well... Well, standing next to a well. Some kind of estimate. Uh... Not that long then. We'll be out of fresh water soon. Where is Eugene? What is he thinking? Good afternoon. Could you direct me to the refugee camp, please? Refugee camp? Do I look like someone who gives a <laughs> fig about such trifles? Why yes. not? You're a city official after all. As far as I know, the prince is yet to appoint someone to take charge of the refugees. Me, I'm in charge of the cisterns and that blasted aqueduct. What's wrong with it? It's old and magical to boot. Few people even understand how it works. I thought this master who studied at the mage school would fix things. 
But that idiot Eugene hasn't been any help at all. It's been eight days already. The reserves are running low. The cisterns will be empty in a week. What can that lazy bum be thinking? Hmm. All right. For somebody else. I thought I saw kind of a nook over here, Lower Marcellus. So, so it's kind of hard to so keep track of where you're going. Well, if you're looking for all of the treasure, which I am. Uh, well, I'm already turned around in the city. So maybe it respawns, maybe it's random. Uh, you know. Snip. Snip. Okay. This guy. The level two? Are these like nomads? I bet you they are. Oh, hey, cool, dude. Fizzy will be into that, I bet. Let's see, how many of these guys can I have? I can have one. They're probably pretty good, but... Level two. Gonna need some more... For that. Does it show these guys on their map? Who's traders? Okay, so it does. It shows you quests. It shows you all sorts of stuff. Man, this place is actually huge. So it did get the crow lands. Ah, oh, there's a way to zoom out. Oh, so I am scaled out. So this place is huge. I do need to go back to the other land and try to figure out my quest. Wow, I don't... So... I mean, is this it? Is it those, the starting area and then this? I mean, this is huge. I can't imagine there's going to be another map. This game is massive. I think this is an example of one of those quests that if it takes too long, those people get mad at you. I'm probably not going to rush over there. Uh, you know, I, I like to kind of systematically go through these places and find different stuff, so... They might get mad at me. I might try to swing back over this way. I guess I can't go this way. Thought maybe I could. Do I have to go around again? Here, yeah. horsey. By the time you call your mount and, and ride on him and dismount, um. You're almost better off not summoning the mount because you have to to get off, you know, to it's find anything, talk to anybody, grab anything. Filthy. You need to uh, not be on the mount. I said, give me a drink. Move it, move it, move it. Doesn't buy you a drink around here. Hey, you. Do you even know anybody? I know who I need to know. Hmm. Do you know Cutter? Hmm? I do. <laughs> I wonder if these are the same. Hardworking maidens. A voluptuous figure and references. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know what I think when I look out from here? Yes. What? What a beautiful view. It is mm. a beautiful view, but why did they take down the wall? Why do we need it? What if somebody attacks? Somebody who? We've been safe here for a thousand years. That doesn't mean we're safe now. You know what's going on. No. What's going on? What is there to trouble us? Times are grim. People are robbing each other, fighting wars. And then there's the plague. They're all delusional. Or simply telling tales. There's no plague. <laughs> How do this you is know? crazy right now. I don't know. I just believe. Everything will be fine. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if when they wrote this game they were they were taking current events into into account or it's just that coincidental that 
what was happening during these times is just kind of you know what finding its way back up. Just do it, Pops. Take the goods and we're done here. Bludgeon doesn't need no dirty wares. I'm not taking it. What do you mean, dirty? You sure you went tailed? What about the seals? We clean? Cleaner than a prince's backside. Shh. Who's that? What? Where? Did you find it? Shut it, you idiot. It said you silly wag, and I guess I said idiot. So the text was different than the... Dialogue that was interesting. I guess cute. Cool. Well, I'm gonna tell you this game is really making me want to play ESO, so I, I may end up doing that. Maybe bouncing back and forth between the two games until Diablo 2 comes out, and then I'm gonna be really into that. About the savior of Nostra, we've heard all the savior jokes already. It's the one with the cat and the dog. The cat is traitor. No. Well, I can buy one more healer. I did like the healers. Oh wow. And these are going to buy just one. So here's where you're going to be able to start getting all your different troop types if you're wanting to kind of branch out. It would be awesome to have all those guys in the reserve so that uh, if you were fighting certain kinds of enemies, you could. Uh, you know, start powering up those guys. Who's this guy? Hello there. What's up, Dwayne? I have a few words with you. What do you want? I can see you're a capable sort, and I bet you aren't afraid of getting in a pickle from time to time. I'm a wanderer, just like you. Gee, how rude! I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Dwayne. The I'm Rock Johnson. Hunter. Everyone's heard of me. Well, I haven't heard of you. <laughs> yes, I'm not That's everyone. That's because I'm a wanderer, as I said. I come from Mersalyn. I've been plenty of places. Visiting the elves in Marion, sailing to Port Le Grand on a Lear. And what does the famous treasure hunter need from me? It involves treasure, naturally. I know of a find that will make us both rich. After we fight a vicious monster for it, I mean. I discovered a cache of valuables, you see. A precious amulet and a pile of gold. But evil is a loggy, and his gifts as well. I was on my knees, gathering the gold into a sack, <laughs> oh, man. when a monster crawled out of the dark and took a piece out of my leg. I had to flee. I got away with my life and not much else. Now here's what I'm offering. Bring me the amulet, and I'll pay 5,000 wow. coin for it. Oh, Quite yeah. a windfall, isn't it? Dwayne, the treasure hunter, knows where the money's at. Get me? Yeah, it sounds like you're sending me on a death mission, jerk face. How's the treasure hunting going? Not yet. Well. Okay. So there is a definitely a lot going on in this game so far that I've seen. Tons of extra quests. Really, that beginning part felt to serve as the tutorial, and now I feel like we're opening up to the open world experience of this game. Quests, so many quests. I don't even know where to start, where to begin, what to do. Uh, enough, plenty to keep you busy here. Gives you lots of choices, lots of options. You stay where you are. The way is open to knights of the guard only. Mm. I come from Councillor Montier. What's going on here? Are you chief of the guards? The guards' job is to catch pickpockets and keep the road clear of loiterers. I am a knight of the royal guard. A search is underway. We're guards. We received word that some traitors are holed up here. The same villains who conspired to attack the Batil gates. No one was found in the house or yard. I'm waiting on one more squad to report. They went to investigate the cellar. Strangely, I've had no word from them for quite a while. Doesn't that seem suspicious to you? Why don't we go take a look for your missing soldiers? Well, since the King's Counselor sent you, you may pass. My orders... From the legate of the royal guard, Horus, are to stay here. Alright, so I could continue to look around. Go back there. That. Oh no, so I'm not trying to find... 
not this one. Okay, cool. So this is the one I want to track. It's easy. The quest log isn't the easiest thing to navigate there because it's really hard to tell what quest is what. Where you're going. So I guess I'll go down there even though I've got some... Well, I could go actually look in the courtyard and, and hopefully not get lost. <laughs> Damn you, layabouts. Damn layabouts. Hmm. All right, I only want to go see here real quick in case there's other guys selling me troops. Okay, who's this guy? All right. Oh, wow. So he's maybe like a... You know, if you're a mage type, you could sell the trash. Lots of cash. Oh, here's this guy. <laughs> oh. You silly mage type. You've been to Upper Marcella? Pray tell, haven't you seen them? Calm down. Have I seen who? Calm down. Has that ever worked to calm anybody down when you tell them to calm down? Okay, it's a really stupid story. I promised to deliver these chicks to the royal kitchen, but... My useless son dropped the chick's cage, and now they've scattered all over Marcella. They must be filling out a tasty chicken stew by now. How can you say that? A single one of those chicks is worth more than a war horse. I'll pay 50 gold pieces a head for those chicks if that's what it takes to get them back. I can't afford a breach of contract with the royal kitchen. My entire business depends on it. Yeah, I don't really want to go find those chickens, though. I'll tell you that much. Andre. Listen, kid. I'm the only one who can help you now. Either you tell me everything, or you're going to find yourself in some deep trouble. Now, I've got plenty of that already. Now, I'm no kid. My name is Andre. Out with it then, Andre. <laughs> Where did you lose those precious little chicks of yours? Yeah, sure. I was taking them to the Citadel, like my dad told me. But I didn't go there right away. All those steps and the heat and, well, I decided to grab a drink. Since I didn't have much coin, I headed for a lower town. I had a sip, grabbed the cage, and was running back to the gate. It's always so crowded around there. I wasn't looking where I was going and slammed right into... What did you slam right into? Not what. Who? It was Will Cutter himself. He knocked me clear across the street. I dropped the cage and the chicks just scattered in every direction. I've got no idea why he left me alive. He just took one of the chicks and said, a parting gift. Then he put his boot to my ass and told me to go back to my dad. But please, don't tell. Dad, don't let me touch the strong stuff. He'll slap me senseless. <laughs> there you go, easy. Manster. Oh, yeah. Got Nordstrin sword. I have health and armor for that one. I don't believe I have any chainmail yet. Okay, so you can't look at what you're equipped. Can I look at my backpack? No. Okay, so I'm gonna go look at that. Gloves, belts, all this stuff is expensive. Bowman plus fifteen. Dang, this is the guy I need to come see. Twenty four hundred. I might need to buy troops, so I don't want to fill up on this stuff just yet. But let me check and see. I don't have... Oh, I do have armor. Okay. I have some armor. I need a belt and I need some rings and a necklace. Looks like you could get a better mount, maybe? I'll hold off on buying that because I feel like I'm going to need some more gold. I've been getting to the point where I'm almost out of gold and can't resurrect or buy troops, so... But hang on to that. That guy does have some nice things, but I have been finding some stuff about... Okay, so let's get back to it over here, was it? I'm going to talk to that guy, talk to this guy. Alright, wait a minute. I'll talk to that guy, so it is through here. Alright, well we'll see where this goes. And uh, this is this is a lot, man. This has been very overwhelming. 
um, a ton of, like I said, we were kind of in this lower area where it was like, oh, do this one thing, do this one thing, and then, you know, da da da, one quest to the next, uh, one battle after the other kind of thing. Then you get to here, and it's like, bam. Now you've got all of this to have to <laughs> figure out. And, and that's not even that. I mean, this is just all the quests I've got when I walked into this first area. I mean, this is insane. I can't process all this stuff, so I might need to go uh, <laughs> take a little break. You know what I'm saying? Come back. I'm definitely going to be doing some streaming on this back and forth. I, this is, like I said, this is really making me want to play ESO, which is more of like a hack and slash action adventure style game. I'm just going to back. Oh, no, that's a flask of whiskey. But the problem with that is is that I want to buy... I want to be the Necromancer class if I'm going to play that game again. And uh, I really don't know if I want to spend $15 to buy one class, but I might. Um, and then that way Easy and I can play together too, which is always which is always good. So far, is to the best of my knowledge, this is a single-player game. Whether or not they're going to add multiplayer that would be pretty cool if you like to play online That's and you I do those. Hell yeah. You know, if you're into that whole multiplayer business online and uh, wanting to do that, it could be a nice challenge. That's what I call a seller. Yeah, city map. Oh, did that make it any easier to see? Just for sale. Okay, I thought maybe it would help me. Lots of gold in here. Rumple still skin. Aye, the great King Maximus. Frostguard, a Cyclops. Jeez. Yeah, kind of what I was getting at is this is a, this is a game to take progressively, doing a quest or two at a time, a battle or two at a time. Try not to get overwhelmed. There's a lot going on here. So for me, it'd be like, okay, I, you know, I don't really feel like. Or I don't have the time for a uh, big battle, doing a dungeon, doing something with uh, easy, any of that. I just, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to play a single player game, take my mind off of stuff for a while, I'll just go around uh, fighting and, and you know doing these dialogues, doing these quests and doing some of these different things. And for this, for that purpose, this game, okay, so that says the same thing. For This game has holds a ton of value that way. And a lot of it is, is, you know, basically this whole stream I've just been walking around, talking to people, looking for uh, items, and, you know, like I said, uh, if you want to go back and watch the first play of this, we did a lot of battling, kind of like a more overall sense of what you get when you play the game. If there's a key, there must be a door. Oh yeah, I did find a key. Hmm. My simpleton of a sister. However... There is a ton of reading in this game as well. So, uh, oh, another key. Okay. Okay, I'm going to open that from this side. So, I mean, just if you're looking for story, uh, involvement, immersion, it's you've got it in this game. Not messing around in that department. Let's go take a look around. What are you fiddling with? This cursed thing won't open. Just press harder. <laughs> Not much. Papers. Oh, no. getting attacked. <laughs> Snipe. Come on. Come here, you bony bastard. Oh, back shot. All right, well, it looks like we're going to fight after all. I need, might need to add some units. Oh wow, they have six. Three, one. Those are good. Man, are those vamps? Oh, zombies. Those guys look crazy. Ho <laughs> ho! Plague me out. Giant skeleton? What? Four of those guys. I feel like I need some more troops here. I can't add any to this point. I could retreat. So I'm wondering if you add more, if it gives you. Like, would it give them more troops? 78 to 1400, so very 114. Three zombies to my archers. I don't know if I have enough melee, that's the problem. They don't have any range, though, so I may be able to kind of sit back and pick them off. Zombies are generally pretty slow. They're, you've got fire. You hit them with some fire. I do have flaming arrows here. 
I don't back down from a fight. I haven't saved in a while, so... Oh, it says Deadly Enemy. Maybe that is bad. Okay, so let's see. Maybe I can add some troops to here. I could add these guys and then hurt my morale, but I do have five of them. Bring some skeletons. Right, let's see if it still says Deadly Army now. That just hurt their thing. I had good morale. Let's see. Very strong enemy. Okay, so... Ultimately, that might not be the best bet for me right now. Maybe I can come back here and destroy the undead in the dungeons. This could progressively get more difficult for me. So maybe I am to come back to this quest here. Let's see what other quests I have going on here. Let me take these guys out. So I need to get some more troops. Better troops, more leadership, more swordsmen to come back and take on this fight. Um, a lot of time, it, I could probably, I feel like I could win that fight, but a lot of time you deplete your resources so much that doing something like that could be a negative, a negative uh, fight for you. So as they like to say in Heroes 2, discretion is the better part of valor sometimes. So I could do the chickens, which I don't want. All the old letters. Conspirator's house. And find the refugee camp. Which we know where it is, but it's like way over there. See now, and that's even marked with a red attack. So maybe I'll go back here and... Uh, Oh, they're all over. That's what those are. Those are the chicks. Find the refugee camp. Amulet in the ruins. So I could go back and do those. Come back here. Tweet. Those are all those. Alright. Wait, is this where it came from? I think so. We know that fight's there. I should potentially, you know, try to go buy more troops, try to get some better gear, go back in there. Sleigh bells ringing. Are you now. still here? Okay. All right, you big jerk. Okay, back in there. So, well, you know what? Since since we're on it, since I'm here. Yes, why not? It's probably gonna get me frustrated though. I hate doing these stupid quests, these stupid fetch quests. But it's good to know you can back out of fights that you're not locked into doing a fight you might not want to do. We'll we'll circle back around to that that fight where they have higher level enemies, new enemies, stuff that I don't have to fight yet. Do you see a chicken? Is that a chicken that barrel? Stupid. Where? In here. Tell me, what have you got cheaping in there? <laughs> a green chick. They're supposed to be worth a bundle. What do you care? Gallon the merchant is missing some Illyrian chicks. I believe one of them found its way into your barrel. You're working for Gallon. That pathetic excuse for a cook. Is he paying you in stew? <laughs> Tell him his son insulted me. Me. Will Cutter. The pop ran full into me. If I'd have been holding a drink, I might have spilled it. I took the chicka's payment for his bad. <laughs> I might have spilled it. You're nothing but a common thief. One more word, and you'll wake up face Done. down in a ditch, dead, and no one will touch <laughs> wow. you either. You want to know why? Ask Centurion Prim if he's got time to waste on a nobody like you. I told you to get lost, didn't I? Okay, so apparently that's a dead end. And again, that's where these kind of where these come from. Maybe I could run into them or something. No. Apparently, I'd have to go back and talk to that Prim guy. Discuss Cutter with Prim. Did he die? Wait, what happened there? 
Now Sniff wants to fight me? Let's go check it out. Oh, now there's a mark if ever I see one. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Alright, I'd rather that one's a lot closer, I think. So is this the guy that wants to fight? Oh no, this is the guy that sells merch. Okay. Tell me, Centurion. How came the thieves to be running this town? I met one just now, a fellow named Cutter. Ever since the king was poisoned and his wise advisors and magistrates took over the country. Though he has his weaknesses, King Claudius is a very stern monarch. While he was in good health, people obeyed his every word, as if it were law, which in fact it is. Now everything is stuck. Every protocol and directive in question. The future vague. Aren't you going to do something about it? Or is this Cutter fellow special? The last time I tried to deal with Cutter, I was almost sent to Crucis on a charge of conspiracy to assassinate an assistant magistrate. Tweets, of course. So if you want to deal with a dog, find its master first. Do you see what I mean? But should something unfortunate happen to Cutter, none of the guards would see or hear anything about it. I certainly wouldn't shed any tears for him. Order, Anarchy, Talk to Magistrate, Tweet. Oh, I can track more than one. Nice. Okay, so I can track both of those, which isn't super helpful for me. There's another one. So how much is there? Will it last a week? Hey, I got to get one. One chick cost as much as a good horse? <laughs> Nostria has gone mad. Alright, is this another one of those stupid chicks? I'll go get it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this chick quest. Maybe uh, we'll end up fighting here. And, uh, it looks Look like out. there might be a fight over here. I'm talking having fun trees. like there's no tomorrow. Who's that? Oh yeah, he sells the cool gear. Yeah, I'm selling my trash. Man, I didn't get much of anything for that, did I? Must have been some real bad trash. Oh, I see one. What are you doing here? Why are the floors still dirty? Two out of four. As we talk to this guy, there's another chick over here. Looks like he's outside the perimeter. Hopefully I can get over that way. Could try to deal with Cutter and his gang, which could be a fight, but I'm going to talk to this guy over here. I want to say the flag is anarchy for some reason. You know me, I want to stir up some anarchy. Is that Sargonius? Pretty sure I talked to that guy. Mm-hmm. So trying to figure out the quest log and, and kind of how this all works out is once you get used to it, it's a little easier. Magistrate Tweet, may I distract you for a moment? Ah, can it really be you? Everyone I know is talking about the wonderful trick you played at their grand assembly. Well done, very well done indeed. I wonder where you found that elf. You look every bit like a genuine scryer. I'm afraid tricks and deception are not my line of work. Which is more than I can say for a certain friend of yours. What are you implying? I am blameless before the law. <laughs> Perhaps. But an old friend of yours by the name of Cutter stole an Illyrian chick and is refusing to return it. This bird is as dear as a good horse. Also, it's Prince Adrian's favorite treat. 
Now I know you don't want to deprive the prince of his supper, right? The chick is for Prince Adrian? Why, that changes everything. Of course I don't want to deprive the prince of his meal. I'll take care of this misunderstanding in a jiffy. I'll send word to Cutter and yeah, explain damn sure. everything. And let me get you something for your trouble. Just a moment, what have I got in my pockets? What is this, a choice? Here. This should reconcile us, and Prince Adrian will enjoy a hearty meal. Everyone is satisfied. All right, got an anarchy point. Wait a moment. As I recall, you were sent by Prince... A yes. There's this delicate business. Flavius the Wisecracker is missing. He's no oh, ordinary another quest. man. Okay. But a courtier acting as an assistant to the king. That confused Prince, me. I thought it was a uh, was a, something to do with that other quest. Flavius writes their speeches. Flavius the sea, and the text of their decrees. That man handles words with the agility man of the The magistrates find him very useful indeed. But Flavius has been missing for three days now, and I need him urgently. Business of utmost royal importance, I assure you. Have you searched the taverns? He's probably propped up against a barrel of mead, gathering his strength for a new piece. He's not particularly young. He recently mentioned he's about to begin his most significant work yet. He spoke of some inconceivable revelations. <laughs> he seemed inconceivable as well. He was mumbling something about a swan song, a terrible truth. Planning to visit some ancient ruins. I've known Flavius for a long time. Please find him if you can and bring him back to Marcella. The magistrature will pay you for your trouble, of course. All right, where's that darn chicken? Around here somewhere. All right, so if I get this one, then I should be able to go back and get the other one from whatever that guy's name was, Cutter. Oh, what's this? We replaced the crystal, but the mana is draining away. What are we doing wrong? Oh, mana. Are you doing Nice. 100 mana. Problem with the sigils? Oh, I heard the chicken. Baldwin's Brave Deed, Part 4. Fully armed adult dwarf. So feel bad about killing those dwarves. I didn't understand what I was doing. Someone once told me about the defense oh. of Marcella. Got a quest nice to read how it actually happened. Yeah. Though, I mean, it is just quest after quest after quest right now. It's almost brutal at this point. Oh my gosh, let me get the chicken and then I'll talk to that guy. I don't want this thing running off. Nothing I haven't seen. Could have just died some regular chickens. <laughs> ah, it's you. Congratulations on your release. Has common sense prevailed after all? Do we know each other? My name is Gladrin, retired assistant chief. Justice. Actually, reminds me a lot of Greedfall, but Greedfall was more of an action hack and slash to kind of game. To Crucis without due process. Versus a strategy of RPG. Poisoning the king, weren't you? I've been accused of all. You like pirates more than RPG, mid nice and magic. You might enjoy that game I'm if sure you enjoy this one. uncovered the true assassins. And justice would have prevailed for once. All right, thanks for that info. That's a good view. Is it? Oh wow, that is a good view. It's weird. The gra so the graphics are impressive at times, and other times they're very uh, just like bland. And I mean, I would say graphically that's real nice, you know. But then other times, look, you see like kind of that weird shading. And then when you fight in the battles, the, the graphics are not great, but again, it's not about all about graphics, and I don't mind. I like the nice kind of blend of everything. Oh, really? Valmont, I do like you, but... Oh, is that blasted but? Yes, it's the dreaded but. But how can there be objections in love? Love? Oh, you're moving rather quickly now that we speak in private. You invited me here for the picturesque views, and now... Now you've inflamed my heart. 
Yeah, it's pirate, huh? That's, that's silly. Alright, I, I thought maybe there'd be treasure in there, but that was a hidden gem of sorts. Alright, take the chick from Cutter. Let's go. Oh, what are you doing over there? That was a random ass place to summon. Geomancy wise, nothing. Is it a problem oh, with the Can I get more from that? I don't think so. It's like could the world be running out of mana? That's impossible. The world be running out of mana. Huh? Not everyone thinks so. Okay, so it's been Did used. I think a lot of those things you find in the world are one use only. So find them because I don't know what that does. Is that my mana that I can't use? Is it kind of pointless that they allow uh, they allow me to carry those? Am I going to be able to use them? Because it's kind of frustrating if my character can't use mana. I can use scrolls, but I can't use mana. It's going to be kind of irritating that um, you know I won't be able to use it. I don't know if that's another quest I can find or what? Look at this guy. Oh yeah, I did want to check out this guy. What do you wish? The horse in town is going kind of slow. Okay, I can't My buy anything. Hey, you better apologize. Oh, hey, look at that. Brother Thunder. Never. Sounds like a wrestler. Not under any circumstance. I took the risk once and gambled half my fortune. Baldwin's Brave Deed Part 1. Okay, maybe we gotta find all these. Oh, I already get, maybe that's more than one place you can get that? Okay. That was quite a ruckus you made six months ago, my dear. Nobody even noticed my hmm. new dress. Quite distressing. So much has changed here over the last ten years. Don't you have terribly important affairs of state, or perhaps personal business to attend to? My tailor will be here any minute, but I'd be happy to invite you to my parlor, say, next month? Alright. I'm not sure if there is my an actual time works. happening, or... That's kind of random that way. Oh, hey, treasure. Is that treasure I see? Yes, it is. Again, I have no idea what's going on with the mana. If I can even use it. Whoa, 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 what was that? Flavius. Apple salad. Kind of poem of sorts. But you know we're talking about Flavius, so we gotta we gotta be into it. I would like if, once you found those items, if they would stop glowing so that, you know, you found them and didn't keep kind of going back to them. But, because uh, it, it, this town is confusing in terms of, like, where I'm trying to go, where I've already been. You know, some things I can kind of tell a little easier than others, but... Let's go... So how much is there? Is it over here? Last a week? Uh, well... Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh, now there's a mark of ever I see my check your pockets, Jack and Ace. You this still for me? Freak. Stoop. So you're well connected, huh? A real bigwig. Damnation. The times we're living in. A nobody from nowhere arrives on the scene. And now an honest Marcellan has to dance to their tune. Honest Marcellans don't take what isn't theirs. Where's the chick? It's right there. Take it. Just leave me alone. Do gooders. Mm. We're eating chicken tonight. I wasn't going to do this quest, but then I ran away from this dungeon because it was too scary. So now I'm looking for chicken. Well, looking and found. Fortunately, it didn't occur to anyone to turn them into stew. Oh, my precious little chickies. My treasures. I thank you with all my heart. Damn fetch quest, it got me. <laughs> Indeed I did. 
And now I must request a favor. If anyone asks who helped you, don't mention my name. Ever. Got it? I don't wish to be known as the chicken hunter <laughs> after this glorious and heroic achievement. Pretty much, but I did. Okay, so another trophy popped here called uh, Chicken Hero. I, knew I got another talent point. So I am going to revisit those talent points before I fight again. I'm going to look for a better army. Um, I'm going to be Jagger. tracking down some other quests. How much longer do I have to store this cane for him? Are you oh, oh. talking to me? I know you've no answer for me. Jackard, our master, I'll take the cane off your hand. Ordered an iron cane from me and never returned to collect it. I understand that his leg is troubling him, but how hard can it be to get from his workshop to the marketplace? Or he could have sent Ada to fetch it. What am I to do with this thing now? Is this workshop far? It's very close. Just turn right at the Marcellan wall. Here, take the cane. It's propped against the counter. You might also consider buying some golems to guard you. Ooh, golems? Okay, let's see here. Okay. okay so I don't have rings, gloves, or belts. Let's see how much these are. Some warfare. See, so yeah, I might need to upgrade, get some better gear going on. But for now, I'm going to focus on trying to get some better troops. So we're going to do that. Um, find Albert's Mage Tower. All right, so I am in the middle of this town. I retreated from this dungeon. I am more... So on my way here, I'm going to go down there. I guess it would allow me to buy some golems. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm pretty much wrapping up, brother. i got to you know get stuff going for, for this evening, and I'll probably be back um, tonight if I can. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this mission here because it's a, it said it was a like a deadly fight, meaning I'm probably either going to lose all my guys or, or not even be able to complete the mission. I'm going to swing down here. I'm going to pick these up. I'm going to go here, finding Flavius, finding the amulet, and also finding the refugee camp. I'm going to kind of quest in here next chance I get. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to take a look around, see if I can't uh, you know, find some better forces, upgrade my stuff. Uh, well, actually, I should say, after I, I go down here and see if I can even do these battles, if I'm not strong enough, uh, I kind of want to level up more and be able to get some more influence and have different kinds and better troops, leveling them up, getting better gear, kind of seeing where I'm sitting. I don't want to blow all my resources right now uh, buying gear and then not being able to buy adequate amounts of troops. So I'm kind of in that boat right now, but I'll be getting back down to that. I thought I did pick up, so I got some three more talent points I can invest in. So I'll, I'll prize you guys to that when I start again. I won't waste your time. I'm probably going to reset my troops, and I'm going to try to rock and roll these order guys for now. I think I was spreading myself too thin early on with my uh, points, and they're really not helping me right now. So I need to go back, and I did. I did say blow, and I just picked up some cane, brother. So you know what I'm going to do with that cane and that blow. All right. So uh, let's see here. I did pick up some other items, I thought. But I guess not. So I got a couple legendary pick pieces, which is nice. Um, you need know, to work on getting some better. Oh, I guess I do have those gloves. So I could get a belt, a necklace, if I find it, some rings. You know, this is what we're working with troop-wise. I got I to gotta upgrade my army. I'm just not feeling strong about it. I'll work on my talents. And uh, as I lined it out for you, I'm going to be doing that. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. If you want to go see more action, go check out the first play. This was mostly... I'm going to have to relabel this video as the Crown Lands. Kind of just dialogue video. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, sorry it wasn't super exciting for you, but you're seeing the game really open up, and, you know, we're starting to see what we're going to be able to do in terms of purchasing units and, and some of the different fights and just some of the different factions or uh, ideals, they call them, in this game. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, if you want Easy Settings to be streamed some Madden, pop over, check him out. Uh, but that'll do it for me for now. Thanks for tuning in, guys. You've been here with Brothers Forge Gaming. This is King's Bounty 2. Go out, pick it up right now. It's download only as far as I know. Uh, but... If you like quest, rinse, repeat games with action, or uh, sorry, strategy RPG kind of kind of uh, fights, you will enjoy this. There's plenty to do, and uh, you know, for the most part, overall, I would say it's a it's a really cool game. Um, I wouldn't definitely find myself spending a lot of time playing a game like this, especially in my younger days. Um, you know, you could do a couple missions at a time. You could do whatever. You could play it for a little bit. You could play it for a long bit. Um, it's all here for you. The choice is yours. So right on, guys. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time.
Hello, good morning, welcome to Brothers of Forge Gaming. We're back at it, King's Bounty 2. We hope you guys have been enjoying what you've seen here. I know that some of the game is not impressive in terms of graphically at some time, uh, you know, at certain points in the game, uh, but it is a really fun game. Don't let that detour you. I mean, obviously, there are those that prefer the graphical experience over, over gameplay and things like that. We've done some surveys on the channel. Um, and, you know, you guys are all over the place. You like graphics, you like gameplay, you like fun. We like it all, but we like it all in different bits. Anyhow, if you're looking for a fun strategy RPG game to play set in the lore from back in the day, 90s PC gaming, original King's Bounty, and you want that consoleized here, you know, you, you don't have a bad bet here. Uh, if you can wait, like I've said before, maybe wait for it to come down in price. The price tag is a little bit high right now for, for what it is, and, you know, unless you don't mind getting it right now. If you want it right now, it's worth it. If not, go ahead and wait. Pick it up when it goes on sale. It'll be worth it either way you do it. But last time we were here, we uh, took a look. We just hit Crown's Land. In our first video, if you want to go back and look at the first play, you know, we made our way through here and, you know, basically got to this last fight here. The stream cut out, so watch the next <laughs> the stream to catch that part. And then again, right when we kind of got into here, it cut out again. Um, we've been having some issues with that. I don't know if it has to do with, like, people running checks on our videos. I th what we've noticed is that typically if, say, something picks up that they think it might be copyrighted material, it runs their auto checks. It's been killing our streams. And, you know, basically based on those checks, it, uh, I looked into it, the process, it says something about if you're streaming and you get a claim, it will, it will like pause your stream until it, it like verifies the claim. And I think in that process, it's killing streams. So I don't know if that's happening to anybody else. If it is, let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you think if you're playing this game. Let us know that too. Drop it down. Let us know what you think. Is it just so poorly designed in terms of graphics that you can't play it? Uh, let us know that or let us know, hey, it's fun. The combat's cool. We like the, you know, the character models. We like the talents. We like the ability to kind of branch out and do whatever character we want despite which character we pick. Uh, you know, if you like those things, let us know. Oh, actually, I have some talent points I was supposed to spend. Oh, boy. All right, well... I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet, so we'll figure it out. But, as I said, last time we, we made our way through here, so now here we are. What we're going to do, we're going to try to wrap up some of these quests right here, see how that goes. I did find this way shrine, so I'll be able to port between the lands now as well. But without any more, let me blabbing, let's go. Where is Servant? Where could he have gone? What do you want? Directions to the old outpost? Arek, damn that blasted thing! Could be. The cursing is unnecessary, though. I have good reason to curse. The brigands from the old outpost haven't let us use Rickfill Road for two whole months. We pay them a toll which gets higher and higher every day. We complain to the town guards, but the thieves haven't shifted an inch. My brother Servan decided to go negotiate with them. He said he'd try and drive down the price so that we simple peasants could use the road once more and bring our goods to market. And then? Nothing. Sir Van is gone. Disappeared for good. He might be dead by now, who knows? I wish someone would tell me his fate before I lose my mind with grief. All right. Let's take a look at this. I guess I could have looked at it on the map. But those ones we can't do. Okay, I think that's the one we might want to be doing. The old outpost gang. There's so many of these. Look <laughs> at all these quests. Alright, so that I guess that's not in here. That might be way over here. So we're going to circle back around. I would like to be able to make things my active quest on here. That would be nice. But you can just switch back over here. Where was that one? Oh yeah, all right. So that should be back over here. Uh, I'm not really sure what that did. Maybe there's some stuff in these houses I could look around. There is hidden treasure all about. If you want to take the time to look for it. And I think you're going to need to because this game is actually a little bit more difficult than I first gave it credit for in terms of... What are they thinking? As if we don't need them to keep order. Needing troops, gold, uh, you will take casualties. I have figured out, though, that there is a way to kind of tell, you know, which fights are hard. So if you look at the map here, 
Wait. I'm up here. So see if you see this, it says it's a, a deadly fight and it's signified by the red there. Um, I noticed, <laughs> I was watching a playback and I noticed on the last fight I did, it said within the thing that it was an even fight. So that was kind of cool. Yes. Here's your king, Jackard. What am I Jackard? gonna do with that? Do I look like I can carry an iron cane around all day? I've been using a special ointment to soothe my leg. I'm waiting for it to kick in right now. Get it? Kick in? Ha! That piece of iron is for the press that prints the clay tablets. The old one's broken. Be a dear. Help me with the rest. You'll see the groove from the cane right away. When the work What's starts up, Leo, up again, I'll make you golems like you've never seen. The cane is the answer. Oh, I just get ah, up here, man. I'm trying to wake up. <laughs> that you get the word. That cane's made of iron. It won't break or bend. Okay. So he's putting him to work. But now I can buy guys. Yes. Now we can finally get to work. Our warehouse is full of blank golems because we weren't producing any command tablets. These golems are for sale, right? Of course. Whether it's for spinning an elevator wheel, printing tablets, or for war. Any purpose you can think of. I told you, you'll know the correct groove if you just look for it. That's how things work around here. You insert the cane in the right place, and we can go into full production again. Here, take this tablet from our newest batch and head over to the elevator. Lita's been complaining that her golem's tablet is almost worn out. I must have had sap tattooed on my forehead at some point and just forgot. <laughs> There's something in it for you too, friend, and what if the elevator does break down? What are you gonna do? Run around the hills on foot? That would take much longer. Alright, so these guys are of uh, order, so these are more for if you're using mage troops. They're not order, I think it's finesse actually. These guys are cool. So I have seen some of the elementals that had the order ideal. Uh, so I don't think I'll be picking these guys up just yet. Although they are pretty cool looking. Bunch of life. They're pretty strong. High defense. Magical resistances of sorts. Or more like elemental resistance and weak to magic though. Alright, so what the heck am I supposed to do? It would be nice if it switched to a relatim. <laughs> they do look like the thing, or Clayface. It would be nice if they switched your quest to the one that you were, like, relevantly on. But then you gotta go through and find all these again, so now... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta get this one. So this way. Hey, they're guarding this. Ah, psh, psh. Let me get in the way. Oh, shoot. Double axe handle. They're going for a wrestling match. Silver buckle, huh? What can I do with that? That sounds cool. It's probably just junk. Uh huh. I thought I had other keys. I must have used them. How are things, brother? <laughs> Could be better. What with the war in Lorien, that blasted mob seized the port. The borders are closed now. Give me a treasure. Bad, Wait a minute, where the hell am I going? The cane is the answer.
Oh, okay. So, I guess I'll go find Flavius the Wisecracker first. Because it is on the way. Make sure to check your thing all the often so you don't overrun and overshoot and have to go back and you know what I mean? You want to maximize your time, your distance on these quests. A lot of these you're doubling up, as you saw. So I brought the cane and went and found the golem maker. So, you know, you just want to kind of pay attention to that. Huh, this is By the ninth element? What mage? Did you find something suspicious? That's just the thing. I haven't. I've performed rituals. I've engaged the aspect of a mystical vision. I've summoned a lesser spirit of stone. The spirit and I sniffed every inch of ground in and around the camp. There was nothing, not a thing. No swamp curses, no necromantic plague, no putrefying pollen, nothing. Why are you commoners bothering the mages? His wisdom, Archmage Kathorn himself, summoned me all the way from Elir. And now what? It was nothing but a waste of time. Who are you, by the way? I am Remedius, senior healing mage of the Royal Mage Order. Strange you've never heard of me. Whom do I have the honor of addressing? I am Ivor, Prince Adrian's envoy. I'm here to investigate the Montpatry disaster. Well, I have something to relate to the Prince's envoy. The famous writer Flavius was spotted wandering around the ruins near here. Or so I was told. He's been struck by a very peculiar disease of the spirit. If I had the time, I'd search for him myself. But I do not. If you find Flavius, pray escort him to the magistrate. I will pay the sick fellow a visit as soon as I can. Alright, that's so another fetch quest of swords. The hell? Some shenanigans going on around here. Hmm. How did that get turned off? Hang on, hang on. Now ah, we're in business. Huh. Good thing I noticed that actually because my laptop would have uh, just plugged in and would have gone dead. Alright, now we're getting properly prepared. We're finding Flavius. Oh, let's see. So I gotta check these different places. What's over here? The refugee camp. So we'll finish trying to do Flavius. Maybe we'll go over here, circle back here. I mean, there's just so many places to go. People to see. I'm so hungry. I'd fight a wolf for a piece of raw meat. One color. Oh, wolf. Nothing here. Hey, cool, I do get experience. Oh, and I got a scroll from reading that also. That's interesting. Okay, now what? <clears throat> right here? Excuse me. I hope you guys are having a good morning here. Is it Wednesday morning, middle of the week, hump day? I'll just stay on the path. Stay on the path. Do you know what is producing those chilling howls from the ruins? I spent the night here. Where do you go? Okay. Yeah, this morning got some a few errands to run and whatnot, but I will hopefully be able to come back, do some streaming either in the afternoon or this evening. It's actually kind of difficult for me to stream during the day uh, with everything going on around the house. Uh, but uh, so early mornings for me, evenings I am the trying to get. have gotten way uh -oh. too cocky. <laughs> cocky. That's a funny word. Uh, you know, Nothing for me, I'm trying to get something established in terms of which days Ooh. that I will be able to stream and, and moving forward uh, once everything kind of gets back to, once we get going more on a schedule. But for me, it'll probably be something like Wednesday evenings. 
Um, and then so usually like a day on the weekend would be like an every other week a treasure kind of thing. without an owner, which probably means mm. a trap. If I'm going to risk it, I need to find a way to unlock this. Risk it for the biscuits. Here's an odd looking stone, mm -hmm. different from its brothers. Hmm, should we push it? I don't think so. Well, I guess so. There's nothing else up there. <laughs> Even that cache of cache. Interesting. The stones are vibrating. Something is shifting oh, in the there ruins. We go. And a lot of time in games like this too, you gotta think of the audience level. So if you were a younger gamer. Nice. Are you trapped in here? Of course. Ambush. Oh, he looks pissed. If you were, say, a younger gamer, kind of getting out of kids' games and kind of trying to get more into that teen, Give it to me. that teen gaming, so I think this would be a ruins, good spot huh? for you. I was expecting a savage ghoul. It's not overly Looks violent. Like There's not, not a lot happening. of things Never that are inappropriate. Kidnapper took my brother. You know, if you don't mind, undead skeletons, and away and beasts, and monsters. And us. I drove him away and hid the amulet. Now give it back. I'm not going to give it back just yet either. A robber, the big man, he grabbed us, killed my brother and me. Don't believe me? Find him yourself. Ask around and see what you find. Give my amulet back. It was my mother's and it's mine now. It's so cold here. Cannot leave. Let's take a look at this amulet and see if we want to give it back or not. An expensive amulet on the back of the grave to my dearest Mia. Hmm. Give the amulet back. Later. First, I need to make sense of this whole story. Okay, so where am I to investigate the crime? And also, the game has a nice change of pace, like pacing in terms of battling and being able to just kind of go around and do these kinds of quests if you don't always want to battle. Good day to you. Hey, what's up, EZ? A fine day to you, too. Good there day to you, my friend. Just before the bridge. Have you ever been inside? <laughs> no, my good fellow. I am a traveler. I'm only Pretty staying nice, here right? for a couple of nights. Why would I go crawling around old ruins? Do you know anyone who frequents that place? Or perhaps someone I could ask? Hmm. You know, hmm. I once saw a girl climbing inside, uh, very nimbly, over some tree branches. Dude, you she should play some something. Defender What's later, or post Where a video or something, because this game really like? makes me want to see you play uh, that game for some reason. Slender. Uh, a local plowman told me her name. Uh, it almost kind of uh, seems like a PS2 Agatha, game, I think, in a lot of ways, which Eva, which I don't mind. I uh, like the old school graphics. Ada. Uh, yes, that's it. Ada. She's from a family of clay diggers. Uh, or was it potters? Now, uh, something to do with clay. I'd take a look to the north. There's a clay pit under the walls of Marcella. That's where they work. Thank you. Okay, now what? Uh, clay pit. So yeah, one thing, one thing I don't think a lot of uh, gamers maybe that don't, don't think about the development side of gaming is that you can't, there's limitations, you know what I mean? So you, you can either have a massive scope of things that you can do and a balance of like decent graphics or you can have mind-blowing graphics and then basically everything is, you know, the game is shorter, there's less to do, they recycle a lot of sprites. I mean, what you're seeing here is, is a lot of unique kind of elements to the game. And, and obviously they're going to probably reuse some stuff it's from time to time. That just happens, but, uh... Am I going the wrong way? Oh, it might be down here. No? Am I going the wrong way? 
anything cool? Oh yeah, look at that. It's beauty. Oh really? Well, hopefully a fairy stone is important because that was like the most massive chest I've seen so far. You know, we like our massive chests around here. Walking in a circle. Ada. What do you need? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Are you Ada? Yeah. I've heard you're as exactly. as a cat. Yeah, it was very, very limited. Places. The level designs, you could tell that's they were just true. basically reskinning the level designs and stuff, which... Yeah, that's right. Which is fine, you what know. What do you need? But I everything I've seen in this so far mind. has been unique. But I can fetch things stuck up on a roof. The Try characters, uh, the, the gear, the, the uh, sprites of the enemy You must have characters. gone there many times. Have you seen anything unusual? Uh, uh, me? No, 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 I haven't. Not yesterday. The ability to kind of branch out and do whatever with your character. Those are all limitations that in some games, you know, they're like, okay, you pick the paladin class. You can only be a paladin. You can only learn these spells. You can only do these quests. You can only, you know what I mean? Like, very limited in those things that they, that they do. And that's, it's not on purpose or by design by any chance or whatnot. It just, it's kind of a limitation. He was leading two boys in there. I figured I'd go take a look at them. They're so cute when they're sleeping. <laughs> and when I got in, I saw that oh, man instead. He was sleeping so peacefully. Sounds like she moided him. Knife. I gasped, and he woke up and looked straight at me. Oh my gosh. I was that so is pretty scared. scared. I ran and never told anyone. I think Prim, the captain of the guards, should hear this. Tell him your story, and we'll punish the evildoer. The captain of the guards? Do I have to talk to Prim in person? All right, I'm ready. Ah, oh, jeez. Give the amulet to Dwayne for anarchy. Tell Prim what happened. I don't think we like that Prim guy. And anarchy. So let's go do the anarchy, baby. Yeah, it is. It so is. So how do I do the order? Probably go back. Oh, fight. I thought it would be right here. Oh, okay. So I guess I do. Anarchy it is. I wanted to give it back to that skeleton, but I guess that's not a choice. So I can use my mount, but it seems like it slows down through town. By the time it summons, you mount it, dismount it, and it kind of does like a slow trot through the town. You're better off just kind of walking. Have no idea what we've been through. No entry. Order of the Royal Council. Why? Fresh pastry. Oh, hot what are you doing? How is this over? Oh, okay, this is the merchant that told me that. That's right, we saw this guy and he was he was asking for it. Maybe I should find out. I guess I will go to the other guy. Because I wanted to get it back to the... I wanted to get it back to the skeleton, but it's not giving me that choice. His prim. Okay. Testify. Yes. What do you want? I, uh, we have come to um. Uh, prim. Six months ago, this girl witnessed a crime. Ada, be brave now. Tell us what you saw. I was walking down the road, past the bridge, and I saw some blackberries, really ripe ones. I was sitting behind a blackberry bush, having a nibble, when I saw a man on the road. 
He had two boys with him. I could see they'd been crying. One was clutching a piece of jewelry in his hand. They were both fair-haired with a touch of red. The man had dark hair. He was dragging them towards the ruins. I waited in the bush until they had passed and then went home. But what I'd seen gave me a bad feeling, so I decided to return to the ruins that night and see what was inside. And what I saw... And? Huh. What did you see? Don't keep us hanging. I saw the black-haired man asleep, using a bundle of children's clothing as a pillow, with a knife in his hand. There was no sign of the boys. He woke up and gave me such a terrible look, I nearly fell down. I ran for my life. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not some tramp, you know. I'm apprenticed to Jackard, the Master Golem Maker. He'll vouch for me. What man is this, I wonder? Sulking Sven? Al the Atrocious? Cutter? He introduced himself as Dwayne. Says he's a famous treasure hunter. You can find him loitering around Market Square. Ah, Duane. He really is famous and quite a nasty character. I have a grudge against him, and I'm not alone. The man swindled several people, but he's wily as hell. I've never had enough evidence to collar him. But now I'm going to arrest him at last. Thank you both. You've been very helpful. I'll send a guardsman over to Jackard when the case goes to trial and witnesses are called. For now, you may go. Well, now I may go. Can I talk to her again? Yeah, easy. It, technically, it is a PS4 game, and um, I would say that. Oh, can I give it to him at the room? Okay, cool. Um, you know that that licensing thing you're talking about. I don't know if that applies to third party, like non AAA publishers. Uh, depending on the contracts, I imagine they have with the companies. You know, all that would come into come into account. But yes, yeah, so when we finally get PS5 stuff, and I have played. The launch title PS5 stuff, like the uh, the Demon Souls, was a remaster, right? So technically, I don't think you would consider it a true PS5 game, but it looked amazing. I played Godfall, looked amazing. I played, uh, what was that other one? Returnal, amazing. I'm sure Resident Evil 8, The Village, I played the demo of that, and it looked amazing. Like, just incredible, right? On the PlayStation 5, just insane. Um, and this actually looks really good. I don't know if we're getting benefits playing it on the PS5. Um, you know what I mean? It, it, like you said, for a PS4 game, uh, it, to me, it would probably you you would think because you think in your mind like, oh, it would look just like a PS2 or PS3 game. But you go back and play PS2 in a PS3 game, and then tell me that the, you know they could squeeze this kind of stuff into that. There's just no way. Uh, maybe limited amounts, maybe cutscenes would look better. You know, Final Fantasy was really good at doing like excellent cutscenes, even back on like PlayStation One. Um, man, I mean, if you look at that stuff, you can go all the way back. They have, all Square has always been great at doing cutscenes, but again, that's data. You you, know, you can only fit so much data on onto a disc, in a sense, you know, in, into a space. So, if, say you have 30 gigs of space to put all of your content, you got to pick and choose what you want to put into that space. Maybe someday they won't have those limitations. This guy's kind of whiny. Maybe I should have took him out. My mother's amulet. Yes, yes. Here it is. The very one. It's yours again. Thank you. Has a thief been punished? He's in prison. He'll be executed for his many crimes. I'm sure Prim won't let us down. I can sense it. He's scared. He is suffering. Good. There's nothing for me to guard anymore. I'll come with you. All right. At least Kira is in good hands now. Two skeleton archers? Interesting. <laughs> 666 away from my destination at the mage tower. Nice. Yeah, I got some talent points in there too. I'm going to stable you guys for now. Ooh, the level 2 unit. <laughs> Ooh, anarchy even. Interesting, I did the, the order quest and received an anarchy troop. I will put you in the reserves because you're messing with my 
morale skeleton men. So I can now go hire some more guys. I keep an eye out for that. Four swordsmen seems better than three. Three is a... I don't like three as a troop number because it just seems like not very high. But four? Four, you're good to go. Um, yeah, I definitely need to look into spending some of these points. But it just I can't decide. I have just so many things I want to do. I mean, I like leveling my troops. That seems pretty good. I still haven't figured that out, because if you go and look, so I have a rank on my spearmen, but they're level 1. So I'm not, I don't remember what it said the rank does exactly. Does it make them stronger? You would think that it does just make them overall better, because let's see, I haven't really used these bowmen too much there. So see, he has like corporal rank, this guy has like private rank. <laughs> private rank. So definitely they are ranking up, so is it beneficial to do that? Should I be you know, going power. Originally, I wanted to go uh, Anarchy, but these opening ones aren't very good, and to get, like, I start liking this, but I need more points, so eventually I may need to respec and then, like, go into Anarchy, um, but for now, I was thinking about doing this, um, and then I was still having trouble balancing using different troops, and this, I was still having morale penalties because it's just really hard to get points in these, so I kind of whiffed here and put some points in here. I maybe should have done some more of this stuff, like Warfare, I think Warfare is your attack point, so let's go ahead, let's learn that, I could get that for 3, and more XP, I don't know what rank you can get, is 3 the highest rank, so 3 is the highest rank you can get in that particular category, so 20% bonus to my XP, I think that's going to be crucial, um, if I went here I could get my hero to level up more, which would be awesome. Um, and I may go that route because I don't even understand what some of this other stuff is. Like unit defense resistance is always good. Um, I kind of want to buff this. But see, these are the first round of combat, which is good. But if you're if you're kind of staying back, the first round of combat, you're not going to even utilize those. So for me, I kind of wasn't wanting to put points in there, even though it sounds cool. Fantismal armor and protection. Uh, I may need to put those into here. Or maybe if I got faster troops that could get over across the board. That would be good for me, but most of my guys are kind of slower. And they, uh, you know, I'm forming like defensive perimeters. Who's going to do this battle here? I don't know which quest that was, so I might do this one. Oh, okay, so before we do this battle, let's head over here. We, we haven't done any battles for a while. I know, I'm sorry guys, I'm doing a lot of these fetch quests. <laughs> I promised more action. I honestly thought I was going to get in a fight down here. But I did not. Which is fine. I'm good. I'm still kind of half asleep. Uh -huh. You know. The first probably three hours of this game we played was mostly battling. So it's kind of nice to be transitioning back. Yeah, dude. So what was going on with that? I thought you were streaming and did it like block your stream or something? Because I thought you had a stream and now I can't find it on our site. Oh yeah, so I should probably do... Oh, whoops. I want to do... This one. Refugee camp. So here we are. Refugee camp. Let's so also do this one first, and then go talk to the other guy. Fresh as bread in town. Don't mm. be shy. Eat to your heart's content, friends. Oh, that Come looks good. Carve that out. Put some clam hey. chowder in there. Why did he get such a big piece? I want some. They're at it again. Calm down. Jeez. Do you want them to keep treating us like pigs? We're still human beings. No one's taken that from us. I was yet. on Dizzy stream Got last it. night. I saw you were there earlier, but uh, with his Aladdin stream, and I was talking to some people, trying to ask them if they've been having the same problems. Nobody really said anything, so um, Dizzy said something about his Grand Theft Auto stream, but it was only like a certain part, and they didn't stop his stream, so... I'm just going to be, like, when we're when we're joining streams and stuff, I'm just going to start asking people, like, hey, are you guys having this? Is this happening to you? Are you not allowed to do this? Do they, like, stop all your streams no matter what you do? Um, but, again, they might be streaming through capture cards and stuff, so they might have that buffer to where that's not happening to them, but then they're getting claims on it afterwards. Whereas for us, because we're streaming directly to YouTube from our devices, that um, I know I'm acting foolish. could be the PS5, too, yeah. stricken but I, I can't. What happened to you? Same as everyone else. I was born in the Mage Factory. We use broken golems as toys. It's strange though because it's certain things like Madden. My you would expect them to be to constantly trying to block Madden. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. Maybe it's and the relation I, I lost between her book. 
the PlayStation and the, the and YouTube factory. or something. No, I definitely had it with right. me for most of the journey. <clears throat> I must have dropped it somewhere nearby. I'm so worried my mother's tales will be lost forever. I mean, I streamed Madden 21 for hours game. and hours and hours, but that was kind of, you know, not in the beta time or whatever. You're playing the early access, so I don't know if that has something to do with it. When I did early access, it wouldn't even let me like. Um, what about you? Right. I'm not that hungry. How odd. What should we do? So I was explaining it earlier. It um, it said something when I read in it. It talked about how it does like a physical check on your thing and pauses your stream until it clears it. It's supposed to be a seamless process, but in reality, what it does is it probably, if it takes you know two three seconds to do it, it probably kills your stream. Whereas if it doesn't happen instantaneously. I don't suppose you have a weepy roof, a slouching porch, a listless chimney? There's nothing I can't tighten, replace, or patch up. Why, nice. Elio, I would hire you, but I have no place to call my own, neither here nor anywhere else in the royal lands. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, there's life for you. The best artisans in Nostria are stuck here with nothing to do. Hands worth their weight in gold, and nothing to show but a rumble in their stomachs. Rumbling How in my tumbling. not see this? Why did you? I don't know why it lets you push people. It's kind of funny. It doesn't result in anything. I'm trying. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, it, that's true. Why did you? It's definitely annoying. Hey, Harvey. Eight years. Trolls utters eight long years. People were uprooted. They lost everything. Eight years I've spent fine-tuning Nostria's champion battle golems. Eight well, if it is an issue between the PlayStation and YouTube, I hope they figure it out. We'll just Illyrian keep complaining Rage about it until somebody does Everybody something. Everybody <laughs> knew Master Harvey could build a golem with his eyes closed. And and we need to I, shut these guys up. We'd better fix master this. Master craftsman, mind you, have been rejected by Jacket's crew. I'm forbidden to work with their primitive clay monstrosities. The disaster made them doubt our craftsmanship. This is indeed the time of the serpent. The hour of venom and whip. Ooh. Yeah, it's really <laughs> kind of funny that I did, I've actually made a couple videos where we're talking about how the trophies, platinum trophy was busted. And, and two, both of the videos I did on that actually... Well, I've done four, I think, and three. Two of them have been fixed, and two of them nobody cared about. So I guess it's hit and miss. <laughs> Is this the answer talking? Yeah. Ah. Did you come from the capital? Finally, they've thought of us. Creator, be praised. Have you brought food? I don't have food at the moment. No. Are you in charge here? I'm Norman, a worker from the foundry. I, I'm in charge here, after a fashion. Prince Adrian sent me. He'd like to know what happened at the mage factory. You were there, weren't you? What's this? Another interrogation? I'm not telling you anything. If you refuse to listen to me, you can go to hell. I don't know who you talked to before, but tell me what you know, and I'll be on my way. Forget it. Look at us. Just yesterday, the people I brought here were the Mage Factory's finest artisans. And now everyone's avoiding them like a contagious disease. They've been left to starve outside the city walls. There's an official decree against letting them in. There's no way to get through to you, is there, you bastards? Bastards. And since we're getting nothing from you except beatings, <laughs> you'll get nothing from us either. Surely we can come to some kind of arrangement. What is it you want? Listen, I am not a proud man, but I am troubled by this rank injustice. Help our camp. Please talk to Mercia over there. She knows what to do, but she's having a hard time handling it all on her own. Help my people, and I'll help you. I'll tell you all I know. Damn refugees, man. You know, they're always causing problems. What is it, Goof? Didn't you get any bread? Right you are. I'm starving. Yes? How can I help? Your guests refuse to speak to me unless I help feed the camp. Norman told me you have an idea how that can be done. My brother has a farm over in Rickville. His name's Garrick. He's a proper Rickville. farmer, hardworking and thrifty. He could help us. I can't make the journey on my own. I'm afraid to travel on the highway. There are bandits everywhere, both around here and over at the old outpost. I can see that murderous brigands don't frighten you. 
Give a message to my brother. That's all I ask. It's a long journey. But when I'm next in Rickville, I surely will. Wait. Why go so far out of your way? I have a better idea. Tell me. It might prove useful. On the journey here, we came to an understanding with a well-respected countryman. His name is Bludgeon. He mm -hmm. promised to get us food some days ago. But Bludgeon has yet to send anything, despite living right at the bottom of the hill. If you could have a word with him and find out what's taking so long, I'll reward you. I'll find something, I promise. What does that mean, Goof? Do you know... Well, hello there. I'm investigating the Montpatry disaster. You're a refugee, aren't you? And what of it? I've got nothing to tell. I was away from the mage factory that night, on personal business. I was on my way back when I saw everyone fleeing as if from a forest fire. Well, I went with them, and I got in over my head. Now, they avoid me like a two-headed leper. I should have made for Floster <laughs> right away and told no one I was at Montpetri. I want to hear about events at the mage factory, not your personal regrets. Norman's who you should talk to about this disaster of yours. He led them out, so he's the one they all listen to. The others might keep their tongues, but not that eager fool. He'll tell you everything. You better. Where the hell is he? Is he like right behind you? Solve the problems of the camp. Why did you? Why did you? Why did you? I'll push you in the fire. Why didn't you go get some? I okay. I ate a whole bowl of soup last time. Why did you? What does that mean? Oh, I'm not that hungry. He's a very respectable fellow. Yeah. The whole of Floster Road belongs it's to him. Like that man is right a brigand, a thief, and there. a murderer. What are you standing he here for? Well, hmm. I'll let the women go first. Him back. How could you even be on speaking terms with someone like that? What are you saying? I can't believe Bludgeon would ever willingly help anybody. Goof must have been deceived. Goof. How can you consort with that sneak? He's been trying to rob us of our land for years, menacing us, threatening to burn down our house. How did you get rid of him? My father was still with us back then, and he knew Centurion Prim. They were comrades in arms once. Prim restored justice and protected us, but like a huge, ugly terrier, Bludgeon could not let it go. Just before those poor fellows came, my father went missing. He went on a trip to Marcella. And never returned. But I shouldn't waste your time with my silly stories. You're so busy. Just give my message to Garrick, please. Let me see. All right. So it's telling me to. You still don't believe me? Ask anyone. I'll have quite a present for you. It's showing me directly right here. This is who I'm supposed to talk to. It's really weird. All right. Well. I might have to change the the quest thing might be messed up a little bit. I can talk to any of these people. What is it now? If you don't have Okay. Well, I suppose then I need to what does that mean? look elsewhere. Come to an agreement with Bludgeon, so I could go over there. Can I get down there that way? Or do I have to go through this battle? I solve the problem. Back. So basically, that's staying that? there. Maybe I can go over here. Okay, so way over there. So I could wait and try to come to an agreement with that guy. I might not be over there for a super long time. That is the order quest, though. These guys seem like they're pretty angry. So let's go see what this agreement over here is. 
Uh, I don't remember what the guy was saying. Was this guy upstanding or was he... Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, dude, let's just do it. Let's get it. Oh, okay, it gives me both. So I'm going to track the one. So when there's two, you can track you can track them both. So let's see if I can go through here. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll come to an agreement with this mercenary type, and we'll see if that's what ends up working out for you, so you can know to make the right choice. So, okay, so I, I guess I can't get through that way, so I'm going to need to uh, go around through that battle. So we will have a battle upcoming unless I can sneak through here, which I cannot. Maybe I can sneak around. I'm so hungry, I'd fight a wolf for a piece of raw meat. One cauldron a day for the whole camp. Yeah, so they don't want to let you sneak around at all. So I'm going to have to go through this fight and go this way. And then... I see it's kind of hard to tell on the map where it goes. You probably have to go all the way around here. Like I said, this could be... It could take me ten years to get over to that space. These maps, like, there's just so much happening as you're walking through the, you know, each time you come through a zone, there's like ten different things to do. All these other side quests pop up. It's kind of stuff that drives me crazy. But yes, as promised, a battle of sorts. Let's see if I can even fight it. Oh my gosh, they have a griffin. A deadly enemy. What the hell? How am I supposed to get through here? Yeah, I guess I have to go around. Oh man. So I'll go up and try to come around this way. Oh, that's cool. They do the hooves on the bridge. That was neat. You don't always get that. Where is Servan? Where are you going? Where are you going? That's Where treasure. Are you trying, huh. Where are you going? I'm rolling along and you're rooted to the spot. Watch your tongue. Oh, I thought that was treasure. What's wrong with this guy? Go back to Floster with your wise cracks. You just crossed the line. No treasure over here, huh? That's surprising. getting about that time we were going to try to grow pumpkins this year but we planted we were going to plant too late so we just that and the whole drought situation we were just like and hey, do we want to spend the extra water but we got the seeds so hopefully this will be good for next year really coming up dry on this treasure. Can I go in here? Nope. Maybe there'd be treasure hiding in there. I'm telling you, that's the truth. Banks gathered up. Man, a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of no treasure up in here. Should probably switch my quest log to this. First tower of aqueduct. This seems closer, so we'll do that one. This one, yes. 
No, he picked them too early before they were ripe. That's why I you so they were no, not very tasty. You're selling them for cheaper. But you see, that's exactly the trick. Scarecrow. Yes, it yeah, looks like he's gonna come down off there and murder me. It's like Jason or something. There's a smaller version of one. So that would be an example of a recycled sprite. <laughs> So they do 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 it. This is actually pretty cool how they did this. Oh, a, a steeped or tapered staircase style growing planter boxes. I like that. With the staircase. Pretty neat. <laughs> That's why I figure selling in bulk brings more profits. What do you mean more profits? You're selling them for cheaper. But you see, that's exactly the trick. Cheaper, yes, but three bags at once, now that's profit. I got a whole lot of no treasure. Got some swine. Some piggies. You're getting old. You can't those piggies. Anyway, it seems your time in the capital is Hi. Have you heard this one? Once upon a time, there was a daddy troll and a baby troll. And the daddy says, want to see a puppet play? Sure thing, dad. And the daddy reaches in his chest and gets out two human skulls. <laughs> oh, but Lord Montier, this land is infested with trolls. Trolls? Bah, what nonsense. Be quiet and do your job, Fabio! <laughs> <laughs> just stop that dialogue altogether. Oh, hey, look at this. Hey, so we get two more archers. Interesting. Alright, I want to go this way. Yeah, but I mean, so far this game's pretty relaxing, pretty chill, pretty peaceful. If you're not looking to do anything that is going to require all of your you know what I mean like all of your senses all at once being on point not missing having to run around and re rinse repeat you know like in a battle arena or something I'm not sure about its connectivity I don't think you have to be online to play it so that's another big thing I mean I guess it's a downloaded game so at some point you do have to contact the server to, to load the game I don't know how that works exactly um, but it's very possible you'd be able to play it offline in terms of if it's downloaded on your hard drive and you've already authenticated the uh, client uh, and I do know it does run checks so I'm not sure what they do with that if that's in the newer I know they said something about PlayStation 5 was going to require more of those kinds of checks. So we'll see how that ends up working out. Tell me, are there any Look at that bridge. These parts whose I might join? What can you do? I know Siegecraft. I've served both as a foot soldier and an infantryman. There's one noble lord here, Farad. But yeah, so kind of like the difference I mean is that, so say so once you buy a game and download it to your hard drive, it only has to check the client to like verify that you own the game every so often. But it's possible in moving forward that, that even if a game is an offline game, it's still every time you load the game going to have to check the client to make sure you have the rights to it. So if that if that's kind of the transition we saw between like PlayStation 3, 4, and 5 to where that's more of a, of a thing where it's an every time you load it check, there will the technically be no such thing Sounds as an offline curious. game. Because you will always about the tactics they used. You will always have to be have some kind of internet connectivity to play your Tell games, me, disc based or not. So that was one of the joined. things that we actually really do? needed to be concerned with in this generation of gaming. And I'm sure that we'll find out about at some point or another. Well, this is pretty cool. These are lift. Look at that. I don't know anything about crossbows, but how long does it take to learn? Why don't I ring the bell? Uh -oh, a new shoot. tablet for my golem. <laughs> what a great gift. Could it be that someone helped Jackard with his precious press? High time, I say. Jackard says that this one will last oh. longer. Oh, he's an expert at making promises. He <laughs> promised ages ago to mark which end goes into the golem. Yeah, I know it can only go two ways, but it never seems to work until my third try. Do you want me to help you? 
No, never mind. I'd better do it myself. Extra sturdy or not, these tablets are still quite fragile. Actually, I believe I'll wait for the current one to wear out completely. Since now, I have a spare. Yeah, right. It's always very cancer. Oh, I can ring the bell. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Does that bring the um? Oh, that brings the lift. Nice. Do I need to go down there? Oh, I could go down there and go back around that way. I guess that's what I'll do. I need to find another way shrine, man, so I don't have to walk back up here. Mm. I think we basically live in a time where it's hurricane, fire, freaking flood, like all that season is year round. It just depends where you live in the United States or world, I guess. And kind of what I was talking about earlier uh, is kind of this intense need to constantly be at performing at just a high level of of stress when you're gaming. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Easy when you're doing like speed runs, no death runs, just that high level, or you're doing like really competitive gaming and the PvP or or something like that. Um, you don't always need to be at that level to game, but a lot of time for me, if I'm not, it just it really depends on my mood. But if if I am you know what I mean? If I, I'm just like, oh, this game isn't isn't immediately entertaining me right away, so I don't want to play it. Where this one is kind of like the more you play it, the more you get into the story. Oh no! You know, the more the more you kind of want to play it, and and that's just, this is just one of those kinds of games. Dang it! They're all deadly enemies. I need some better troops or something. Dang! I guess I won't be able to go down through there yet. They're, they're blocking me. A scroll. Where did I miss that scroll? I mean, I could maybe fight a deadly enemy, but I'm just trying to avoid it right now. Hey, uh. I know how deadly those griffins can be, because they can pretty much fly over and probably jack you up. So either either I'm to the point in the game where I've, I haven't done the right kind of stuff so all the enemies are too hard to fight or I need to go get better troops or maybe it's kind of showing me oh there's a scroll maybe it's kind of showing me okay maybe don't go that way yet and that's kind of what I'm kind of the theory I'm working with right now it's not that I'm running away or that I'm scared <laughs> it's that um yeah, I'm just I'm trying to be smart about this here. That's pretty awesome, though. For that view. Let's do the first tower aqueduct, wherever that is. And navigating these, uh, the quest is pretty tough. You do get a lot of quests stacked up on top of each other, especially because I'm not able to kind of complete some of these. And, and you know, I'm sure the game's intention is that to kind of have you juggle your quest log and, and utilize your resources the best in order to get multiple quests done at once. Teaching you to multitask. <laughs> I like to do things one at a time, as slowly as humanly possible. Which is like why a lot of time I like games where you can just run out and kill everything. I, dude, easy if you're still there, man. I really want to play some ESO, bro. So you should you should make um, a tune so we can do that. I, I, I wanted to call you. I was gonna call you last night, but I thought maybe you're sleeping. I was gonna say, bro, we need to play ESO right now. Right this second. Dang it, another deadly fight. <laughs> right where I need to go. Well, I'd say we could have played um, right now, but I don't know what you're doing. What do you got going on? Because I gotta run to the store and stuff a little later. As soon as they wake up, you don't have to stop streaming. To see so, so many undead roaming around in the light of day. Which will probably be after this. You know, as soon as they wake up, I'll have to end this, and then I have to go do my errands, and then uh, maybe later this afternoon, or probably more like this evening, then.
But I mean, if you're free this afternoon, we can try to make that happen for sure. Why are these guys so deadly? Okay, nice. Yeah, so, Flavius the Wise Kraka. Let's see what this says. Strong enemy. I might be able to add something to my troops. But yeah, get your get your guy made and stuff, man. I was gonna do a little bit of questing so that I was more in a spot where we could get together. So maybe I'll try to do that. Or we can meet in town. Maybe it'll be easy if we party up, we'll be able to find each other. Uh Aldori Dominion, I think. Aldori Domain. I made a I'm gonna be a um a casting paladin because my other my main yeah, AD, uh, Eldarian Dominion. Uh, my main tune is, I'm a paladin, but I'm like a stamina tank, like offhand DPS. And I don't really use a lot of the spells, so I was going to, because I, I really want to do a Necromancer, but I just can't bring myself to spend the $15 right now to get the Necromancer. Uh, but I, w I maybe was going to look into that, I don't know, we'll see, because I'm enjoying this game, and then, you know, Diablo 2 is coming out, so I don't. I definitely want to do a necromancer, but I would. I just want to play the game, so I think we'll just. I'm going to be a magicka paladin and use casting light magic. I'm not going to really heal. I'm going to use my resto staff to heal offhand if we need it for like dungeons and stuff. But real, multi, uh, mostly, I just want to be like a caster, a uh, paladin caster, because that's like basically the one kind of build I haven't done in ESO. I think <laughs> I have a, a guy pretty much with every other build, so I'm going to I'm going to wrap it back around to where I started with. Paladin, but instead I'm doing, or Templar, or whatever, but instead of tanking and, and that, I'm going to be doing um, casting, not so much healing. But I will heal because, you know, we'll probably need it to get in dungeons. Oh, yeah, I was adding a thing here. Do, do, do. Okay. Oh, who do I have that I could bring? I have hounds. I guess I should have bought more hounds. So I can keep with the order of things. I could bring a skeleton. There's five skeletons. They're pretty strong. Level two. I could bring some more archers. Lots of archers, but this is really going to hurt my morale, I think. As long as it doesn't make it negative. Let's see. So it's no bonuses, no penalties. Let's see what it says. Is it the deadly armies? Equal enemy. Alright, so they have eight. They have a ton of skeletons. They have some ghouls, some zombies. This could be tough. Let me save before I fight these guys. Might have to use some spells. Here we go. Fight. I should have went back, but I wanna I need a freaking warp stone so I don't have to walk all the way back there. Alright, so I'm gonna deploy. Where are these guys at? So are these are arch do they have archers? They do have archers. The ghouls are quick hitters and they they run in and do a lot of damage. Like I said, dude, this totally reminds me of freaking I thought they had archers. Oh, over here. I should probably try to run up here and, and get out of the range of those archers, but instead I might peel around here. But this totally reminds me of playing tabletop, bro. Uh, original freaking Warhammer fantasy, man. It's so similar. It's crazy. Get my healers out of harm. I need to get my healers out of harm's way. Which actually might be here. Oh, the swordsman. Oh, I was gonna say I kind of wanted to bring my guys in there. Yeah, let's see, I'll put my swordsman here. I'll roll like a like a tank style here. So we got archers, healers, archers, and spearmen over here. I could summon a unit here if I need to. Maybe I should do that. Peel off because these guys are gonna come in this way. But I could pick them off. Try to pick them off. These guys might take longer to get here. I could I could peel around. Uh, these ghouls could probably come in from right here, so it shows you their range. So yeah, they can actually come in right here. Get my swordsman. Maybe I should move my swordsman over. Let's 
That's what I should put them there. Unless, can I move these guys? Let's see what their range is. So technically, they could get here if I wanted them to. Oh, wow, I can bring those guys way over. Alright, I like that build. You know, my, this side's going to be a little bit weak, but maybe I can kind of charge this way with my troops. Take out those guys and then force these dudes to channel up this way. Oh man, they have a lot of guys. Alright. Okay, they're going to go that way, which is probably okay for me. How the hell they can shoot poison arrows? Oh man. That was annoying. Poison isn't going to be... See, these guys are good against poison, I think. Less from arrows, stronger against poison. So skeleton archers might not have been the best thing to bring into this. Because I have skeletons. Oh man, that was probably stupid. Maybe they'll be good against the ghouls. Can't see the ghouls, huh? Then maybe they can serve as a distraction. There we go. Let's see if these ghouls are actually strong against poison. I think they are. I mean, it's a poison debuff. I'll save my ability points. I don't know how that works out, but I will shoot them. Probably should use some. Oh, those were the skeletons. I think that they are. Like fire does hurt them though, so I think. So it's showing a soldier, but then it shows them as the. Oh, they so they're ranged and stabby. Okay, I'm gonna hit them with the fire. Well, let's see what kind of spells I have here. I might have a fire. Yeah. Does it actually do damage? Unit members deal an additional 30 percent. Oh no, that's that's a buff. Burning ray. Yeah, let's hit him up with burning ray. Let's hit these guys. This is great. Yeah, I'm stuck on that one. Alright, I'm gonna fire these guys right over here for sure. those troops. I guess I'll hit them with those. The arrows themselves don't hurt them that bad, but the burning should hurt them. Alright, then... Got a heal. That'll hurt those guys quite a bit. Well, those guys are strong. And skeletons, you know? Ugh, that's probably gonna kill one. Wish I had a way to. Let's see, what is this? Power strike. That's what I'm talking about. I guess there's a good place as any. I'm hoping the burning will get them. My spearmen can come out here. I guess I wasted my fire arrow here. So I don't know how much burning damage they're going to take. I don't want to give them an opportunity to attack. I'm just going to spear them up. over here a little bit vulnerable. Oh, there's zombies, dude. I should have told you. Wow, did they just kill all my useless skeleton archers? That's not good. I 
can't hit him with that, so I guess I'll wait. Oh, I almost lost one. I need to heal those guys. I'm hoping that... Should I use heal or should I use burning on these guys over here? Because these guys look strong. Decisions, decisions. Burning man. Okay. Hurts the bulls enough. Awesome. I can't heal these guys. Blood the healing. Yeah. So I can heal, and I guess I can't attack if I heal. Right? No. Okay. I could move those ghouls. We shouldn't be able to walk through here. My defense is all weight. Work. But then. Poison. I'm gonna get down here and kill these guys. Can but the ghouls are gonna attack me. Could finish. Oh, that won't even finish them off. So I should probably uh, take care of these folios. I guess I'll just force them into the box right here. Force these guys this way. These guys might be foolish enough to walk here. I've got burning on these guys, right? So I could get some range down there potentially. Defend. If these guys try to backdoor me though, that won't be good. Yeah, they are gonna try to backdoor me. It's a long way for them to walk this, so I can move my troops this direction here. They freaking poison me? Additional turn! Ah, uh, freaking jive turkeys, man. out of the way. Or I could throw him down as fodder. I mean the poison. Oh, I'm gonna shoot him. Did I not shoot him? Yeah. How this happen? Stick these guys over here. And that'll protect my people. out a little bit. Dang it, I was hoping to heal before they drop on my guys. Should be able to get a heal off on here. Alright, who's that? The archers. Okay, flaming zombie then. Make a druid character? Nice, man. I thought, is it, uh, don't you have to buy that character? Shoot and move, shoot and move. Okay, so... You can't move as far if you shoot. I wasn't sure what the rules were on that, so I wanted to make sure to... Um, be able to get out of harm's way here. I can pretty much kill them. I want to heal the spearmen. They're almost dead. It'd be nice if it also cleanse their poison. Don't want to give them a chance to retaliate. Get some. What? Is there one zombie left? That's so stupid. 
And they kill the swordsmen with their poison bullshit. That's annoying. Ah, oh, no, I can't reach the archers either. Stupid. Oh. Sometimes that happens. So these guys are melee, so if these skeletons try to move, they will take my attack. they did try to do for some reason, so they're dead. Yeah. close to being dead. Yes, a victory feels so good. Look at that. I don't want to heal all, although the skeleton archers were pretty useless, but they do have poison. I can't heal them at all. Interesting. Maybe if the entire unit dies, you can't heal them. Oh, look at that! My streaming got a rank up. I wonder if I made them stronger. I should have took a. I should have took a, a look at that. But I think possibly three is the highest rank you can have, of all things in this game. Because as you see, it doesn't look like he experiences gains experience anymore there. Yeah. That's a that's a good thing to have when you when you have some of that you know perks. All right, well. Now what? Do I level up? Well, lots of gold. I did not level up. Pretty close though. Almost. Okay, so you can hold more um, stuff than just the full box inventory. I don't know how much you hold. Am I maxed out? I don't know. I should go bend my junk. Yeah, dude, it is a little bit separate. All right, so let me talk to this guy. I really would like to find a warp stone. I can feel the building, the surmounting pressure. I'm going to need to find that. Oh. Be careful. Hey, what's your name? Can you tell me what happened here? Damned if I know. That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. We were trying to get this ancient piece of stone working again. We re-etched the levitation sigils, reversed the charge on the amalgam. I don't understand any part of what you're saying. <laughs> tell me about the undead already. Anyway, the water must flow, so we went through the protocol step by step. The final directive was to replace the energy crystal. That's when all this started. When we plugged the crystal into its slot, Next thing you know, the undead were stumbling about everywhere. They were after the crystal. The workmen scattered and took cover wherever they could. And now the crystal's gone. I think the undead took it back to their graveyard. But I'm not setting foot in there. So don't ask. Alright. Back to their graveyard, huh? Find an energy crystal. So what I would like to do is find a warp stone, which I might not be able to find, because they don't seem to place them very, like... You know what I mean? Like, there's this one, so you might not get another one until you get all the way down here or something. Because it seems like a small area, but it's not. 
This is very dense and it's hard to travel. These paths, these roads, a lot of them are blocked or you have to go around random stuff. Um, it's kind of difficult. So maybe it'll be over this way, out these gates. But I am going to take a look. Um, you know, we'll try to find one in here. If not, I'll just end the stream and have to manually walk back. And then next time we come back, I will uh, probably be heading up this way. In fact, I think I'm going to choose this option now that I'm kind of headed over there. So, you know, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check this out, see what goes on. If there's another fight, the fights take a little bit of time, especially because you want to be using the best strategy that you can so that you don't lose troops and, and waste money and you can level your guys and stuff. Okay, so the crystal needs to come here. Oh, that'd be cool if I could fish right here, man. Look at this. What's funny is I'm not a huge fan of fishing in real life. Like, I don't mind it. It's fun if you've got some time to kill and, you know, you're out and, out and about doing it. But uh, I love fishing in video games. It's so relaxing. <laughs> I guess if I was to have the choice to become a video game, I might. I don't know. i got a family now, though, so that's <laughs> a little bit different of a choice to make. But I don't know. I just love everything in video games. Doing it in a video game, I love it. It's like, you do some chores? Cool. Let's do it, but you know, it's like work simulator got it. Let's that'll be awesome. <laughs> but I actually do that in real life? No. That's no fun. Oh, look at those birds. It's like nature watching around, you're walking around, you're like, cool, I just spent like did a two hour drive, now I gotta like do a two hour hike and now I got to look at some nature and now I'm pissed. And now it's time to go back home. It's like, ah, oh, but in this I can look at some nature, get some gold. Really what it is is getting gold and, and items and doing battles and such. I always thought it'd be fun to, if you've ever watched like Yu-Gi-Oh or any of those, I thought it'd be fun. It's just like, you're like, oh, I'll battle you, and you bust out the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, I thought that'd be fun. I just want to dress up like that and have a cool deck belt. You yeah, know, I'm a big nerd. Don't tell anybody. Alright, dude, that just looks so cool. I know, you know, I can just already tell, and, and somebody actually already made a comment. I know people are going to hammer this game for its graphics, but if if you're going to do that, I want you to take a look at the scenery in the background. They did a really good job with that. It's almost like they had two different development teams, one for the background and one for the, like, sprites and stuff, or the character models or whatever. And uh, it's like the one guy, you know, one team was like, we're going to do a really good job, and the other team was like, well, we're going to do an okay job. We're going to do a well enough job. It's just interesting how that works. I guess backgrounds are probably easier to make and render than the people that are moving around and stuff, so. I don't know much about it. I'm, I'm not uh, tech savvy. I'm just an old guy. game I really enjoy is uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, the Soul Series, and uh, I'm going to tell you, walking around in this in this realm, in this world, it, I get a sense of that, although this is not a Souls game whatsoever, I just, I kind of get that feeling, and uh, I don't know, if you're into I that, you might like this, maybe I give yourself a change of pace. Down, I have a feeling if you like Elder Scrolls games, you're going to like this game if you're not someone who is expecting like a ton of action. But if you like the uh, you going to the questing, the like the, the communication, the building trusts and things that are within the Elder Scrolls game, Skyrim, if you like that portion of Skyrim and you like, hey, maybe you like that portion more than the actual fighting and stuff, I think you're really going to like this game. And I know there's a lot of people that like uh, Elder Scrolls games because it's one of the most popular RPGs ever made. I guess it's more of an action RPG, but I call anything that has like leveling and items RPGs. Doesn't matter what it is. I might be wrong in saying that, but I just think, you know. And uh, dude, something you might not notice if I have headphones on, so I'm hearing all the subtleties in the background and stuff. But there, um, do you remember playing like Heroes, dude, having that music in the background, the opera, and just kind of like the um, peaceful, tranquil music? You're getting that in this too, and uh, you know me and Easy, we grew up on that Heroes of Might and Magic. Some of our favorite. We played the original King's Bounty, man. We just we we were there, we played it, and and we know all about it. So just hearing that little bit of subtle background music is is awesome. It's just one more thing to bring us bring us back to those times. So like I've said, whether you're a, a new gamer and you've never never really gamed or you don't know much about gaming or whatever. This game is a good place to start for you. Ooh, a black pearls. 
we were just watching Sherlock and they had, they found a black pearl and it had like a ring inside of it. It was pretty cool. I guess it's called Elementary. I always call it Sherlock. We're in season seven. I think it's the last season. So we're over in England now. It was kind of hard to get into it at first because it's just kind of a weird show and CBS has kind of like weird shows sometimes. But uh, it's worth a watch if you like crime shows. I mean, <laughs> you watch enough crime shows, they're pretty much all the same. I think they did a good job with it though. Some of them they do very cookie, very cookie cutter shows. Oh, is this a hidden shrine? I guess it's not so hidden. I can't imagine. I've only seen very little bits of like NCIS and those CSI ones that are abundant. But I, I feel like those are all the same, man. Which is fine because it's like, oh, cool, we're home, we're gonna make dinner and like watch a show. So this is fine. You know, murder, murder, murder. It's always the husband or the whatever jealous lover. <laughs> it's like always the culprit. But hey, oh, I found my shrine. All right, guys. Well, do you want to see? Do you want to see me go and and find Flavius, or do you want to have me stop this here? Now that I know the shrine is right here, I kind of need to go vend. I don't know how much stuff I can hold, but we're going to go over here. We're going to talk to this person and see what they say. And then I'm going to go try to find Flavius. And then we'll save. we got to take out the gang near the outpost. So we'll start the next stream with this section. So whatever happens after here. And then, we're gonna, you know, our next stream, we're going to come in here. Uh, I have a feeling that the, the fam's about to wake up. I can, I can sense it. They're going to come out here kicking and <laughs> screaming. <laughs> So I don't want to be in a position where that's going to be problematic. Go find Fabio. Dude, that... Fabio's the man, bro. Old cemetery, huh? Hmm. He might have seemed like a joke back in the day when, like, you know, we had guys like Arnold and Sylvester rolling around, but by today's standard, Fabio's a G, man. You know what I'm saying? Him and, like, Michael Bolton and those guys, they're just freaking, they're OG. Even, uh, even like, uh, what was that one guy? The Yaz flute guy. <laughs> Kenny G, and then there's the other one. Yanni. Those are all, man, those guys are badass nowadays. Whoa, one warfare. Love it. I'm pretty sure that means my attack power has just gone up one. So if you think Heroes of Might and Magic, you've got your attack, your knowledge, your defense, and your whatever the other one was. Your uh, spell power. I think it's very similar to that in there, but look at that, man. I got a freaking Claymore right there. Drew McIntyre, Claymore kick. Bags of gold. We got a, a ritual altar to the, you know, to the warfare god here of Berserker Sword in the Ten Commandments style tablets with the writing, the Nordic writing, whatever that is. Badass, man. So there are definitely some features in this game that that you could say they did a really good job with. And I, I would hate to see people that just look past all this stuff and, and, and don't give it its credit for where, where they did a good job because this was actually a really good game. I'm not even mad about it. All right, what's this? Uh -huh. I'm just stoned a lot, though, so maybe that has something to do with it. Let's read this. Hmm. I know what you're saying. It's 8 in the morning. Why are you stoned? <laughs> it's medicine. Among lavas. Love reading tombstones. Not in, like, real life. I'm terrified of going into graveyards, but... Oh, warrior's gloves. I might have some better gear I need to look at. I'll look at all that off, and then I'll, I'll give you guys an update when next I come back on like pillaging this graveyard I'm gonna be cursed <laughs> ooh a coffin that can't be good energy crystal how much nice. mana does it contain that's one precious piece of Whoa. hey dead man never mind the sneaking about are you the keeper of this place the I undertaker of uh -huh. this cemetery I watch over the dead my name is Sir Valiant. Then you can answer for your fellows. Why did you attack the aqueduct? In the gray world of the afterlife. The, the dead man, the phenom himself. More. It was devoured somehow. 
by something that is not death. Somehow, the dead something were terrified on the wing. In the cold and the dark, and enraged by this great crime, that is why they sought the crystal. With that all due why. respect, Sir Knight, the world's light is right there in the sky. That's no answer. There used to be a mourner statue here. It guarded the world of the living from those forbidden to pass. But an unworthy one came. A thief. A thief called Garrett. He removed the soul seal. Then I could hold back the dead no more. They broke loose and stole the crystal. And now they feed upon it. What are we to do now? If you return the soul seal, I shall resume my vigil and keep the dead in their rightful domain. But if you return the crystal to its former place, the dead warriors will rise again. The soul seal will likely resurface in Marcella sooner or later. But where? I should investigate this iniquitous den. I, like, don't even know what this guy just said. I don't get it. Why aren't you enjoying your final rest? I used to be in the guard. I swore allegiance to the crown. That year, the king went on a crusade, and I stayed back at the capital. I longed to see my son, who was about to be born. But as ill luck would have it, a sorcerer found a way to control the troll hordes. Damn sorcerer. Suddenly, they started raiding the suburbs of Marcella. I was killed in that battle. I died as a knight. Now I continue my service to atone for not following my king. You're damn right. So, I'd, I want to make the power choice. I'm going far away from wisdom choices. Power, I think, I, originally I said I want to do anarchy, but really, the, the anarchy chart in this, I'm not super excited with. Um, just as yet, but I'm going to do power and anarchy. I'm going to choose power and order for now because I guess my tune is more, it was born into order for, you know, selecting this mercenary tune. Well, I can go into any spec really that I want, uh, but this game does a really good job of setting up choices that make you want to think like I really want to, I don't want that guy. Like he was like fighting for his son or whatever, you know, I don't want to upset him. Uh, you know, I want him to rest and be happy, but if I go do this I think it said I have to like fight a bunch of people so we'll see what happens um Flavius you might have to wait buddy I don't like doing you know multiples oh yeah let's check out those gloves I think I got some better gloves these are warriors gloves which I believe I already have some so more of the same I bought this belt because I was like the one thing I was missing uh and I'm glad I did because I thought I was like oh I'll probably buy this and then find one because it was rather expensive and then uh sure enough I found a dupe on the gloves so Pretty much have found all this gear. I haven't really had to buy any. And the upgrades I could buy are better, but they're going to be all my gold, so I didn't want to do that. Well, let's go have the Undead Rise. I don't know what that's going to do. If I'm going to have to do like a big fight or what. I'm not prepared for that. Oh, and this might be one that I cannot retreat from as well. Do you even realize what you've done? What do you mean? I followed the book. What book? You were supposed to figure this out yourself. You had better think this through. Give me the guards, or a few dozen golems. Get the aqueduct running this instant. I can't without it's the, the tax crystal. collector. This guy. Even if I had it, I wouldn't. How dare you talk back to me? Oh, I dare. I want to live. Hey, you. Yes, you there. Come here. Who's this now? Hold on, I think we found the crystal. Sir, I found the crystal. Then what are we waiting for? Put it in place at once. Marcella will run that out reminds of me of the, two days. of the guy from Princess Eugene, Bride. Eugene, take the crystal and fit it in its place. No. Inconceivable. No. Don't you understand? I don't think you know if what that word means. Replaced, the undead will return. Enough excuses, Eugene. I picked you up from the streets and got you a good position. You wouldn't leave me be, you mean. I don't want to die throttled by the claws of a rotten, undead thing. Ugh! Insert the crystal. We can dispose of the undead ourselves. They aren't under royal protection, you know. Now I'm really torn. I really, I don't want the undead to be 
upset. Where's this other one that I have to do? Returning the crystal. Oh man, those are both over here. Return the stolen seal. Oh, yeah. yeah, fuck it. Let's do it right here. Damn you, undead. May you not rest in peace. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, they're pissed. <laughs> Undefeatable enemy? Holy shit. That was a bad idea. I should have saved before I did that, huh? Oh no, now I probably can't get over. Oh, there's a way shrine over there, though. Defeat the oncoming undead. Oh man, did this just like put me back all the way? Oh no, okay, cool. I was like, I should have probably saved before I did that. Oh well, uh, eventually they'll be defeatable, right? I might have just totally screwed myself. I'm glad they put this on this side here. Alright, well in order to get to Flabius, Flabio, Fabio, Bino, I gotta go all the way back around. Should be able to work past this fight, I hope, because if not, I probably just totally screwed myself. <laughs> I have like no fights that I can do anywhere, and uh, yeah. I know EZ thought that was funny, you big jerk. Uh, but, uh, see, unlike in some of the Heroes games and stuff, you could ride past enemies or try to sneak around them. This one's like, I can't even walk in this zone without triggering the fight, so that's pretty rough, actually. That was probably a bad idea, huh? But yeah, alright guys, well that was a look at some questing and doing some dialogue, and then we got a battle in there, we're advancing the story. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to get back over here if I can, but that's going to require me to walking all the way back over there, and i got to bend and do all this stuff, so. My time is running out for now. Um, I'm hoping to get together with Easy a little bit later and stream some ESO, man. We haven't played that game in so long. They're doing a free trial weekend. I did a video a little bit ago about this, but uh, we were going to get back into that, maybe do some questing together. That was one of the things Easy and I could really never do because he's always been on Xbox, so it was like, we played the same games, but not together because... These companies are dicks. They make you buy an Xbox and a PlayStation if you want to play with your friends and stuff. So, anyhow, we're able to do that now. We're both back on the PlayStation. So, you know, reunited, and it feels so good. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to try to get together and do some of that later. And I will be bouncing back and forth between King's Bounty. i got Diablo 2 coming out. And we're going to be playing some ESO. And we also have Friday the 13th and whatever else fun stuff comes along. I know there's a bunch of stuff we like to play, so... Um, this is the kind of game where I think you could kind of like bounce back and forth. You might be like, what was I doing? But it gives you enough kind of like, oh, okay, this is where I was going. It gives you enough indication. Whereas, you know, some games, especially RPGs, you're like, you stop playing them for a week or two weeks. You're like, what the hell was I doing? You almost have to start the game over. Um, whereas this, it's pretty laid out for me. Uh, you know, I might have to look at my some notes or watch a past stream. Um, and that's actually one good thing about recording your videos or doing streams and stuff is that you, if you forget where you were, you could just go watch that video like, oh yeah, okay, rather than have to start the game over. But uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. We appreciate you. Of course, Leo, please stopping by. Hopefully you're having a good day, man, or night. I think you said it was night over there. Easy. I'll be talking to you, buddy. And uh, yeah, keep on coming back, guys. Checking us back with Brother Sports Gaming. You know what's up. See you next time. Hello, good morning, what is up, everyone? Welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. We hope you're doing well. Uh, last time we left off, uh, I made a bonehead move, and I wanted to go with a certain... So in this game, you have to choose ideals when you make quest choices. Uh, they're between the four factions, which are... Uh, you got order, anarchy, finesse, and power. Okay, you've got... What's up, Leo Plays? You've got a character in a similar fashion to old school games, Heroes of Might and Magic. You've got four major types of influence, which are your attack power, your spell power, your leadership, and your, you know, ability to use magic. Wherever those went. <laughs> I can't find them now. Uh, anyhow, I saw it on one page. Is it here? 
Uh, it's not there. Anyway. <laughs> Health, morale. So those are all things. Anyway, so what you're doing is you're making those choices. I made a choice to place the crystal and then summon the undead because I wanted to turn on... You see that right there? I wanted to activate that because that looked pretty cool. And it was a power ideal, so I wanted to go ahead and do that. But anyway, it totally screwed me over. There's a fight over here that says it's unwinnable. I need a power up big time to go do that. Um, I've got a few other things I can do over here. Those are some strong fights. Um, I actually came over this way uh, when I was looking around, and there was just a couple meaningless fights I did over here. And um, I'm finding some new pathways coming here. These are some difficult fights. Uh, last time I said we were going to try to find Flavius here. Uh, this is a really hard fight, and I can't find him without doing that. So what we're going to do, we're going to go this way, see if I can't open up another way around and come over here and do some of these quests. Leo plays. Hope you're doing well, man. Um, I'm just going to be doing some battling. Like I promised, we're going to get started off with a battle here. Let me get, let me get it going. On here, I got chat up. So feel free. I'm using the microphone controller. Hopefully, you can hear me okay, Leo plays. It is early, and it is time to kick some ass. I did find some new troops. I found these um, militiamen. They're they're the power stress, so they're kind of like dwarves. And I got this cool bear. Um, they actually have a flying uh, like a flying firebird thing that I can't quite afford. So I, I'm looking to power up some of these troops right now. They're pretty cool. Yeah, dude, wrecking crew is so good. And you you can design your own levels in that thing, man. Let's fight. Oh man, that looked like a cool game. I like that Treasure Toad one. Isn't that one feature the like the Toadette girl in it too? I know you almost can never be her.
Dang, dude, nice, man. I, I've been wanting to kind of go back and play more of Mario 3, too. I don't know, about two hours. That's a lot. No warps, man. That's fast.
I have played Kirby's Pinball Land. It's uh, pretty good. I don't know. Was it on the Game Boy? Was the, the Kirby I liked was on Game Boy. I, I liked the one on NES, but the one I grew up playing was on the Game Boy, which was awesome.
Man, I took some more casualties in that one than I wanted to. Got a good amount of gold, but most of it's going to be used to heal my troops. But uh, that was an even fight. So that's an or maybe slightly stronger enemy. I'm not sure what that said at the beginning. But uh, that was a good fight right there. There's some great Disney games on PS1. I do have Tarzan. I don't remember playing it, and I can't remember if I ever beat it. Uh, I think I just... Or not. I do remember playing it. I own it. Um, but I don't remember beating it, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. It kind of makes me want to go check it out to see... Uh, you know, I imagine it is. Most of those the most of those like movie games that were made on... They were made quickly and kind of poorly. Some of them, or most of them... You know, some of them are really good, but still they have those buggy fights and stuff that make them that much harder... <laughs> Oh no, I lost my bears. So if your unit dies all the way, you lose them and you can't heal them. That sucks. Yeah, Hercules, I like that game a lot on PlayStation 1. Man, there's just so many good PlayStation 1 games. There's so many good games, it's hard to play them all. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll bring my Spirit of Light in. I kind of are like the bears. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, if you guys are playing this game, make sure to keep a lot of backup troops and don't spend all your money on random stuff because you don't get a lot of it and you need these guys to keep progressing the game. There's bound to be some treasure around here. What's one thing I have noticed is that if you're, yeah, we uh, we have played through it. Actually, one of the first videos we did a long time ago was beat Goof Troop, and it it's got some pretty challenging puzzles, man. So, if you like puzzle games, and, and the cool thing too is it's co-op, so it's one of the very few like co-op puzzle games there are. And it's actually it's actually pretty fun. There's boss fights similar to like <laughs> a couple of them reminded me of boss fights on the uh, Zelda game on the Super. It was pretty random, um, but yeah, something I have noticed when you're wandering around. So these treasure chests will pop up, so you might not see them because stuff's kind of hard to see in this game. But check your map frequently because it'll show you where one is, even if you walked by it and didn't see it. It'll it'll proc on your map. So uh, as you're walking by, just kind of take note of that as you're like, hmm. You know, if you don't see something, like check your map and then go back. You see, like right here, this will show up here now. So if I missed it somehow, I could check my map and be like, oh, okay, yeah, go back and, you know, get that. I thought it was one that I'd already opened or something, so I wasn't even paying attention to it. Look at these reeds, man. This is so cool. I really do enjoy this game. Um, I've seen... And kind of like heard negative reviews on it. So if you guys are out there and listening to those negative reviews, what I would say to you is if you enjoy RPGs, if you enjoy story-driven kind of games with tactical combat, you'll very much enjoy this game. And there really are not a lot of them out there. And the ones that are sometimes are kind of, you know, they're kind of meh. This game has so much to offer. It's out of control, like, how much is going on in this game and for the for the value. Because like, I was kind of taken back on it. Uh, $60 for an indie game is kind of a lot, thinking about it. But, um, you know, like I've been saying, you could probably wait for a sale and catch it on sale if you're not, like, dying to play it right away um, and save some money that way, which, which, which I would recommend. Um, but if you are just looking for a game to play, 
and you enjoy these kinds of games, uh, yeah, man, you've got so much here. Say what you will about it, but, you know, graphically or whatever, but everything else is spot on. It's what you want it to be. And the graphics are actually pretty good. I mean, yeah, there's some rendering issues and such, and the, the models are not the best, and, you know, people talk about 4K and this and that, and it's like, well, this is a PS4 game. I'm almost wondering if it was some kind of port from a, from an earlier PC version that they kind of, like, ramped up to bring to uh, to console, you know what I mean? Or, or just kind of like a rebuild. But I don't know if they built this game from the ground up. I don't know much about it. I actually didn't know there were... There's uh, two or three other King's Bounty games that have come out since the original in the 90s I had no idea about. So, you know, I don't know if this is, you know, like a rebuilt version of that on a, on a different kind of engine, you know what I mean? Kind of like they did with Demon Souls or whatever um, on the PlayStation 5. Dude, Little Mermaid for 10 bucks is a steal. That game is awesome. So much fun. Where am I going? So probably got to take care of that, but I love looking for treasure first. I'm a treasure looker. It would be prudent to get this done as quickly as possible and get out of here. Dude, that's a tough one. There are some annoying ones. I think the um, Lukatu guy is pretty annoying. And the Chain Chomp is kind of annoying too, especially in Mario 3. He, in that one level, he's pretty irritating. And then, I don't know, it, it used to be the sun. The sun was super hard for me growing up, but he's not too bad now. Yeah, I want to thank you guys uh, that have been tuning in, following in. I wanted to get you guys some more story. Um, if you're interested in, in continuing to watch me play through this game, let me know. I am enjoying it, uh, but I do have Diablo 2 coming out, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Easy and I are probably going to get back into ESO. Um, it's going to be hard timing-wise, but we definitely look forward to us playing some of that. Of course, we got Friday the 13th going on and, and other whatever other random kind of miss that happens. How did I miss that? See, that's what I'm talking about. I missed that. Keep checking your map. Uh, so we got that going on. But yeah, if you are, you know, I've, I wanted to do some more progression of the story in case, you know, you guys are out there watching this and, and wanting to see it. Um, I have noticed that that does seem to be the case. So like I said, if you want to continue seeing King's Bounty, I will be playing through it. Oh, man, see, look at that. You can miss this super easy. Uh, and yeah, just keep coming back, checking back for more. It might slow down, like I said, I might start mixing it up and doing doing some other stuff. But um, just is going to be a timing thing. So you know, if it turns out to where Easy and I can get together and play ESO, we're definitely going to do that. How do I get in here? Which is if you're not if you're not aware, it's the Elder Scrolls multiplayer MMO uh, online multiplayer, kind of similar to WoW. Uh, Easy and I used to play WoW, and unfortunately. We've either been on the different console or just not doing stuff at the same time. So uh, we did. We've briefly played these games together over time. Uh, we started out playing Ultima Online. Pretty much was was one of the first MMOs we ever played, and it was incredible. Um, and he, I mean, he had the account. I've I've never really had an up to spec computer to do that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, anyhow, we we played together a few times right, with <laughs> interesting means. We've gone into those stories before, but. Uh, we're both on PlayStation now, and ESO, if you didn't know, if you have a PlayStation 5, it's a free 
game for you. It doesn't really say that it is, and you have to go download the free PlayStation 5 upgrade. Um, but what I've read in there is that it is a free game for all PS5 users for the base model. So you get like a $60 game with no monthly fee or anything like that that you can level and do all the beginning stuff up to like level 50 or whatever it is for free, which is just insane. So if you have a PlayStation 5, go out and get that game right now for free. Start playing, enjoying. And ultimately what we would like to do is, is play some of these games with you guys. You know, Let us know. Drop us in. If we're streaming and you want to party up, just let us know in the stream. Send us an invite. You know what I mean? That's kind of where we're going with this. I know we got some guys out there that want to join up with us. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, like I said, you know, we're really trying to trying to get these games out there. And I was actually wondering how this quest was going to work. Bernard was right. There is definitely yeah. something awry here. Definitely. Hey, what's this extra? Well, that one's really hidden. Um, but yeah, like I really do enjoy this game, but it's, you know, it's a little slow if you're in the mood for a fast-paced action hack and slash, or you know, you kind of want to play online with a buddy or something. I don't believe in any faction that this is <laughs> fashion that this is online, at least not yet. I know there are some expansions that come out. I did buy the Lords Edition so that uh, I would get access to all of whatever came with that. There still is some kind of skins that I can't figure out how to use that came with that day one edition. Uh, maybe they haven't patched it in yet, or I just can't figure out how to do it. All right, so unless I can sneak around the back door this way, I'm going to have to come up this way, which this is a super hard fight for me. Um, there are some things I can go back and do here. And, oh yeah, oh, I need to talk to this guy too. So I'm, I'm probably going to end up coming and doing these two fights right here. If you guys want to stick with me, I need to go back to the town, then get my army built back up, and uh, yeah, try to take on some of these fights right here, so I can come and complete these quests. Now, I did talk about how they're time sensitive, and I really haven't seen that come into play yet, but I'm sure that it will. But let me see if I can sneak around this building first. It's not really looking like I can. Okay, so yeah, I could do that and bring the rattle to Bernard. And I'm wondering if I pick the mage class, if they would have a town scroll portal. I haven't really even looked for that in the vendor because I haven't been wanting to spend extra gold on anything because I'm just so worried about not being able to buy troops that I haven't been doing that. So let's see. Yeah, pretty much gonna have to come this way. I can come down to that marker stone. All right. One thing about this game and many games, such as like Elder Scrolls Online, is that if you um, if you ride your horse, you're going to miss stuff. So uh, ultimately, I do like walking, but I'll speed it up for you right here because we got some places to go. Mount Doom. All right, so I have cleared most of that out. We just did a couple battles there. Or was it just one battle? I don't remember. <laughs> a couple battles. All right, what do we have? Right, we go down to this way shrine over here. We'll go back to the town do all that business. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well this morning. Yeah, that was fast. And we'll be we'll be getting back into the action shortly if that's what you're here for. This way shrine over here. I found this one. I actually should have done this one to begin with. I was looking for the way shrine. This would have been a lot easier to have procced both of these. So something I would recommend to you if you're starting out, is to proc this way shrine here from this side of the gate. When you're, I think you start out in here, so you come down, and you could have like proc this. Ooh, I could have got this treasure. I might go do that. Um, and then you can proc this one as well. And that way you have access. Because see, I could have come down this way. It actually, probably would have been a lot easier for me uh, having access to both of those.
The High Park is wonderful. I gotta go get that treasure box. So yeah, if you guys have been enjoying this, if you're just tuning in for the first time, we got about five of these videos up, I think, from the start of the game to the kind of where we are now. So let's see, Venomous Skull. I need a healing spell. That could save me some units, but 300 bucks to save me a unit, it seems worth it, but not really. So we, we know they're there. Let's sell all our junk. And what's cool about the vendors as well is that I believe Arcane Knowledge Resistance seems good, but I don't need it. Ooh, man, that's a that's a good one for price. I'll hang on to it for a minute. As soon as you go find the rest of those and finish that quest. Um, but yeah, what's cool is that the vendors that you sell to, they hang on to the stuff you sell them. It's kind of neat. I don't know if there's a maximum of that, but uh, you often don't get that in games. So the fact that that's in this one is pretty cool. So I should be able to go right here and find this pouch of gold, which I'm going to do. And then try to go talk to that other merchant to see if they have any cool troops I can buy. Now, I don't know if these treasure chests respawn. Like, I almost kind of feel like they do, or they're just that easy to miss. I can't remember if I read that one already. Where is it? Where is this patch of gold? You would assume it would be right, it's right behind me. Is your business urgent? If not, then go. Huh. It should be right here. I don't see it. Anybody see a pouch of gold? Ah, look at that. That's really hidden in there. Dang, that's, that's good though. That's some an item and some gold. All right, let's see. I'm gonna talk to this uh, this guy. So he has some really cool gear, high level, fifty thousand dollars for whatever gear. And I actually think it's part of the uh, trophy, the platinum trophy. You have to get like all that gear and do something like win a battle in it or whatever. Uh, which is just crazy. That that particular the platinum on this thing is insane. So if you guys are looking for, not only do you have to beat it with every character, you have to do a bunch of other crazy stuff too. Oh no. Must have caught a traitor. They should have gone after the bandits hey, instead. Heard the new joke you can't share a ball of yarn. Worry not, says the savior. Where one ball was, you will have three, and then draws a sword and quiet. Who's that?
Well, dang, that is way over there. So I did the quest over here. It's way over there. It could take forever to get over there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to come back here. Yeah, I watched uh, watched many different versions of the Jungle Book. Uh, my favorite, of course, is the Disney classic. Well, I was going to buy some more troops. I think this other guy that I buy troops from is right here, so I could go get my bears back. Um, and maybe some more militiamen, but I'll wait and do what I got now, and hopefully that'll be enough. Alright. I'm going to go hit up that waystone. This way. What's your favorite version Leo plays? Look, I'm walking the wrong way. I am. Super easy to get turned around in this game. Uh, the original animated. <laughs> totally. Alright, we're going to talk to the old Scryer first here, and before, I think that other one procs a fight. You, I, I... That's not important right now. Have a look around. What's this? Some kind of black sorcery? If only it was sorcery. Magic uses mana, the elements. This, however... This is the void, the blight. Our world is thinning. Hold up a tick. You brought me here. Why? What do you want me to do? I will open the entrance. The souls of ancient warriors are already doing battle against the void. You shall lead them. You want me to fight against the blight. But how? The great warriors of the past are still alive in the memory of the world. They left a great mark in its history. I can summon them in the astral plane, and you will give them life and lead them into battle. The great warriors of the past? Who exactly? The subterranean king, Demir. He's mobilizing dwarven regiments against the Blight in another dimension. Once he moved to the south of Nostria, and now he protects the kingdom. Go and you will see. Oh, okay, this is kind of cool. We're getting to play as a Void Ones, huh? Hollow Hands. Oh, archers. We've got to watch out for those archers, I'm sure. We get to play as another character, so we'll see how this works out. I probably should save before I do this in case I die, because I don't know what dying does in this if it, like, screws you over. So I'm going to retreat, probably, and then save, and then come back and fight this. It does say Strong Enemy. See if I can do that.
still really haven't figured out how archers work in this. They can shoot. They can get you pretty darn from pretty much anywhere. It doesn't really show you their line of sight. Well, I know they do have to have line of sight, but again, like I said, it's kind of difficult to tell how they have that. So I feel like they could like walk here and shoot anybody. So I'm going to try to actually kind of stack up over here. Dude, Super Mario World is amazing. That is my favorite Mario game. My favorite not named Mario Bros game of all time. So I count Mario World because it doesn't say Super Mario Bros. as kind of different than the original three. Are these archers too? Oh, flamethrowers. Nice. Let's see how that works out. I'm going to stack all my guys over here. Hopefully they don't have AoE. Militiamen. Militiamen. And more militia move? Okay. Now those hounds can walk pretty far. So I'm assuming either these guys are going to walk this way and shoot me. Oh, I didn't see these guys. Void ones over here. Oh, wow. They can walk and get my archers there. So maybe I go like this. Switch those guys up. I could try to form a thing here and cast some magic on these, these guys here. Sap them down. Maybe I don't know if this guy has magic. Let's find out. Kind of seems like a mistake to charge them over there. I'm going to have to get pinged by these guys, unfortunately. To, uh, you know, but if I send them in there with the hounds and those other void ones, could be bad news for me. These guys can go pretty much go here. So if I move them one, the hounds can get to them there. So I typically move them here, but they're probably going to get shot again. I'm going to move them here and try to force these guys in here a little bit. Don't let them get the attack on me. Probably going to get shot though, unfortunately. I'm going to take these guys out. Fire vulnerability. I wonder if I can shoot anybody else. If I can shoot these guys. Can't see them. These guys have fire vulnerability. As much as I want to finish these troops off here, they're pretty much done. I can put some work on these guys and hit them with fire, really jack them up, so I'll do that. And hit defend. Oh, man, I did not need that to happen. Dang. Those guys just got abused. The militiamen are strong, huh? Who's up? So they're gonna just, oh man, they can't even take them out. So they're having more defense than they are offense. They're holding it strong over here though. Alright, 
send. So we can either go ham on these hellhounds or try to finish these guys off, which I guess I'll do, especially because they don't attack back. I'll come in the back door, little Joe over here. So we actually pretty much kill them. Or let the fire kill them. I can't really get around. So yeah, these guys are done. Done city. I gotta go get those archers, man. Put them down. We don't want the retaliation. So yeah, nice. Okay, so I could possibly move here and shoot these guys, but then the hounds could get me. I can try to step here. Or can I shoot these Dern hounds? No. Do they have a fire bone ability? No, they don't. So yeah, either way if I go here, might be able to shoot these guys? No, I'm still saying I can't see them. But now that I've moved there, I can't move anywhere else. So you basically get like one move, however far you want to go. I kind of just wasted my, my time with them, but we'll see. I could have used their attack. What? They get healing? It's brutal. Those hounds are just crazy. See? I just stepped those guys out into their own death. That's what we got here. Haste man. I'm gonna go pence these guys in. I don't think the archers are gonna be as scary once I kind of get them from being able to shoot. Man, what's with this healing bullshit? So these dogs are crazy. They're like healing every turn. Don't want them to be able to run. So if we go right here. Those dogs won't be able to move. These guys won't be able to move without me attacking them. <sighs> it's a tough one. Because these guys are being dicks over here. Oh wow. You can play on your PC, that's pretty cool man. See I should have just moved here last time because they got shot anyway and I couldn't freaking shoot these jerks. So they do have a fire vulnerability so I'll get them next time. With my flamethrower. If I lose that's going to be like the one thing is because I moved them here instead of here which is what I should have done to begin with. Should have increased his armor. Dang it, that was stupid. I hope you don't kill them all. Yeah, nice. See, what the fuck? He keeps healing. They're trying to move and shoot, which is annoying. Because now they're hurting my guys. Barely, though. Might as well. Uh, I just figured out you could, uh, if you hold the mute button, it mutes all your audio and the uh, mic, which is cool. But uh, I figured out how to make that useful. 
any console to your PC? Awesome, man. Do you using like a capture card or something? Or you mean like you can hook it to your PC and play it? So apparently the center point of this army were these flamethrowers. They all, you know, it's undead, so flame and whatnot. So that guy's still alive. So apparently these things heal once a turn, which is super irritating. Hit these guys with flame thrower. healing even after he was dead. Interesting. Maybe that guy got a level up. That was that was tough. Oh, I got some rewards. Nice. Can't heal anybody because these are not my army, so close. Wow, we had 35 warfare. That's good. Victory is yours. The Blight takes a step back. It seemed to me that someone else was fighting. But it was me. The heroes of the past are alive in the people's memory. Which means they are also alive in the astral world. Their power will help you more than once. We cured one of the boils here. But the others must be removed as well. To give this world a chance. I was looking for because I was looking to get um, oh it's pretty cool though plus 15 armor minus one speed Ugh, I hate minus one speed but 15 armor seems like a really good maximum upgrade value of a unit's armor to 85 there's four oh, if I get up if I get the set maybe I get that many but then I'll be so slow we'll see See if that really hinders me. Minus one speed. So I could offset that by trying to get faster units. I'm not really doing a lot of charging with this army, so I mean, I'm almost okay with that. I might need to look for some more archers, though. I have the heavy crossbowmen. Not enough of them. But, uh... Yeah, that wasn't really a battle that could help me in terms of experience, which what I'm needing to get a level so I can get more troops. I feel like that's a problem I'm having right now, is not enough troops. Alright, so let's go... Oh, did I, oh yeah, I already read that. So we're going to go talk to these guys over here. I feel like it zoomed itself in. What the hell? I'm lost. Oh, uh, there's another fight right over here. Complete the trial. Oh, I'm going to go back over here. Is there another void? So anyhow, I could go follow that one and go back over kind of where we were. I'm going to talk to these guys and see what's going on. But yeah, if you guys are getting the idea by now, I mean, really, quest, rinse, repeat, and 
you know, just enjoying the scenery, the ambience, the, you know, just the overall story that, that we're kind of in the middle of. That's what's intriguing me a lot is, is just kind of the story and, and wanting to progress and see what's going to happen next. Um, but again, it is a lot. I mean, it's a lot. I, we just started the game and we have, you know, I mean, this is a lot of quests for playing the game. Basically, it's like the first level of the game and we've already completed you know, this many quests, we're in the middle of this many quests, and, and so many more to come, so, uh, there is a lot to take on. Let's talk to this chick. Please, kind stranger, wait! We are travelers in trouble. What's the trouble? Pray tell. We were attacked there, at the old outpost. Those dastardly brigands took all we had. Teach them a lesson, will ya? I'll stake my head, there's only a few, a dozen at most. They'll likely scatter as soon as they lay eyes on you. A dozen at most? They're not a man short of an army. This outpost is a tough nut to crack, my friends. I doubt you can take them single-handedly. You'll need my help. You're blowing everything out of proportion, witch. Don't you listen to her. Sort out those robbers at the old outpost and you'll see how generous I am. With gold, in case I wasn't being plain. And aside from the reward, I'll sing your praises to whoever will listen. Everyone will know who came to my aid. He's hastening you along because he's in a rush to get his possessions back. He's in a big hurry. I know a ritual to summon mighty eagles. Help me complete the rite, and I'll help you take the outpost without spilling too much blood. Attack now! It's as simple as that. We must summon my eagles. What about summoning some pigeons? They're about to escape with all our goods. What do I tell Bludgeon? I'm already falling behind. So you were... Why did you hire me? Why do we need these birds? Robbers and murderers have taken the outpost, and plenty of archers among them as well. If I summon the birds, they'll assist us in the fight. Although, I haven't tried summoning anything yet. But my mentor is Belinda, the most skilled witch in all ruin. I know all the incantations up and down. Now, how exactly did it go again? At the hour of noon... Seek a rattleberry bush and pick its fruit. Take the feather of a wonder bird, lord of all bird kind, and lay it upon the altar, then chant the words of power. <clears throat> I hope you get it right. Now help me summon the eagles. We'll punish the brigands together, and I'll reward you afterwards. Yeah, you will. How do I get a wonder bird feather? Let's see. Oh, really? Okay, that's not too bad. She'll reward me all night long. Giggity. Uh, well, let's see. It doesn't look like I can probably win this fight without the eagles. I could take a look at it, but I mean, there is some crazy guys in there. But I'll see. Hang on. Let me save first. So yeah, very strong enemy. They're outnumbering me. These guys are kind of cool. Look, these look like Robin Hood guys. Free archers. Marauder. Brigands. This guy's strong. I mean... Seems pretty tough with the range they have and the amount of troops they have over me. I just don't see me being able to win that fight. Uh, so I think the best course of action is to... Go get the Wonderbird Feather.
Uh, so maybe there's a way around to get this rattleberry up through here. I'll have to try. It doesn't look like I can go that way. It looks like there's a path here, but I'm not seeing it. If you had to go all the way here, that's crazy, unless there's rattleberries elsewhere. Okay, there are rattleberries elsewhere. Um, I could go... What I'll do is I'll warp here, go get this, and then go back and get that rattleberry. Make it easy on myself. One thing I do like about this game is it does feel like a PC game. It's, this does one of the best jobs of feeling like a PC game on console, albeit maybe a PC game you would have played 20 years ago. <laughs> PC uh, typically, you know, has has higher, you know, like capabilities or whatever. Then why can't did I just totally go the wrong way? Generally, you know, then console, it has higher performance, higher graphics, that kind of thing. So you wouldn't necessarily think like a PC game of today. But if you played a lot of your PC games growing up in the 90s and early 2000s, you know, it kind of feels, it has that feel. This is doing one of the best jobs of that that I have ever. Both eagles and oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. This is doing one of the best jobs of kind of simulating that PC experience. Listen, merchant, do you have a Wonderbird feather? Is it for sale? Oh, a Wonderbird. I know what that is. I've been meaning to acquire one for the palace for ages. They can be found in Lesser Maluk. They're quite clever and therefore difficult to obtain. I haven't got the bird entire, but I recall having seen a goblin-made trinket with some of those feathers in it. I'll go fetch it right now. It's yours for free. Thank you. It's appreciated. What the heck? Did I get the item? Didn't really tell me if I did or not. Oh, hey, look at that. Alright, now to get the other thing I need, the rattleberry. And hope this chick doesn't uh, screw us over. Oh yeah, I should vend my junk. Do I have boots? I thought I had boots. Now I gotta check. Oh yeah, that's right, I got those ex epic boots. I'm hanging on to that hat because it's pretty good. I don't know if it's better than what I have now for what I have because I get Warfare plus one and I'm not really using that other, you know, magic stuff.
All right, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to do this fight here to get the, to get to where I need to go, which is basically like right over here. So let's take a look if I can even win this fight. A strong enemy, mm, man. I feel like I'm underprepared for this. What other quests do I have to do? Kind of running out. I need to go this direction to get the rest to open up the rest of those. These are kind of tough enemies as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's almost as if I need to go here. I feel like this is my best army that I have. I could get some ranged. The range just isn't really that strong though, so I, I'm gonna have to use good tactics, maybe some spells. Hopefully I have some spells. Um, if this is a fight I can't win, I'll need to go back and uh, get the proper items. But let's see if we can't use some tactics and maybe win this fight. Alright, well, the guys I have with me have a vulnerability to magic. So that might not be the best thing for me right now. So to do that, I could bring my healers. Be able to heal some of my guys, which could be useful. They also shoot, which is good. Probably a little better than the archers. Um, it's probably my best bet right now. Let's bring those and see what it says. Could have actually had one more healer. See what it says now. Strong enemy still. All right. Well, we'll give it a try with a healer, and we'll rally around the healer and the crossbowmen, and see if we can't pull these guys. Stone elementals. They're so. They have a weakness to magical attacks, right? And I think the healer shoots magic. So we'll see. This guy actually shoots though. That's crazy. Man. Dang, so these guys are super strong. Almost like I need to charge these guys and... Uh, worry about these other guys. They actually have some healers as well, so that's going to have to take out the healers. And... Hmm. That's a tough fight.
Dang it. They're hitting me already from range, man. That's rough. Right, so I got my heavy crossbowmen. Are these guys vulnerable to fire? No. Okay. I could hit him with that. Problem is, those he well, the healer's already shot, so. I'll go for them. I gotta take those guys who are super strong. Immobility. But he can still shoot, probably. I need to use some magic up in here. So there's a little bit of lag, don't worry about it. Sometimes after certain effects, you get a little bit of lag. Pretty good. Good weakness. Oh, what's this one? Burning ray. So I could use regenerate on the people they attacked already. Swordsmen. Because swordsmen are probably going to get in some fights. And they have a lot of life. So probably going to do that, or I could hit some people with, I could hit these guys with that weakness thing, seem pretty cool. Those guys might start casting heals though, so it may be useless to use that. I'm going to do this one, seems like a good spell, three turns. On my swordsman. It's a prox at the beginning of your turn, so by the time they go back around, I might lose one, which could be annoying and a waste of a spell. Yeah, see, so that was probably a waste of a spell. They will get some health back. Who's attacking? I don't want to charge in there and get some people. Let's see. I like that spell because it gives them defense. I could get in there and get those guys dead. I believe they are burning. Be risky charging them in there because they're going to be you know, fighting on their own. But I feel like those guys were super strong. Ah, oh, that's not gonna be enough. Dang it. Can't quite reach them over there. So if I walk over there, I can't precision strike. Without precision strike though, they uh, live. All right. Don't want these guys to live, you know what I mean? Yeah, additional turn, that's what's up. So they got their healing, but so once a unit dies, you can't get the... Uh... Oh, see, that's what's cool. These guys have two abilities. Maybe the more you level up... What's up, Tagrity Farms? The more you level up, maybe the more abilities that they unlock? That's actually pretty good. Because now I think I can reach these guys. Yes, I can. And I can use my other ability. That's crazy. That's pretty good. So now I could heal my swordsman again. I did lose one. Or I could do some damage. So that's always the question. Because they will self-heal unless, you know, more of them die. They're pretty much already dying. So I think what I need to do is I could try to finish this guy off <sighs> if I move here. 
I'm gonna finish the guy off, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want this guy to be able to attack. I think they're, if they get healed, they have so much life. And, uh, you know. Oh man, those bastards. It's all me precious good. My precious, my precious good. Aw, oh, dang it, I can't see them. That's dumb. And now I can't wait anymore either. I thought if I moved here I could see them. Oh well, stupid crossbow man. Dude, I'm telling you, this this game it plays a lot. Like friggin' uh, tabletop. That really hurts him, but it does kill one. Zero to one. I guess I'll keep moving him closer, because these guys are jerks. Um, it feels exactly like freaking Fantasy Warhammer, dude, in so many ways. It's pretty crazy. I didn't even kill one. Super irritating. I lost a militiaman because of it. There you go, 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 go. All because I couldn't get my crossbowmen in range. Seven, what a waste of a spell. That, that scroll would have probably done better on a guy with lots of life and defense. So I'm hoping I can get my guy in here. If not, I'm going to be a little screwed. Here we go. See, it's all about these tactics. Now, I've lost quite a few people, but... Oh, you dicks. Man, they're just going after those guys. I'll, like, never be able to see those guys. <laughs> see, and these guys are super slow, and, and I put on some boosts that made my movement even slower. So these guys might, you know, be less good for me. Until I think one already died. So these guys have dodge and other uh, neat things. It's not going to be able to get in there. I have to go around the back door on this. Those guys really button themselves down in there. I guess I'll heal them. Because I can. I mean, they're the ones in direct healing. Or direct damage light. One thing I will say about the AI is it doesn't necessarily consider the um, so as a as a melee unit you have basically Overwatch where if someone moves in or out of your range you can attack or more or less out of your range you can attack them a free attack and uh, the CPU doesn't really seem to consider that all that much at least not in these early levels like the the units will basically walk out and get an attack and die versus trying to attack you. So it's kind of interesting how they do that. I'm not sure if that's a designed thing or kind of maybe something they overlooked in terms of the AI. I did lose a lot of troops there, but I better heal them up. So I actually lost gold in that fight, and that's one of the things I was talking about is that you lose gold in fights a lot of time, so you need that gold instead of wasting it on uh, scrolls and other random stuff because you might find yourself in a spot where you are unable to continue because you don't have enough resources.
in the way you know the way a lot of old you know RPGs and stuff go is that you could always go grind it out, go get some more stuff. I'm not really seeing that in this game. Most of these fights are pretty hard, and they're going to require a lot of resources to to beat them. But now we can go do this quest, so I'm lost again. Which way do I want to go this way? <laughs> Let's hope that this doesn't summon birds to kill me. revenge on the robbers okay so there will be what might be a big fight or oh what are these guys are these the birds yeah, I might be able to find Flavius now I guess I'll go check it out Another obstacle. I should look deeper. Oh dang it, I bought that chainmail. I had a feeling I would find it somewhere. So maybe this means he's not here because he's also in some other locations. I don't want to spend too much time digging around looking for him if he's not going to be here. I'll have to come back to that. Let's go fight those uh, that other fight and then I'll probably wrap this up see what Easy's doing. Not sure how much time I'll have, but uh, maybe we can do something. I'll at least get that character built. Oh man, I'm lost in here. Alright. Is this how I leave? No. Oh, I guess this way I came in. So yeah, that's interesting. So that might be a dead end. I've also got this fight I can go do. But I want to do this one, and then we'll probably call it good, guys. And I'll regroup and, and reassess what I got going on. Hopefully I can win this fight, even with the help of the Eagles. It would look like a tough fight. I'll also see what's down here. Oh, that's just back around that way. Okay. They have. 
have indeed come. The in Some birds. What now? Now it's time to punish those vile bandits. Attack! My birds will assist you! Not sure why those birds did not attack the archers. That's pretty irritating. But at least they're shooting my heavy crossbowmen. And they just killed one. Wow, so those birds flew themselves directly into harm's way without doing anything useful for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a waste. I think I'm I think I'm screwed. They could have landed here and fought and killed those archers and kept them from shooting me. Instead, now I'm faced with dealing with all of that. So yeah, this might not be a fight I can win just yet. We'll find out. I'll try my best.
Damn it, that cost me so much because I can't get in here with my freaking spearmen now. Oh, so annoying. Wait. Jeez, I guess hanging on by a friggin' shred, that's so irritating. And he's still alive? Oh my gosh. I have to waste another spell on this guy. I didn't want to make that move, but I also did not want to get blocked with my spearmen again.
Oh man, it looks like they took the pesky archery took out one of my guys on the way out. That's annoying, but uh, again, I think whew, heal all man. I got twenty five hundred, an awesome looking sword, but most of that gold is going to go to recover my army. Uh, if you're going to do that quest, you could probably just go attack those birds. Were totally useless, a waste of time to go summon them. It was kind of cool to do it, but at the same time, uh, we might have got more rewards from helping the the warlock or bard or whatever the hell he was plus he would have sung our praises probably given us leadership and those birds were no help for me whatsoever so uh, i mean maybe they were maybe they took some damage but what they did they flew right in there fought the strongest enemy and did nothing for me and uh kind of got in the way and kind of mucked everything up so um probably don't do that if you're <laughs> looking to uh you know probably didn't need to heal those spirits oh man why can't i I lost one permanently? That's weird. I know, dude. What a waste of my time. I guess we better find that grumpy farmer's brother. Collect a reward from Kabir. We got some kind of cool outpost, so he's in here. And Calvin's brother. So we'll, we'll clean these up, and then, you know, like I said, we'll take a look. We've got, we're still looking for Flavius. It could be anywhere in here. Hugo's parents. We got this quest to go do as well, so we'll, we'll clean those up uh, next time. Um, I've got this trial to do, so you know I could I could clean those up pretty good next time. I'm gonna probably need to go uh, re up on my forces. I don't know if I got a level. I did get a level, so I'll need to look into that. Um, I can get more troops, different troops now because I've got better stuff. But we did get a green drop, uncommon warfare plus two. 20 leadership over my warfare plus three which is pretty good um, but also if you can get that set so we're getting set armors now 400 of leadership if you have six of those <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and equip that green drop because it's nice uh you know so we got a lot of that stuff going on i gotta go vend i need to you know there's a lot i gotta do but let's go let's go clean up this quest right here hopefully not get attacked because i am Running low on uh, troops. I'll take my reward. After I loot that chest, of course. Is its business really deadly, I wonder? <laughs> but I shan't try it myself. Ghost lilies from the marshes, sadly all withered, have useful healing properties. The robbers got their punishment. There was talk of a payment. Your courage is remarkable. My mentor Belinda and I are deeply grateful to you. Please accept this gift. It is magical, if humble. May the elements watch over your path. Of course it's 550 and I have 500. That's a joke. <laughs> That's a fucking joke. Okay, so, I don't know, this chick might if give us stuff now. My help, you can find me at the house of Belinda, my mentor. Okay. Alright, so we'll go talk to this guy, Kelvin's brother. Uh, it's such, it's so annoying, it's like I have 500 crowns that I think they gave me and I can't, like, do anything with it, so, we'll see. 
Lots of hidden treasure right here. Nice. So yeah, I should have definitely done the other quest instead of summoning those birds, but who knows, maybe that'll come to help me in the long run. We shall see. Forgive an old fool. I'll be grateful to you nice, on man. final days. Can you get home on your own? I'll be all right on my own. Thanks for asking. Oh, one more thing. The bandits have a mole in the town watch. His name starts with P. Prim? Ooh, a mole. No, no, not Prim. Custom, that's it. That's the devil shielding the bandits. Because of him, Ooh, of the watchmen don't even know those scum took the old outpost. Interesting. Find the guardian post. So I do need to go back there. It looks like there's a treasure up there. I do need to go back to the town, so I will be doing that. I may or may not do that offline. You know, some of the stuff, I don't want to bore you to death with all of the boring quests. Aha, I knew it would be worthwhile to come down here. Plus, look at this view. We get a nice waterfall. Peaceful stream. Wouldn't mind taking a trip to somewhere like this right now. Unfortunately, a lot of these places are hard to get to or don't exist anymore. One moment. My legs have gotten numb. I'll head home after I've had a few minutes to collect myself. Well, you know what, since there's the fine Flavius over here, we'll go we'll go take a look and see. That looks like him right there, doesn't it? Does that look like him? No, totally. So he's probably got a quest. I was hoping there may be a way shrine over here somewhere. Uh, we'll go we'll just go take a look real quick. Who's this guy? That wailing strictly necessary. There, in the field. I've never seen anything like it. There, do you see? Take hold of yourself, man. A necromancer, or a monster, a dead body. Horrible. Not just dead. There was something swirling in the air above it, like smoke. But it did not move like smoke. Something that chilled me to the marrow. Believe me. I've been places, seen awful things. I survived a storm at sea, fought off cutthroats. I saw a troll up close once. I've seen those things myself. But I've never seen an abomination like this. I was so disgusted I was about to commend my soul to the Creator. I can see that you are unimpressed. Go, have a look at the corpse. Do something about it.
Alright, well, it looks like we got a couple fights to go. I'm assuming examining that body will summon a necromancer to fight. Could be wrong about that. But I may have to go right about now. Let me go see. The treasure. I really wanted to go find Flavius for you guys. I did. Truly. So I'll try. See if I can get over there without getting in a fight. Maybe he's not even here to begin with. So there's another fight over here. Yeah, so to even find him, I would probably need to do this fight. It looks like some undead corpses. Seems like this Flavius the Wifecracker is a real jerk. Nothing here. Yeah, so no Flavius. So I cleared that of him. So he's either here. Here, maybe? Oh, a skull. Maybe he's dead, so maybe I have to find that skull or revisit him. He could be anywhere for that matter. So we got fights all over the place. Looking for treasure. Let's see if I can find some Not treasure. So we got, you know, we got some stuff to go back to here. Like I said, I need to go back to the town, re up, get my troops going, see if I can't get some better gear maybe or something to help me fight these bad guys. I may need to backtrack a little bit because these are looking like some tougher fights the more I go into here. Uh, so let's see here. Now let's go see. If this is a fight, I'll just run away. Let's go examine this. That'll be it, guys. And then next time, like I said, I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll line it out for you what I want to do next time I stream King's Bounty 2. And uh, like I said, if you guys are enjoying this, let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more King's Bounty 2. Or, you know, if not, that's fine. We've covered quite a bit of the game, hopefully enough for you to decide whether or not that you you know may or may not want to play the game, buy the game, whatever it is that you might want to do with the game. Of course. Okay, I hope I can run far, far away. <laughs> I should have saved, right? Always save. Strong enemy, but I can retreat. Not that I don't want to fight them, I just don't want to fight them right this second. Because I do not have the time so as we assumed, it would be examine the horrible corpse, but is it fought by things? I could find you those parents. I got this one to do. But let's just okay. I, you know, I really want to tie these these loose ends up here. I really do. So I'm gonna try. Oh boy, I'm stuck there. Uh, I just don't think I'm going to have the time, people. Is there a, is a mana shrine? There's a way shrine. Ah. Well, at least I can pour it right back here. So we'll see. Let's talk to this guard. Let's see what happens. I think this is the one. Yeah, okay. So then I'll be able to go to this, and I'll have to go back and, and do that other thing. So I found Rick Bill. Murder! Collect yourself, ma'am. Tell me what's going on. I'm the headman's wife. He and some men are across the river at the mill. The undead have surrounded them, a whole horde of the creatures. I beg you, help them, or they'll be massacred. I saw some guards by the gate. Call for them, and we'll fight the undead together. Never mind those yellow bellies, they won't come. They claim the village is under siege, and they can't open the gates until the undead are gone. It looks like it just keeps opening up in battle. So you know what? Next time we'll try to clean some of this stuff up over here. I need to go vend to get my uh, armies built back up and get ready to rock and roll on this next adventure. So do look forward to that sometime here in the near future. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We appreciate you stopping by. Easy, you know, of course. Uh, we'll get together here later, hopefully. Leo plays. We appreciate you. And everybody else dipping in and dipping out. But as they say, that's all she wrote. Is that a good one? <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks for hanging out, guys. You've been here with Brothers Forge Gaming. And we'll see you next time.
might is here as well. It devours Nostria. But we will buy some time. After all, we will have allies. Whom do you summon now? Neither light nor darkness dwell in the Blight. Therefore, even the Kings of the Dead come to fight against the Devouring Void. Moraine is a witch of the Serpentines, who became an immortal lich. Go and fight!
Hey, who are you? Where's the village guard? Never mind who I am. Where's the headman? I'm Kamas, the smith. George and I were trapped in the mill for the longest time. When we realized the guards weren't coming, we tried to break out. I managed to escape, but it looks like George didn't. Damn it, they'll kill him. Enough talk. Lead us to him.
Thanks. How are you? Are you all right? My fight isn't over yet. Wait, I know Kamos, but who are you? I'm acting at the behest of the Nostrian crown. You were lucky I was passing by. The prince sent you for Marcella then. Where are the guards? They promised to keep us safe. They locked themselves behind the village gates. They have no intention of saving you. Do you hear, Kamos? The miller was right. We've been fed nothing but lies. There's no guards. Just bandits in marching outfits. But he's got the paper with the magic crest and seal. He was sent by the Archmage, wasn't he? Use your head, Kamos. Did he actually let anyone read it? I haven't seen it. He just waved it in front of my nose. They're bandits, all right. And their papers are fake. They'll just bleed us for a little while, then disappear back to their hidey hole. There's no way I'm allowing that. Time to get our spears. Where's he running to? The gates are closed. Oh, Komos doesn't need the gates to get inside. <laughs> he knows every secret in the village. We'll open the gate and throw that riffraff out. And those we keep will be punished. As is our custom. Imbeciles. A dozen armed guards are enough to butcher your entire village. Well, I reckon we could count on your help. Don't tell me you're gonna leave the village high and dry now. Stay here and keep out of harm's way. I'll have to deal with it myself. Alright, welcome back everyone. Welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. What's up all my Nighthawks out there? Now, due to some technical difficulties earlier, uh, we had to end up wrapping this into a few different streams, but I'm going to be putting that all together for you guys, and it ended up having to be offline. There were some, some issues going on with the streaming service, uh, but we did fight through down here, finish up this quest here, now we're going to proceed to the village we're going to clean up this quest here and uh, this quest here, see what happens. So that should be the end of the run. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this. Like I said, uh, if you do want to see more, let me know in the comments. I was told to stay here, so here I'll stand. No point in being cocky. Thanks for saving George. Now we should stop Kamas before he makes a mess. This smith is a smart fellow.
Brigville's ways are certainly curious. A brother and sister quarreling for seven years. As if it were. I hate situations like this. Sprigville's ways are certainly curious. A brother and sister quarreling for seven years, as is every family.
What are the dwarves doing here? Well, we buy grain here and take it to Rigern. But I don't understand why the Royal Guards had a brush with the locals right now. It's a long story, and I figured it out. Are you from Ongeborg? Oh, of course. If you want strong fists and iron beards, talk to Tarif. We dwarves are good fighters, yes. What are the dwarves doing? Well, we but it's a long story. Go away. Well, you still have legs to go with. I remember the kind of help you provided back in the Albion Highlands. We barely escaped with our lives. Okay, so that would show you kind of like... an example of what I did previously in the game affecting what I had done. So probably if I would have helped the dwarves there, they might help me now. Maybe they'd even help me in this fight. I'm uh, actually a little bummed I didn't help them and that, you know, that's what I said I should have done. I didn't do it. I knew that was going to come back to haunt me.
I couldn't stay at the mill any longer. I came running when I heard the racket. But it's over already. I had my doubts about you at first. I thought you must either be in cahoots with this lot, or you wouldn't soil your hands with it, and would simply let them go. But you didn't. Serves them right. The slimy slitherers. I taught them a good lesson. My way. Where did they come from? No way of knowing with this lot. They arrived shortly after the disaster at the mage factory told us that the Archmage sent him, straight from the tower, to guard us from the undead and the like. Turns out they're nothing but deserters. Your people must have put their survivors somewhere. I'd like to talk to them. They were thrown in that yard there, across the street. Let them stay there until the Marcellans come fetch them. If you wish, go ahead and interrogate them while you can. Perhaps you'll find out something interesting. You have this coming. I'm taking you to Prim and Marcella. Let him chop off your head with his own hands. You deserve it. Not to Prim, I beg you. Not to Marcella. I I'm not a criminal. I'm a victim of circumstance. You have no reason to put me to death. Not a criminal? We're from the Mage Factory. We were sent here to Rickfield to get supplies. And then something happened back there. Something terrifying. So we stayed. When the quarantine was announced, we decided we'd protect the village and the people here. Until things cleared up. That's no crime, is it? it? It might even call for a reward. For our quick thinking. So you didn't witness the disaster at the mage factory? Right. I was nowhere. I saw nothing. If I made one mistake, it's only that I tarried too long in Rickville with my unit.
What a slacker, a loggy's fool. I'll show you, bastard. Ugh! Well, well. Oh, it's you. Sorry, that was so rude. I was cursing Fontaine. That's my apprentice. I sent him to the fair to get a toolbox, and he just took off. Where to, you reckon? He must be at the tavern by the tower. I caught him in the baths last time. <laughs> Bet he's in there again. If you happen to see him, tell him that Kamos is really eager to have him back. Boy's worse than a troll. I'm tired of living here. Creator, save us. This is Hugo's medallion. What happened to him? Hugo is locked in a cage outside a tavern near Marcella. He was caught stealing. Who's guarding him? That big brute Garlon from the tavern? Indeed. What about it? He used to take bribes back when he was a guard. Everyone knows it. No reason it shouldn't work now. I implore you, take it. It's all I have. Please, give this purse to Hugo before it's too late. Take it to Hugo. I'm tired of this. But maybe things have settled down by now. I very much doubt it. Listen to what people are saying. Monsters are crawling. Do you know this medallion? Of course I do belongs to my son Hugo. I bring bad tidings. Hugo's been put in a cage in a tavern near Marcella. He was caught stealing. That insolent brat. That mama's boy. What a disgrace. I spent so much time on him. So much effort. And he just... Well, it's nothing to do with me. Tell them he's not my son. And I won't do nothing to help him. The son of Rickville's headman cannot be a thief. Go to the people who caught him and tell them this. The law says misdeeds must be punished, so punished he will be. Oh, I'll tell you more. Ascald used to talk a lot about this crypty stuff of the pond. Told me it's Do you think I'm your enemy? Your pet wolf stole my totem. It is for the good of nature. You've been alone in the woods. It's driven you mad. Sorry, the animals are not for sale right now. Uh, that's too bad. I'd like to buy a few hounds. I can't do anything about it. The animals no longer obey me. I lost my druidic totem. The tool I used to tame them. Or to be more precise, it was stolen. Hmm. Who stole your totem? A wolf came out of the woods and snatched it. My sister sent it. Are you and your sister rivals? No. Arrow Gastor and I are not rivals. We had a falling out seven years ago, when she became a hermit. She lives near the Thousand Year Oak, and follows the way of the elven druids. She's against me handling animals. All she does is watch over them and heal them when needed. But I can't live her way. I don't want to either. I've gone to the Oak and tried to reason with her so many times. But I cannot get her to listen. My heart is sinking. After all, she is family. Is it pretty? It is. 
towers tall as the sky and true. Are you Garrick? Your sister Mercia sent me. Right, Mercia. She never rests, does she? Is she out helping the poor again? Does she need more of my grain to feed another regiment of freeloaders? Name your price. Yes, yeah, all right. I was just making conversation. No need to bring prices into it. I'm happy to help, Mercier. I'll send grain and some ham for good measure. However... However... However, the village has to endorse the decision first. We're a community here. What are people gonna say if I just start giving away our grain? So now I have to lecture everyone in the village on the importance of helping the refugees? No, it's not that complicated. Get the village elder, the healer, and the blacksmith to agree. No one will defy their authority. Tell me, sir. Is the village willing to send provisions to the refugees? I heard about them. What I heard is they're over in Mercia's place, carousing and singing songs. Of course, it would be charitable to help the poor souls. Great. Do I have your consent, then? But it wouldn't be right for me to make such an important decision alone. We're a community, after all. What does our dear blacksmith Komos think? Hmm. On Garrick's behalf, I'm asking the community to send grain to the Mage Factory refugees. Do you have any objections? Yes, I heard something about these unfortunates. I don't oppose helping them, but what are the others in Rickville going to say? Yeah... Let's talk again once you've persuaded Aglaia. She's the village healer. I'm tired of living here. How much longer must we slave away for that, George? At least he pays. Rigville's ways are certainly curious. A brother and sister quarreling for seven years, as is every man. Ah, a new face in our village. Are you the local healer? Garrick sent me. Interesting. What's this all about, then? Garrick would like to lend a hand to the starving refugees. He wants to send grain, but I need your approval. I'm sure his sister Mercia is behind this. She's such a kind-hearted girl. This is her idea, right? Since you enjoy doing good deeds, can you do something for us this time? How many more errands do I have to run for these refugees? It's fairly easy. I just need four bunches of flowers from the Pelian Marshes. There, beyond the hills. They're called ghost lilies. All these undead roaming about spread diseases, just like rats. The porcus plague, the coronary infection, the chicken cough. <coughs> Awful. But in the right preparation, ghost lilies will protect you from all that. Do this for me, and those delightful refugees can have as much as they need. Why don't you go pick them yourself? I told you. There are too many undead staggering around. I'm a healer, not a warrior.
the weather has been fair of late. Really? What is it this time? What do you know about the Mage Factory guards? I met one of them by the name of Titus. Not. I only remember that Lucius was Centurion at the Mage Factory. About his subordinates, the commanders and quartermaster, I know nothing. If it's truly important, ask the refugees who set up camp on the outskirts of town. They caught a traitor. They should have gone after hey, the bandits the instead. New joke about the sword and quiet. George told me the son of Rickville's headman cannot be a thief. Said it's not him. I understand. If the village gets wind of this, he'll stink forever. Don't worry about the kid. He'll spend a week or two in the cage, 
and get a couple of dozen stripes across his back, that's all. You have my word. Serve him right, too. That lout was spoiled rotten. I'll pass it along to his mother. She thought you were going to hang him. Oh, speaking of Cora, Mama's boy tried to bribe me with this strange letter. Not like I got any use for it, I can't read. Guess those guard lessons didn't do me much good. You might as well take it. Looks important. Maybe you can use it. I'm tired of living here. Take your purse. I don't need someone else's gold. Oh, it always ends up George's way. Why? What if they beat him to death? You have nothing to fear. The laws are very lenient these days. He'll get his fair portion of lashes and be right back. longer must we fade away for that torch?
You can speak to me? Really? Is it time to become one with the Creator? I've spoken to spirits before, but a talking skull? How odd. Tis true. I know more about the afterlife than anyone. And my experiences of the past few centuries have been uncanny indeed. How do I possess all this knowledge? What man am I? Or woman? It has all been erased from my memory. Faded with the long march of time. Why am I yet bound to this world? No body, no memory. But you haven't lost your ability to speak. What else do you still possess? I know not. Could it be that I need time to recollect who I am? Someone scattered my bones over the marshes. And I can feel something connected to me in the very middle of it. My immortality is a heavy burden. Ah. <sighs> if only I could find a way to become one with creation. The fair knight Baldwin led the Marcellan army into battle. This is the spot where Baldwin's protector perished. A squire whose name has been lost to the centuries fought to protect his master until his wounds forced him to the ground. The last thing he saw before his eyes went black were the last of Morkholt's units fleeing back to Rigern. You're telling me that Morkholt of Rigern laid siege to Marcella? That was 500 years ago, during the reign of King Maximus. Yes. In truth, it was a long time ago.
My bones were brought here to be secreted away. A woman, a powerful sorceress, wept over them. She lamented for all those fallen. While serving a knight by the name of Baldwin, all those cloven by dwarven axes or pierced by the spears of the undead, the mourner's magic protected those warriors slain by the necromancers. But centuries have passed, and all that is left of her tears are the ghost lilies. Lilies grown from tears. If only I were a bard. Yes, they are but an echo of those time-worn spells. The one who lies here, beneath my bones, witnessed a mighty assault. An army charging through the blossoming hills towards the walls of the town. He walked among the undead, risen by black necromancy and fear. If an arrow fired from the walls of Marcella did not kill him, that fear would. Marcella has not been attacked since the days of King Maximus. What battle are you talking about? <sighs> I wouldn't know. So that's what. It was I, Nesevra the Sorcerer, who learned King Maximus was absent on a mission to conquer the Elves and led the undead to the walls of Masala. What would the Dukes of Rigern, Hugo, and Murkult do without me? Those good-for-nothings. They are but dust under the boots of the mighty Masters of Death. Thus thought I, but twin lightning bolts from two of Nevedes' sorceresses reduce me to ash. <laughs> Separately, I would have thrashed either of them. 
Are you going to tell me that in order to return to the world of the living, you must kill me? I long for vengeance on all those who lived while I lay dead. You will be but the first victim of the mighty Nasevra.
Oh, I can smell the ghost lilies. Did you bring enough? Lucky you. I can't smell anything but swamp now. That's all right. It'll wear off. And for problems that don't wear off so easily, I have something left from my days in the capital and a few other things I made myself. I hope they'll be useful for you. Aglaia, the village needs your approval to help the refugees from the mage factory. Yes, why not do a good deed? I approve. Let everybody know it. Are you heading to the Mage's Tower? I have a request for you. Yes. I'm not a delivery boy, though. I understand. You have your own tasks. But is there any way you could check something for me? I'm worried about my niece. Go on. Her name's Yvonne. I haven't seen her for ten days now. She said she was heading to the Tower to meet a friend. Of course, she's an adult now. But I'm still worried. Ten days, you say? That's a long time. I hope I can find her. Redville's ways are certainly curious. A brother and sister quarreling for seven years. As if every family in Foster lives in They go at it like beasts. Like they want to kill each other. Make sure you talk to all of them. But I'm in no hurry. Tell me, sir. Is the village willing to send provisions to the refugees? I heard about them. What I heard is, they're over in Mercia's place, carousing and singing songs. Of course, it would be charitable to help the poor souls. Great. Do I have your consent, then? But it wouldn't be right for me to make such an important decision alone. We're a community, after all. What does our dear blacksmith Komos... Hmm. I'm here about the donation. Well, yes. I'm tired of living here. We blame away for that, George. At least he pays. Hard act. Maybe things have settled down by now. I very much doubt it. Listen to what people are saying. I'm here about the grain for the bar. As if we do- Garrick, that's one. Aglaia, that's two. Kamos, that's three. They all approve of helping the refugees. What do you think? Have they now? All in favor, are they? Well, I guess I am too. Let's feed these unfortunates. 
Cost be damned. Tell Garrick to load up the cart. Oh, I'll tell you more. Ascald used to talk a lot about this crypt he stumbled upon. Told me it's full of gold. Is it pretty? It is. Towers tall as the sky. Everyone agrees, even the village elder. Load up the cart, he said. See, there are no bad people in our village. We'll get those refugees fed after all. Soon their bellies will be bloated with wholesome food instead of malnutrition. We don't need a cart. I made arrangements with a trusted contact outside Marcella. I'll send him a message and he'll get the victuals to you in due course. Meanwhile, let's talk about how the refugees are going to repay us. That was unexpected. Order is order. Let them fix our mill, and Kamas can always use some extra hammering at his smithy. That way they won't be parasites, but working people just like us. Bread! From Garrick! <gasps> Wonderful! Your brother was a big help. We finally have enough food for everyone. Garrick sends his greetings. Did the provisions arrive yet? Yes, we have plenty of food now. I cannot even fathom how to properly thank you for your help. Luckily, my little Willy came to my aid. Little Willy, eh? I sense a truly royal reward coming my way. The other day, Willy was digging for worms by the river when he chanced upon an ancient ring. After I washed away the dirt, it turned out to be quite a thing of beauty. Please accept it as a token of our gratitude. Oh, and the refugees discovered something interesting over across the fields. Would you mind taking a look? Provisions issue has been resolved. Mercia's brother, Garrick, has promised to give you both work and bread. It's time for me to go. There's no reason for me to stay here anymore. Hold up a tick, friend. We had a deal. You're supposed to tell me what happened on that fateful night at the Mage Factory. Yes, I must tell you. It's just that my missus... But what do you care about her, right? 
Let's get straight to the meat of the matter. I'll tell you everything I saw myself and heard from others. But don't get your hopes up. I don't know who made it happen, nor why. Still, I can tell you about one of the culprits. Listen. The guards often let outsiders in for a fee. There were visitors that night, too. Ulogi knows what they were doing there. But it seems there was some kind of explosion. The way to the main gate was blocked. We were attacked by, I don't know, monsters. I never saw anything like them before. It was a massacre. Fortunately, I knew where to run. I managed to save myself and the others. Is that all? Find Titus, a centurion from the Mage Factory. I'm sure that blackguard knows far more than I do. I know not who he answers to, nor who paid him. But when everyone bolted for the gates, neither Titus nor his guards were there. He left everyone behind to be torn apart. He knew what was going to happen, and fled. It's his fault. Don't you think this Titus fellow was simply afraid? You too ran without looking back. Yes, I ran. While my wife stayed there in the magic shop. She was on the night shift, you see, while I slept. I, I left her. Not a day, not an hour has passed that I do not think about her. But while we wandered, all these people needed my help. I, I couldn't leave them either. But now I'm going back to find her. And no quarantine will keep me away. Mark my words. the one who brought us bread I've been thinking how can I repay you for your help we have nothing I usually expect gold for my work but in this case I'm happy simply to have helped still I do have an idea I found a place not many know about until recently I thought it was just a rumor and then I found it it's a mysterious dungeon filled with magic treasure artifacts and such things Something tells me you haven't seen this magical hole in the ground yourself. Well, no, I haven't actually seen it. I'm smart enough to stay away from danger. There's this spook at the entrance. <sighs> Terrifying. Like a guard dog. He frightens everyone who tries to enter. But why guard an empty dungeon? There must be something valuable inside. Point the way. Maybe there's something behind these stories. I'll show you on the map. It's not far. Maybe there'll be some magic that'll help restore the mage factories. I mean, that'd be great. By the way, there are rumors that Bludgeon already sent his boys in there, led by a certain Lucky. Be careful. They caught a traitor. They should have gone after the bandits instead.
No way through here. I'll finish searching the house. You, gather your company and pursue to Nebras. Quickly now, before he escapes. I go at once, Your Grace. We'll crush that bastard. And you, guard, did you not hear my order? I did, dear Horace, but I don't serve you. To Nebras? How are you here? What crooked business is this? Answer me, now! Later, my friend, please. We are not alone. Horace, where were you? Why didn't you come sooner? The guard was busy looking for suspects. Most of all, I needed this one. Tenebros, leader of the Dark Adepts. At your service. First you send assassins, then come to introduce yourself? Quite the zany jokester, aren't you, Tenebros? The Adepts did not sanction your assassination, nor accept any contracts in your name. Yes, we followed you, but to kill you? What for? I assure you, if the Adepts desired your demise, we would never have wasted our energy on such a dubious scheme. Is that your word for it? Scheme? Your assassins slaughtered everyone at the Batil Gates! Not just my assassins. They were brought through to the caves by people in guard uniforms. New uniforms, delivered to guard headquarters only the day before. They entered posing as an escort, and they knew the password. The password entrusted to you and your knights, Horace, and no one else. Enough! If you knew all that, why didn't you intervene? Because this time, dear Horace, you are not the only one who was deceived. By the darkness, if our spies knew what was going on. You just weren't paid enough. Cordon off the area! Leave no stone unturned! Any evidence you discover must be sent to me immediately. You found a thing or two in the basement, yes? If you want to uncover the person behind the assassination attempt, it would be prudent to pass this evidence over to us. What do you think? Do you know this Farad fellow? I certainly do know this jackal. He's a stain on the honor of the guard. Just this morning, I gave him leave to attend to some family matters. He was supposed to be traveling to Castle Irock. As soon as we're done here, I'll go after the miscreant and commit him to trial. Wait. There might be more traitors among your knights. Let me bring Farad to heel. Yes. What you're saying is reasonable. I'll write a warrant for the arrest of Farad. Act in my name, please. But I must warn you, many of the Knights of Castle Irock swore allegiance to Farad, and not the Crown. Be prepared for a melee. Hello, good evening. You're here with Brothers Forge Gaming. What is up, all my Nighthawks out there? The fire's lit. The sun is down. And we're back in the Crown Lands. Sorry about that last stream, guys. It uh, Hopefully that doesn't happen this time, but it is... YouTube has been glitchy as all hell. It has been kicking us off. I don't know if it's a thing between PS5 and YouTube, if it's just PS5, if it's something to do with streaming. I have no idea. 
why it's been doing it, but basically it's been cutting out our streams nonstop. Sometimes it's two minutes, ten minutes, five minutes, whatever. Anyhow, that last episode of Crownlands I brought you, uh, I didn't do a lot of commentary on that one. I tried to kind of explain it in there, but it was just being so frustrating. So anyway, I had to end up just doing offline like streams and then sewing the whole video together. But anyway, what happened is we did some questing over here. You should go back and check it out. There were some epic fights in there. We did some questing over here. We went through here. As some unexpected stuff happened. Uh, I pulled this fight right here, the Ancient Necromancer, and that thing was crazy, so I kind of X myself out of here. I've made some questionable choices. Uh, but anyway, we've, we've led it to right here. We're going to go question Titus and see where that leads. I've got a couple of things I can do. I really couldn't find Flavius. I think he's up here, which is this horrible corpse. Um, or he's here, and I just couldn't find him. Um, but anyway, we've got a few things here. There's a trial some other things to do. Maybe we'll head on here because we're, we're uh, you know, we got some quests over here. But what we're going to do right here, right now, question this guy. Was this a choice? I don't know. Anyway, I'll probably make the power choice. Yeah, artifact, Lobo the Wolf. So we'll be doing that. I do want to go check out over here, see if I can even do that fight. But right now, let's go talk to this guy. You lot are lousy warriors. And liars, for that matter. What do you mean? I spoke with the workers from the Mage Factory. They told me about the mayhem that occurred. Also, I know the guards abandoned their posts and were among the first to fly to safety. Very well. You win. Let me unburden my conscience. Two aristocrats came to the Mage Factory that night, their faces hidden under masks. They had a guest pass from Palatinus, the mage from the lab who's in charge of poisons. Then there was an explosion that made the ground shake. We're guards, you know, not heroes. We ran so fast you'd think Ulogi was chasing us. So you were the first to run away and witnessed nothing at all? Of course I bolted. Do you have any idea what Palatinus is capable of? I do. One of my men once stepped in a colorful puddle near the laboratory. He and the man in the bunk next to him suffered a horrible death. Two more lost their minds. And for what? For the good of Nostria and his majesty? That night I heard cries from Palatinus's laboratory. An explosion and some shouts were enough for me. I ran and took my people with me. I ran as far as I could. Do you have any proof of what you've said? What do you think? Here it is, the guest letter, with his signature and his personal seal. Take it. Hang me or pardon me, your choice. I might be a coward, but our spears are of no use against poison. So welcome anyone, welcome in. You're here with Brothers Forge Gaming. I believe I have chat up on my screen, but if it's not popping up, I apologize. Do uh, re-enter your comments, and if I don't see it, maybe I'll get around to finding a way to walk, get the computer going to see chat there. But it should be popping up on my screen, so. Hmm, finding question this guy. So all right, let's finally go take a look at what the hell's going on over here. I wanna make this my quest. What the hell do I do? I gotta do... It's kinda hard, I wish you could click on it. Additional. Yes. Let's go check this out, see if it's part of that one, maybe we'll get on it. Oops, I've been playing uh, ESO. <laughs> the buttons are a little different. Oh man, my heart's got stuck. <laughs> that's kinda one thing that they... Uh, screwed up in this game is the mount getting stuck all over the place, but one very small inconvenience. And look at this exquisite es Esquire? I can't ever say it right. You know what I'm saying. Horse. Horse breed. Uh, let's roll. I have a little use... Uh, ooh, sunflowers. Now this is one hardy plant right here for you uh, people wanting to think of growing something. A lot of uses for sunflowers. I think I might have said that before. <laughs> Anyhow. 
Oh, am I going up there? I am going up here. Ooh, that looks like a fight. Alright, of course you stay right there. Well, he's all jacked up on that mountain. Look at that. That was a bad place to leave him. His legs all broken. Uh, I think I powered up and did all my stuff. Let's see if this is too hard of a fight. Slightly stronger enemy. We got this. Fight! Oh, I have these guys? I don't know if I'm meant to have these guys. I'm going to put them out front. I don't know how far these guys can travel. Pretty far. Ghouls can travel pretty far too, so... Kind of check their range. I think we'll be good. Obviously want my crossbowmen. And my archers protected. This might be one where I can just kind of sit here and blast these people. I don't want my crossbow guys here. They are stronger, so I'm going to uh, flank and uh, defend the healers. Guard this flank. So this guy would have to creep in here. And if they do, I could close rank down, defend my outsides. I think we're looking pretty good for a slightly stronger enemy as well. I don't know what those guys do. I should have checked. I think these are zombies. Oh, Void Ones are pretty strong, so a couple of Void Ones and whatever these Soul Eaters are, let's check them out. They fly, they're pretty strong. Level 5? I have not faced a level 5 enemy before. And they got all sorts of skills. Oh, they can teleport, so they're kind of like ghosts. Oh, see, he got out of my range. That's alright with me. I don't think, see, these guys don't really have armor, so crossbow guys are kind of useless against these. I might be able to hit these guys with my healers, though. They do a lot of work on uh, offense. Oh, cool, I got a new ability with these guys. What is it? Ray of Light. Very cool. Can I get them? Nice. So I'm glad I've kept these guys with me. They're very strong, and they have cool magical attacks and stuff, but they're really slow, especially because I uh, used, I have these this armor on that really slows me down, but it's super good. She's got regenerate, or healing and cleanse, which I like. Yeah, that's going to mess you guys up. Boom, look at that attack. That's solid, right? Yeah, I cut them off, so they almost cut them off. Leave no point to wait. Then, yeah, I got another one. Suck on that void ones. So he's gonna come and hit my ooh, touch of the void. I don't know what that does, but they did. Yeah, some kind of healing. Where that came from. Take that. Boom. What's nice about this setup right here too is that these guys have cross sight. So it makes it even harder to creep up on them. A lot of time, if you stick your archers all to one side, you can't see anything. This is a very favorable battlefield for me. All right, so that's on regeneration. This guy's had touch of void, but I think they're fine. I think I can, I can try to cleanse them now. So wait, can't see them, but they're pretty much dead. I could heal these guys. They won't even let me heal them. Maybe that's what Touch of the Void is. Or I can't heal and attack in the same turn, but oh well. That'll be alright. Next turn. These guys are pretty strong. But the Ambush Critical hit me with one troop. That's pretty rough. Oh no, they're hitting me again. I gonna lose one, yep. These are. Did I lose two? Yeah, those ones are hard to. Expensive to heal as well. Suit up, boys. Whoops. You're not gonna wait too long. Ah, oh, I should have waited and healed them. I lost one. That was stupid. And now they're dead. I can use them as a counterattack. It's alright. Those are bad mistakes. Gonna cost me some gold.
very favorable matchup for me there. Hmm. Bummer. So yes, yeah, so almost all my gold. Oh well, we got experience. And some items. And we're gonna examine this horrible corpse. I think something else up here. And we're gonna look around for gold, of course. Yeah, I hope you guys have been doing good. I've been away for a little bit, a couple days. Took some time off. Took a little trip. But I'm back, back at it. Glad to be gaming. I haven't really gamed. I brought my mini, my uh, NES mini. I got to play a hot second. So I played some Punch Out and uh, some Ninja Gaiden. And what else did I do? That might have been it. I just I just played for a little bit. I was going to try to do some streaming um, from the road, but it just didn't work out. But I did come up with an idea for a video I want to shoot, kind of show you my setup that I take out of town. I know a lot of people have Switch nowadays, and they're super cool that way, but, you know, we kind of have a little old school setup going on. What's in this basket? I mean, it's newer, but it's old school, newer. Retro new? I don't know. They're going to have to come up with a new term for, for all this uh, retro stuff that's being remade. And I've heard the term retro chic, but I don't really know if that quite justifies Give Tweet the letter from Flavius. Okay, so he's back in town. There's got to be some good treasure up in this undead wasteland. So let's look around. You know me and I love my treasure. But yeah, gaming is just such a huge part of what I do and who I am, I guess, in a way. I really enjoy gaming. Useless hobby, they say, right? But now look at me now. <laughs> now I do this for all of, like, three people. And you know what? We appreciate you guys out there. Hope you're doing well. No, it'd be silly. I do things that make me happy, and I enjoy sharing them with anyone who's interested in coming along for the ride. And, uh, man, I've been gaming for... Whew. Let me see... Since I was five, pretty much, and I think about this a lot, if I'd only been recording, even if I'd only been recording certain aspects of that run, I mean, oh my gosh, all the games over the years that I've beaten, and just some of the crazy stuff that I've done, and, and I'm not saying I do crazy stuff all the time, but, you know, is, is it a gamer or anything? You do anything enough times, you're going to get lucky, you know, once or twice, and uh, kind of the way I feel about that, look at all this stuff. It's just some of the random stuff you find, you know, a lot of games are random and you might not always see the same thing when you play through a game and, you know, you get certain games especially that are designed that way, you play through them, and just all the random glitches, I mean, man, if anybody out there that's, that's younger and is thinking about doing YouTube or whatever, I know a lot of you, a lot of you younger people are into social media and all that other stuff that, that's like kind of commonplace now uh, for you, so maybe that's not too much of a stretch, but... You know, if you're even thinking about recording your gameplay or doing uh, YouTube, or I guess there's some kind of Twitch strike for, like, something, people being jerks to each other, I was like, oh, it's not surprising. Twitch is a pretty rough platform. Like, it's, I don't know, I won't get too much into it, but that's cool. They're actually kind of trying to do something about that, so I can appreciate and respect that. And you get down to this way shrine. Uh, but, you know, I like YouTube. It, it's just unfortunate that no matter where you go, you know, that's just kind of how it is. But, you know, I guess it's unavoidable. Anyhow, don't want to get too uh, soapboxy here. <laughs> but uh, I have I have noticed that, you know, we haven't done a lot on Twitch. We do a little bit on Twitch, but not a lot of it. And... Uh, it just seemed like it just wasn't really the platform for us in terms of the way it's set up. Really pay to win in a lot of ways. Like, you know, you got to get all these crap for your audience and keep them entertained. And I'm like, since when does the monkey dance? <laughs> you know, they got the monkey on the wrong side of this thing. So the monkey dances for peanuts or whatever, right? But I'm not the monkey in this situation. Or am I? It's hard to tell. Uh, I want to get some more guys if I can afford them. I think they're... Well, I guess we'll go up here first. 
It's not really faster to ride the mountain town if you're wondering. It, it takes a minute to summon. It's kind of wonky controls and then it canters or gallops. Or not gallops, but it slowly walks. La da dee, la da dee. It would be nice to kind of like be able to run a little faster in town, but you know. It's kind of realistic, I guess, in that way. You don't necessarily just be sprinting through town in full armor. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's kind of interesting. All right, here we go. I think it's funny. This guy's name is Your Tweet. rider is dead. Oh, no. What happened to him? All I found were his remains. There were some creatures about. I have no words to describe them. What an irreparable loss. What do I do now? Who will write His Excellency Montier's upcoming speech? This is terrible news, just terrible. Just leave me be, please. I need both time and silence to think. You promised a reward. Oh, did I? Indeed, I did. Here, your reward. This guy's always trying to stiff me. All right, three Jade. Ah, uh, that's, you know, that's the analogy I was gonna make, is that since when does the organ grinder dance for the monkey, right? It's the other way around. The organ grinder grinds and the monkey dances. I'm the grinder here, y'all. So y'all be dancing. I'll be grinding. Don't get it twisted. Hey, I thought I've read this before. Maybe it's different. Yeah, no. See, that's what bugs me about the books. I wish they would show that you... Oh, well, see, now it changed. So it's a lot of time they'll still be illuminated, even if you've read them. I think it's just kind of like every time you turn the game on or off. I don't know if it's a bug... Or what? Okay, let's take a look at some quests we have here. Actually, did I get level up? No, I did not, so I can't. Oh, I resurrected everybody, so we're good there. We have a decent sized army. Let's look at my gear. I've got some, some items I'm not using because they're just not a fit for me yet, but maybe someday they will be, or maybe they won't. But yeah, so I'm doing pretty good here, about halfway to another level. Take a look at some of these quests. I can't really get more guys, so I don't really think I need to go bend. I think you can pretty much hold unlimited amounts of stuff in your inventory. I, I could be wrong about that. Final deal letters. I want to do that, but it's one that I was trying to get to a point in my quest where I didn't have any open quests so I could go back and look for that. Because, uh... Oh yeah, let's do this one, because I think that is... Oh no, I need to do this one. So take the artifact. So we're going to take the artifact and do all this. And I think all that's over here. So let's take care of this first. This is called Take the Artifact from Lobo the Wolf. Oh, I got to take it from him. That could be a fight. Let's see if we can get into it. See, there's all these damn quests. I want to get some of them done so that I can, uh, you yeah, know, move on. If they're going to make you walk so slow. So if they're town, I feel like there should be an obelisk like right in the middle of town. You know what I must, might be able to go bend my junk to this guy over here. There's these flaming eagle troops I was supposed to get because I got day one edition. But uh, I could only afford a few of them. I actually need to go buy those in my army when I have some more money. I want to get them powered up. Not enough gold to purchase. I can't wait till I can buy this. This looks cool. I think there's a certain trophy for doing like something in each of these items. Let's sell all my trash. Man, just getting back. We're pretty tired, so... Guest pass. Worth a read. I guess I should feed that, though, huh? Yeah, they do. I've listened to that whole thing before if they're interested. Let's see. Examine. Oh, that's cool. We go to find, figure out what all this mage tower talk. They've been talking about this mage factory place for since the beginning of the game. Yeah, I, just, I had to get some gaming in. I was, I'm tired, but not not quite that tired. Still trying to unwind and. Better way to unwind than with some, uh, playing some King's Bounty 2. And that, and that's one of the things I've talked about before as well, is that, uh, let's see here. What's this one? Rick Bell. Reminds me of Walking Dead every time. Rick! Uh, yeah. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, playing ESO is a lot of fun, right? 
but you also have to be at a certain kind of like level to to be playing that game and this is a lot more of a chill game all around i mean the fighting is turn-based it's a lot of just kind of walking around looking for treasure talking to people at the end of the day i mean it's invaluable so please just don't look past this i could probably go find some stuff back here See, and this is the other reason that you might not want to ride your horse through here. You're gonna miss stuff. And I don't mind it. The ambience is nice. You know, you got these people talking. Then what happened? Nothing. Heavens be praised. They looked in my direction, spat, and ran. You know what will happen out on the road. One thing with the dialogue too, though, is once you've heard it, they they basically only say one thing in terms of their conversation, which. It's fun to go around and listen to them, but then again, if you end up in that area, kind of like back in that center of town, I was talking about, I listened to that whole that whole speech that guy was making, and uh, I get that? after you hear it, it just kind of auto-triggers. I'm sure it's on some kind of loop. Ooh, I need that. But uh, yeah, it kind of burns out. Oh, gold snap, and some gems. I must miss that. Oh, I missed this one here. Oh, that's right. Really... So it would be nice if, they, if once you heard that, if it would only play once, or maybe if you had to initiate the content uh, dialogue, and that way too you would know if you'd heard it before. Because uh, there, I forget, I thought it was Elder Scrolls, but it, it didn't seem like it was still doing it. Once you've made a conversation choice, it grays out the, the conversation that you've already done. Because I get lost in like. There's like three quest, you know, uh, dialogue lines on there. Ooh, pink gloves. Yeah. Which one did I just ask the guy? Because they all scroll into some other kind of dialogue, and then you get lost. You're like, oh, I want to hear all this, but I... Oh, yeah. No, come back. Ah. You get lost in it. I'll check out those pink gloves after I find some more treasure. I kind of just want to go chill. I wish I could fish in this game. I think fishing would just be really cool. And oh, can I walk in here? Oh, that's the furthest I've been able to walk in the water. Does it look like I'm in it, or am I just like, yeah, okay? So they kind of some games you can really tell and feel like you're in the water. This one, they basically it's almost as if they've done two separate kind of fields, right? So I'm just walking, but I'm still in the water, but not in the water. There's no water splashing sounds. And I'm not knocking it, I'm not, but I'm a little disappointed in that. I do think they, in a lot of games, they do a great job with the water. And uh, I have to say I'm a little disappointed in the water in this game. It looks nice. I mean, that's it's pitch, picturesque. We got a windmill in the background, some clouds, mountain, trees. Like, this is fun. We just saw a lot of this kind of stuff, and uh, it's, you know, being in <laughs> real life and checking out nature is a completely different thing, but I do greatly enjoy video game nature. It is fantastic. It's almost more peaceful because <laughs> nature is stressful. You worry about getting, like, eaten by a bear. You've got uh, bugs. I mean... Not to mention, a lot of time you have to hike somewhere to get to see anything fun or interesting. I'm not gonna bring that to you. It's not like you just pull up the side of the road. I mean, a lot of time you can, but if you want to go look at some falls or whatever, usually it's a bit of a hike. It's crowded. It's hot or it's cold or it's whatever. I complain a lot. What the hell's over here? One of my qualities, I've, I've been told. Yeah, even that cache. I need all this money to fund my troops. Is this a power stone? That's mine to do. Oh, a thousand year up. Okay, so how do I do that? Did I touch it again? Oh, it's showing me the symbols. Okay, check it. remember this. Whatever that is, whatever that is, whatever that is. Is that the order? So is this one. Oh, probably this other one. 
I thought it was this one. It's actually in order this time. Or it was the other way around. That doesn't seem right. Oh, uh, what? So that one, that one, that one. Oh, okay, so I messed that up, so... It does, it shows you, look. What's the order I did it in, I thought? No, so it must... You have to watch the order. Doesn't sound right, though. Perhaps I need to try another approach. Guess you listen for the sound? There it is. Just a little confusing. Oh man, defeat the army of light. Jeez. Let's take a look at this army of light. Strong enemy. Okay, well. I might be able to fight them, but... Let's do some more levels first. Kind of like to pass on quests that are maybe harder if I have other quests I can do. Again, it's a resource management thing where you don't want to be losing troops. And I believe if a troop set dies completely, you have to go rebuy all the troops. So that can get... Oh, shoot. That can get expensive. And ultimately, to get the better troops, you need a lot more money. So you don't want to be wasting all your money reviving your damn spearmen every time because... Uh, yeah, it'll go broke fast, trust me. See here. I'm gonna go down here, but there's all these other things I could explore. How much I love exploring these things. Whatever just was, yeah. That's pretty cool down there. Ah, yes. Oh, I meant to look at those gloves. I'll do that here in a second. I'm carried away with all my treasure looking. Hey, barrel. Bear tooth. You know there's some treasure down there. Always treasure down there. Down yonder. Ooh, a mage tower. So that's maybe what my scroll lets me in there that one time. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's a battle too. I'm not going to proc any new quests yet with any of these people. I believe if you don't proc the quest, more than likely the timer, if whatever the timer they were talking about is, won't start. Hey, reads. Reads? Reads. Reads. Sounds more proper. Alright. I'm going to weave in my way through here looking for all the good stuff. I promise you I will look at these pink gloves before I fight the next, or even proc the next scene. But I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt down after you. What's the rest of the lyrics? Man, I heard Simple Man in the car today. That was such a good song. Say what you will about Lin Leonard Skinner, but that was a great song. That is a swift running wolf. I'll what? never catch it on foot. What? I'm supposed to catch a wolf on foot? Maybe on a mount? Great, so I just scared a wolf away? I'm confused. You've seen all these treasures. That's my little trick that I use. Oh, there's a barrel there. 
have that. That kind of that way you don't have to really strain your eyes. I mean, you might miss some stuff by by not completely looking at. Oh, is that it? Is that guy running? But you can kind of go back, and then a lot of times too, you can't see what is or isn't a treasure. They all kind of glow a little bit, but I mean, look, you see that scroll? You can barely tell it looked like an apple. <laughs> so that's kind of my little trick to save some, uh, save some eye power. Okay, so maybe that's what's happening is this wolf is running from me. Lobo, the wolf. Hungry like the wolf. Oh yeah, you're mine, sucker. Give me that. I see you. I see you. Looks like he's kind of on this circular path. I got you, boy. Yeah. Trophy. Got it. Trapper. Catch the wolf during Trapper's quest. I don't really catch him. He just ran off, it looks like. They didn't want to come fight me. Ooh, power point. Nice. Turn to Edgar. Jeez, man, I got no ports around here. Really making me work for it. Yeah, look at that majestic steed. The one thing we were out of town, and it's one thing if you don't know the area, trying to find food is so hard. Especially during, you know, these times where a lot of places might be closed down or otherwise restricted in certain ways or whatnot. And, uh, yeah, eating at the hotel is not, like, the best. It wasn't, it was alright, you know what I mean? But it's overpriced and, oh, jeez, missed that guy. Wait, up here? Oh, there's some jerk up here, okay. You know what I'm saying. So it's nice to be home, know your uh, places you like to eat. And uh, so, we, anyway, we got round table. I know it's boring, but I love round table. We basically ate snacks we brought the whole time, so we saved a little money. <laughs> we bought some round table. It was worth it. You know, it can get pricey eating out, especially if you don't know where you're going in the restaurant. You're like, well, oh shit, we just found this place. We might as well eat here because we don't want to drive around anymore and then each plate's like twenty dollars and you're like wow twenty dollars for nothing even I more now him. without it the animals turn feral and run away into the wilds i need its magic in order to handle them here you are trapper i hmm. killed your sister's wolf you understand it was the only way yeah i never liked that beast anymore oh, no. Of course, Arrow will be even more angry with me than before. Oh well, business is business. After all, she's the one who ordered the animal to steal my totem. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of thinking that ooh, we got three eagles. Nice. When uh, ancient wolves. Nice. This is look scary. When you see, not only am I getting those troops from the power line I am getting a power point as well I don't know if it goes into a random power stat or how that works but we can now buy those guys let's take a look for now I, I generally I won't oh man I missed a treasure over here well one thing you can do if you're needing gold it's actually not the worst thing to have to go back and get a treasure if I happen over this way again to fight that battle or even this battle I'll pick up that chest over there but it's also good to know you may have gold and items that will help you if, you, if you're if you a few bucks short and know where to go get those. So, let's go. Hmm. I suppose we should c complete the trial. That way it's done. And then I'll head this way into the Mage Tower. Let's go, buddy. Tell you more. Mm -hmm. Would be nice to kind of be able to recruit troops from a central location rather than having to go to each spot. But believe me, I do really appreciate that. Uh, as a younger gamer, that's something I wouldn't have minded as much because I had more time. 
But, uh, you know, for me now, having to go find each thing, I'm going to be lazy and probably just pick whichever is the easiest thing for me to do, which, which is like the guys I've already been using. And then having to remember where you go get those guys, that's the hard part. <laughs> going to walk around over here already? I don't do good to dismount. Look for treasure. Hey, you! Oh, didn't I? I made some kind of promise, didn't I? I better fulfill it. Okay. I don't know where it gave me a PowerPoint. I don't see it. I guess maybe that's what these numbers are? Maybe put another point into here? I, I just don't know. Oh, power over here. Let's buff something up. Who knows? Maybe those do something else for you that I'm not aware of. Whatever those other points that I just got, maybe it's something completely different than the talent. Don't know. Oh, these eagles are pretty cool. Level two. Uh, if if you are coming across something that I have uh, kind of been figuring out as well, is if you come across weaker enemies, like way weaker, switch your troops and get these guys leveled up. You never know when you're going to run out of troops or want a different kind of troop. And want them to be leveled up. So that they have better uh, attack, better health, better abilities. You know, all around are better. So. Obviously not everyone, but if you find some guys you like, like these eagles are pretty cool. I've got archers that are alright. You know, it's nice to have variety. Plus you never know when you need like all range unit to win a fight or something. Oh yeah, we're going to look at these pink gloves. I don't even know if I can wear these. Magic Power Plus 1, I kind of figured they might be... Of the magic class. Leather gloves already, I think, right? Oh, warrior's gloves, which I think we actually picked up another set of warrior's gloves as well. No? It was a warrior's belt? Worker's belt. I guess I thought I saw that say worker is a warrior's. Worker's and what he is. That sounds like a fun game, right? <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do entirely with this game yet. I, like I said, I enjoy playing it. So for those of you that have been coming by our shop here, Brothers Wars Gaming on YouTube, and, and checking out this, I hope you've been enjoying it. I hope I'm doing, doing it justice for you in terms of showing you what, what you could be enjoying if you're looking for this kind of game. Or if you just like watching the story and watching me dink around, that, that's cool too. Talk this way? Another blotch of blight. Too What's close up, to the player? mage's tower. Knight Baldwin, one of the heroes of King Maximus's age, will give battle to the infection. He was able to protect Marcella from the rebels. The very brilliance of his armor inspires hope in human warriors. His army is waiting for you. Ooh, ooh, ho. Oh. Oh, yeah, I need to switch that quest. How you doing tonight, man? I am just getting back in town. I'm pretty tired. I have played Mario 3D World, I think, on the Wii. I definitely want to get it on the Switch. I know they remade it, and it looks amazing. And I want to be Cat Peach. Because Cat Peach is super cool. Yes, this one here. Alright, these, these fights are tough. I'm going to save and hope that uh, I don't die. I probably should have saved a new file there because I made a choice. Uh, and again, something if you guys are playing this game and you want, if you're going to be having trouble, you want multiple save files. So in case you screw up, you can go back to one. Don't be afraid to make multiple saves. Yeah, it would me too, man. Strong so this last time these fights are always hard. Okay, so strong enemy. I have some a lot of good warfare here. They have these guys are pretty gnarly, and they have that something where they basically kill one of your guys every time. We'll give it a try. I haven't lost one of these fights yet. I don't think there's anything you can do to make your army stronger. 
this is just going to be a strong enemy and you have to use good tactics to kind of fight these guys. So we'll see if I can handle it. Hopefully it doesn't bog down the story too much if I can't. And, uh, yeah, if not, I'll, co I'll come back to this one, but at least you got to see it. Hellhounds who can run pretty far. Archers that will be a huge problem. And then these guys are beasts. Three hollow giants. I don't know what kind of spells I have. These guys are ranged, so I probably want to get them over here protected, right? They can run up to that front line right there, which I might I'll maybe keep them here. So these are cavalrymen. A lot of time cavalrymen get an ability where they charge in and do more. Okay, not a, except for exiting. So interesting. So they do get a charge bonus. So if you've played Heroes of Might and Magic before, a lot of these bonuses are kind of the same. And in the older games, some of these bonuses were inert, but they, I mean, they were there, but you just didn't know they were there. And that was something about old gaming as well, is a lot of stuff was going on and you just really had no idea. You kind of had to play with things and just kind of think like, oh, in D&D, maybe this was a thing, quite could be possible here. And, and more or less, that was a bit, that was kind of the case too. But now they're really, uh, you know, Letting me you know what's going on, which I like. These guys are strong, so I may want to. Pr I'm probably not going to want to charge them into battle, right? Put them here. Which keeps them protected from any harm there. I do want to put a troop here, though, to protect them here and here. I just don't think I have them. If I, well, I could draw the wolves into here because I don't think I can hit them here. And if they walk up, I could kind of close ranks. Which is what I might need to do. Kind of flop these guys, put him up here, drop this guy over here, down, up, and then charge these guys in a battle somewhere. Hopefully they can, they can probably move pretty far as well. So could put them here. Get them one step closer if I want to charge them, which I might want to just charge right into the side of these guys here, or possibly directly at these archers, depending on how far these guys move. These guys are kind of the problem here. I feel like they could come in and really just ruin my day. So yeah, this is a tough fight. Let's see what happens. See what kind of magic this guy has. Initiative increased by two. Oh, yeah. hmm. I may want to use that on the charge. We'll see what happens. Either you can use it on one of these units or this unit here. Knights are pretty cool. I'm wondering if this is kind of a preview of what I'm gonna get with my troops if I keep going. Eight. Those guys can't come down. Oh, they can come down. I put them in the wrong spot. I could just totally fly in here and kill these archers, sacrificing my cavalry men. Kind of screen up my plans here. Those wolves might not be able to come around and get me though. Oh yeah, they probably can. Flying them right into the soul eaters. They don't like that they're gonna come down on me. Much better bonus for charging over there. I don't know if I get the bonus after I step off here. Put it right in there.
I guess that's kind of what I gotta do. I wonder if I can heal them. Instead of doing attacks with my other priest. Uh, Very inspiring and waiting over here. What's this? Oh, cool, they can taunt them. Be closer. And now I might be able to shift my guys over here. So they, these guys can heal, they can heal and move at the same time. Or how much damage can they do? Not enough. Okay, what's this other one? Armor, nice. You guys are good. So definitely want to drop a heal on these guys. Get them full. Hopefully, be able to move these guys out of here. Sometimes that takes up a lot of your move. Actually, you can run these guys way over here, which is going to be nice. I can get him. He'd have to walk through these guys, which would just be bad for him. If I can get him over here and shoot, that might be too far. These guys can move really far. Nice. So I can't cast, because that might take two AP. I still haven't quite figured out exactly what that is. Maybe they only get one of those spells, they get three heals. It'd be nice to knock this guy down one more. Save my. Come on, yes. Oh, I end an additional turn. Very cool. I can also cast Stone Skin on my Cavalryman because they're probably going to get wrecked. And now I can also still shoot. These guys are full. Everybody should be full at this point. We're going to kind of peel our team over this way. I didn't really see this move out of the gate. I was trying to come over here and pepper those guys. Oh, dicks. And they killed one. Freaking hate those archers, man. I'm going to charge those jerks and forces next turn. Oh jeez, those guys can shoot twice. Healing? Man, stun for two turns? All the warriors can shoot as well. They did some work. Man, they almost killed all of my disciples. That was rough. I can take my swords one over here now. I'm gonna do defense. Instead of attack, but so my attack's not really favorable, and sometimes these guys move, and get, I get a free attack out of it. Which is actually what I should have done, is taunted with these guys, forcing them to move, but we'll see what happens. I might just do it on their own. Oh, touch of the Blight. Oh, my Calvary, man. That's a good fight right there. Defense. Figured something. Let's see what's up there. If I could get my heal on, that'd be epic. Could back door over here. Gonna attack back. This is what I might need to do. Could probably heal a cavalryman and shoot. And then this will block my other guys as well. What spells do I have? Inspire. Units initiative. That means like the turns they go or something? Might as well use it. Or it might mean how far they can travel. If they get shot again though, it's just going to be a waste, and these guys got blasted. Inspire these guys. 
Why not? Yeah. It's not a great counterattack. If I wait too long though, these guys can shoot me. I was hoping to hit him with my cavalrymen first, but they gotta take those guys out, so... I'm gonna go over here to block them from attacking my... healers. Why are they getting so much healing? It's freaking bullcrap. I could, I could defend and hope that they walk in my zone. Which is what I might do. This guy can heal. He doesn't heal very much though, so let's heal these guys. Okay, so that took his attack, which probably isn't the worst thing ever. Those guys healed up. Maybe you get three action points a turn. Two is takes an attack takes two. See now they can't attack because I healed. I'm really gonna move over here though and hide from those freaking archers. How I do that though? Maybe all the way over here. I might be able to come over here and beat me up to That is. Took out my last man. Jesus, that hurt. Maybe the two means I can't attack. Whose turn is it? Is the question. So close. No more spells. Can I attack again? No. They're being under underutilized because they're not moving. They just destroyed everybody. Not alright. That's tired of these guys. So they did something to my cavalry man. Man. This is not how you win this fight. I want to stay away from these archers or I needed to slam the cavalry men into there. But it's gonna be hard to uh Oh dang, they stay dead. I wonder if they stay dead. We'll have to go check that out, because if not, I'm going to need to load before the fight. That'll be good to know. That is a tough fight, so we'll come back to that. I'll probably try to work on that another time. I don't want to bore you guys sitting there trying to win that fight. That, that was definitely a hard fight. It was one of the first fights that I have not been able to win. I just don't see myself being able to pull that one through. So let's go find out, though, if... 
indeed it will keep those people dead, because if so, I don't know how they expect you to win that fight. No, okay, so, you know. Whoa, are these different people this time? Oh no, it's the same people. Okay. Well, that's tough. That was a really tough fight. Maybe try to get you one more fight and uh, see what's going on. I have to think about that one. Let's see what these guys are doing. Possible I should have started that fight on the other side and went over to where those giants were to attack them, but I don't know what some of those enemies were doing were crazy. Maybe those guys are the least of my worries. Maybe I should save them for last. They're slow. Head the other direction. Hello? Uh. Someone cast a spell on you. I should take a look around. But yeah, we'll do we'll do a little more questing. Then I might play some uh, Elder Scrolls. This flask looks expensive. Mm -hmm. Mages often toss their coin around on shiny baubles. And I might do a little of this, and I'm probably gonna play some ESO. I don't know if I'll stream. Maybe I will. Let's do some questing on that. Take my headset off. Sometimes my headset gives me a, a headache. Ooh, look at that! Seventy liter ship. That's what's up. Oh, that's a cool view. Oops, always do that. Alright, oh. Let's look at the map. I want to... Oh, we're gonna take a look here. Let's make this our echo quest. There we go. As I so many during quests, it's hard to figure out what the heck's going on sometimes. Hey, what's down there? Neat. I bet you dumped my flask on there. Hello? Uh. Someone cast a spell on you. Mm. Here, I guess I need more ingredients. Karansis. Mm. Mm. I'd better question him. More in the mage's tawa. So that was good, I did that. Let's go talk to this guy and then see what this is about. Let's see what the battle's about. I might call it here, guys. That defeat has made me sad. I'm a sad panda after my defeat. And, uh, yeah, I'll work that battle out. I, like I said, I'm probably going to go around the other side and have those guys chase me, but I just don't feel like fighting that fight right now. It's, it's kind of an unfair fight in my current state now. <laughs> now I'm just making excuses, but... gotten the shield up in time. Look at that. It shut down. I'd been hoping it would drive away the hacker, but... I need to enter the mage's tower. Please lift the shield. Sorry, no can do. I set up that shield for a reason. To contain the enraged golems and the hacker. I was updating the control logoi when a hacking attempt was initiated. I was barely able to materialize the log scroll. See these red lines of code? That's where the <laughs> hacker intervened. He tried to copy my work and seize control. <sighs> A mercenary has his job cut out for him in this kingdom. I don't understand how someone else can grab control of a golem. Same here. Whoever did this was really intelligent. 
If one of the golems hadn't rushed at me, I'd have caught the sneak. He's hiding somewhere. I'll send a search rune. Maybe you'll manage to capture him. You need to get to the tower anyway, don't you? You could just fight your way past the golems, but I'm sure the search would be quicker. Hmm. Didn't even find this rune? So either attack the iron golems or follow this rune. Oh, now it's gone. Alright. Well, let's see what attacking the golems would entail. Okay, very strong enemy, so... Probably not one I want to fight. Let's go see if I can't follow that search scroll thing around. Let's see. There, I saw it again. Is there so many? What the hell was that last one about? Oh, yeah. So what, I can't find the hacker now? Because I already attacked the iron golems? No. That can't be the case. Okay, so maybe I blew that and then took my choice away. See, that's not on here anymore. Alright, well. So basically, I screwed up there and I screwed up there. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys when you're doing this. I'm probably going to reload the last save I did before I did that other attack. And before I did this. I could probably beat the Iron Golems. Um, but I kind of want to see where this other one goes. Very strong enemy. Or what I would need to do is go level up. Get some more, get some more guys. You know, maybe look to fight somewhere else that isn't as difficult. I feel like maybe going back to this area might might be a little easier. I've got some quests over here as well. This one was actually one, um, some earlier quests. So maybe I'll do that. There was this one over here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I will come back to this. I will attack my way in since that is a path I have set myself upon. I will save it, and I will remember that I made a save before I screwed up everything if I go over to this other way, and it is no good. Well, Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. You've been here with Brothers Wars Gaming. Come on back, check us back for more. We'll be playing King's Bounty 2, this rebirth, if you will, re-emergence of a classic game. Sorry that last tale there wasn't very successful, but hopefully that uh, is helpful to you when you're making your choices while playing this game. Oh, hey, like a treehouse. Nice. Not really, but it looks like one, huh? <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright, what is up? Welcome, everyone. Good morning. You're here with Brothers. Forge Gaming. What we're doing, we're playing King's Bounty 2. And as you can see right here, where we left off, is a battle. About to take place. Now, sorry, I was just getting chat up in case y'all are wanting to chat with me. Okay, so what happened last time was I made some choices over here that maybe led me to having a stronger fight here. Now this is an example where I did a save before I made that choice, so if I have to absolutely go back to this point, 
I have a save. It sucked to go backwards, and I would rather make this power choice because the other one was a, a, white, a wisdom choice, which I'm going power, anarchy, that kind of thing. But um, let's take a look real quick at my army. Now, I did go over here and find, because I can now unlock these eagles. I went and got flaming eagles. This is part of what you could get if you got the uh, pre-order. If you get the Lord's Edition, this is one of the creatures you can get. And then I also picked up some griffins, so we'll see. It, it actually made my army quite a bit more powerful. This was a, this right here was a equal enemy fight, and as soon as I added those guys, it made it a weak enemy. Um, and this is something I was talking about as well, is I just added these guys to the army, so now I want to go around to fighting lesser armies to power up my guys, so that I can, you know, because this is the first time I'm using those troops. Let's see probably keep them back. I, I really need to figure out how to hide from range in this because they, the range is like pretty much as far as you can go as long as they can see you kind of thing, you know what I mean? So I'm probably just going to walk up here and shoot these guys. They have cavalrymen or nomads. They basically have nomads. They've got their own eagles who can... So you can I zoom out. Their eagles can fly all the way over there, so I need to put a, the swordsman in front of them so they can't attack. Got a lot of archers, so I'm basically going to fly over there with my eagles. I need to put them right there. Yeah. So that cuts them off. My griffin. Move him over here. shot at any of those guys. Let's see, I think I... I don't know if they'll be able to reach those archers in one turn, so either way, that works. Let's see what happens. What is this ability? Eagle Dive. Any free hex within range of its speed and deals. Nice. So that's too far away. I'm gonna wait. I have a feeling these guys were gonna fly in here. <laughs> a mistake, like running into a brick wall right there. I think I've cut these guys off, I think. They don't have any special powers. And they are not very strong, at least those guys are... Oh, what? The deserters? Hmm. Definitely can't move as far as I thought they could. Those archers might, might not be able to see me up here because I'm up around the bend. So I want to get my heal on here. So I can't shoot because I healed. I think that's how that works. Damn. I just have to close ranks here and send out these birds. The archers can hurt me at this point. I should have moved these guys up here. Which is what I'll do next time. I'm just gonna finish these guys off. Tell me. 
like they're gonna be able to get in here. Such a cool ability they have. Flaming needles. I lost one. That's all right. Distracts them from doing whatever other stuff they're gonna do. Kind of hard to get the camera angles correct in this. Sorry guys. Just trying to zoom in so you can see the action, and uh, it didn't work out so good. And you know that was 100% my fault for screwing up the good attack here and keep them from shooting which is kind of what I want to do I'm going to do it here I think I'm going to cut these dang archers off, man. That's really what you want to do. I mean, the, the ground units are very strong as well. Um, but that was an example of them trying to move out of the control zone, which is like a free attack for me. So now I'm getting... The ground units are strong, but you just do not want to be getting peppered by archers. It's so annoying. Almost, I could heal a flaming eagle here. Or I could shoot. If I get my swordsman out of the way, I might be able to shoot these guys. And wait. I didn't do the best strategy with my guys that time. square and does some amount of damage or an attack which kills them so it hurts oh, okay wow I see what it does so that's a good way to bomb into an area but it's gonna hurt my own people so I'm not gonna do that
can never tell who's attacking me. It's that eagle. Okay. Pretty strong. Stupidly lost a bird there, costing me 480 gold. <laughs> Jeez. But I got some other stuff, so that's cool. I actually lost two birds, that's okay. Not terrible. These guys had some strong troops, and we took them down. So now, I wanted to go get this treasure, but I don't think I'll be able to get over there. I'm gonna go around this way. You know, got all these quests down here I wanna take a look at. Maybe we'll go do this other fight if I can make it over there. Hoping it to be a chill morning. Hope you guys are having a great day. Good morning. It is starting to turn to fall. We have had one hellacious summer where we're at. I know there's a lot of stuff going on around the country and the world in terms of natural disasters and everything else happening. Some people would say that God is pissed, right? But uh, anyway, it's nice to finally be reaching in to these cooler, we're getting cooler evenings. We're still getting 100 plus degree days, but it's not as bad because it's actually cooling off. Whereas in the early parts of the hell summer, it was 90 degrees at eight in the morning and 112, 113, 114 degrees by like noon. And it would stay that hot until like three in the morning. And we just rinse repeat that for previous, basically the past <laughs> four months of hell, man. And uh, we say it every year, we need to move, it's just too damn hot here. Of course we po, so we don't have AC, you know what I mean? So uh, we're, we, we're, we're rich with love and life and happiness and games, but when it comes to anything else, maybe we made some, some uh, poor decisions there. Uh, but a lot of time you got to think it's over time so i didn't just amass my gaming collection in one you know one year it's been my life's work in a sense so kind of hard to trade that for an ac unit <laughs> and i never would i never would games are more important than air conditioning besides so probably couldn't afford to run the damn thing even if i had it because uh that shit's expensive anyhow it would be nice to be able to sit down in a room, blast AC, make it, put a sweater on, something like that. It's just disgusting, though. How sick are we? <laughs> we don't want to be hot. We want to wear a sweater, but in the winter, we want to wear shorts and a t-shirt and crank up the heater. I mean, it's just... Human beings are just doomed. <laughs> We're just a doomed creature. <laughs> Looking for treasure. Uh -huh. All right, your treasure. Ah, uh, oh dang, a dead body. Oh no, scarecrow. Uh -huh. Slay does ring. All right, a waystone. We can buy some new troops over here. Maybe get some new quests. Look, a bunny rabbit. Nee, what's up, Doc? Look at that. Bugs Bunny just ran away from me. You see that? Where'd you go? Hey, bud. Hey, bugs. Get over here. Get over here, bugs. Hey, hey. You're hunting wabbit. Working the land is the hardest toil around. That's true, man. Kudos to all those people keeping the food supply going on around out there for us. Hard work. I actually wouldn't mind working on a farm, but uh, I, I have done that kind of work in the past, but my body just isn't what it used to be. Let's see here. Uh, let's go check out in here. Is this the camp? Maybe because I'm turned weird. All right. We don't have a lot of property, or I would start doing some uh, some stuff in our yard, get some stuff going. Of course, we're in a drought as well, so that makes it hard to kind of want to try to grow stuff. That if you don't know what you're doing, you're just wasting resources. But 
my folks had a decent place to, to grow, but that's, I've told that sad story before, and I uh, was kind of hoping to get that property, and it doesn't seem like that's going to work out for us. But man, they have riverbed soil, man, they had a, they had the perfect place to grow, like about half an acre. And uh, need a, the, the house needs a complete re tear down and, and rebuild. And some other landscaping issues that would that would be rather pricey, but man, if we could have kept that in the family, that could have been a, a nice little uh, plot to grow. Start start a little bit of a ooh bills of debt, buying up those bills of debt. It's way to go. A lot of people started their amassed their fortune that way, buying up debt. Let's see, mortgage-backed securities. Yo yo yo. Let's read this. Yeah, dude, the virtual boy has never been anything but trash. I remember my buddy bought it when it came out. He was like the only person I knew that that's ever had one. I think Easy has one now. I don't know if his works, but you know, I played that Mario Tennis on it and some other game. I forget what else was on there that I played, but it was bad. It was just real bad. It's a neat idea though, but yeah, I, I can't. I would never pay the price for one that is that it is now or was then. I'm not sure if it's more expensive now or was it more expensive back then. Either. It might be the same because I don't remember it being cheap back in the 90s. And if you go with inflation and different things and the de devaluation of currency, it's potential that it was more then than it is now, but still more than you want to pay for it now. Hey, look at that path right there. What's my see? Can I go up here and get treasure? No. Tricksters. Oh, man. I just enjoy walking through the, through the scenery in this game. and I've been talking about this plan. I've been playing ESO as well as this game, kind of at the same time, back and forth. And it really just depends what I'm in the mood for, but... Uh, ESO received a huge upgrade to PS5. And the graphics are a lot more, I don't know, they're a lot, they're a lot more what you expect from an HD game, but there's something I like about this game and the way it does its graphics. It, it almost has a retro, old school feel to it that's been modernized to, not in the sense of a remaster or a remake, but in the sense that, that it's really good modern graphics, but not too good. Not full HD where you're like, okay, this is a new game on a new system. This almost feels like I'm playing a PC game from like 2000, mid 2000, you know, maybe like 2008, 2004, maybe even 2010, somewhere, somewhere in that range, right? Which a lot of people would probably see as a negative thing, like, oh, it's you. We want a modern game with all the best graphics in the world, and and realistically. Uh, it's just so nice what you're getting here, and, and it's not what you'd expect, which makes it interesting. I believe uh, my buddy, the other guy on the channel, has uh, has the Richard Boy. Uh, I had a friend growing up that had one, and he let me play it like one time. He was a real kind of like shitty kid, real like, Meh, you know, didn't let people touch his things, which is fine. But uh, he let me play it one time after he'd like probably played it and hated it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I wasn't impressed. I was the kind of person, though, that, that I was a big NES fan. Nintendo was my jam, man. And anything I played that wasn't Nintendo, I'd be like, well, that's not Nintendo. It's no good. You know, and I'm still kind of that way. Nintendo is just so good. So many ways I wish they never would have stopped making Nintendo and just never put out anything else. I mean, yeah, we got some good stuff from 64 and all that. And Super Nintendo's great. And a lot of fun games on GameCube, and I know a lot of people love Wii and all that, but I could have gone without it. I could have just, if Nintendo would have just continued to perfect the NES, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been mad at it. I'd give it all up if they would just still be making Nintendo games today. I can't even imagine, because they could have put, you know, they could have beefed up the NES. They could have done some upgrades, uh, increased the RAM so that the games wouldn't glitch out as hard. They could have, you know, maybe made the graphics a little more crisp. They were definitely doing that kind of stuff, and they had that expansion port on the NES. 
and uh, you know those are all capabilities that they could have used. I even heard talks about some kind of modem or something. They they had a freaking printing press for the damn thing, for all for all intents and purposes. They had wireless capabilities. They had I mean, they had everything you need for a system on the Nintendo. Okay, so I've talked about reused uh, sceneries in this game. This is an absolute reused, repurposed uh, level right here. I've already been on this exact piece of property in the game. They just recycled it. It's actually the first time I've seen it. And, and it's a 100% recycle. And there's not even, they didn't even give me anything on this one. That's kind of annoying. But that is the first time I've seen it, or noticed it. And you, you gotta expect they're gonna do that. They're gonna copy paste. Save some time. Did I just walk up the wrong road? Oh, well maybe I'm an idiot. It's probably because I've already been there. <laughs> well, I was finding all that new treasure. Hmm. I needed that money, I spent all my gold on eagles. So how the hell... Oh wow, I totally went the wrong way. What the heck did that happen? Just thought I was doing so good finding treasure. Den you got. Uh. Right, armor. Oh, time. What are you looking at? Scram. <laughs> uh, zombies ate my neighbors. That's a great game. For Sega or Super. So these guys don't want to deal with me. Probably these might be bandits or something. Yeah, it's good on SNES. There's also another one that's way more expensive though. It's like called like Goon or Ghoul School or something. Um, Ghoul Patrol on Super. Hunter's Boots. Might be good, better than I have. I'll have to take a look at that. Keep a remembrance of these items. But oh, I guess I could sell this guy in my trash. Yeah, Super Star Wars is such a good game. It's so hard, though, man. My biggest complaint about it. That would be one that would actually probably not be too bad to use, like, on a modern version of it. And so you could have save states, because... It's a really fun game, but when you have to keep replaying the, the certain parts about the game because it's, you die, it really makes you not want to play it anymore. So I guess it's a good, good situation, but that's one of those things where I think like save states might actually improve that game because it's so freaking hard. There's that you know you got to be like you're like climbing that um, desert big that big desert ship and you fall down one thing you're like really. Makes you want to stop playing it. <laughs> you don't like Mario Paint? Um, it's got its it's got its charm, but yeah, it's the mouse is pretty bad and then hard to use. And if you screw up once on Mario Paint, you're pretty much just done. 
Can I buy more of these guys? No. Have you played the Fly Swatter game on Mario Paint though? That's actually pretty fun. <laughs> and there's the other one. There's a couple mini games on there that aren't bad. Where do we go next? And definitely, if you didn't grow up in the where '90s, it, it, using that mouse, it will bring you we're to the frustration. Luck, no that was like Central commonplace, man. The, the mouse with like a three-inch cord and a trackball, which just are awful. Okay, so these guys don't like me. I don't know how I'm supposed to get over here. Find the entrance. I'll have to figure that out. Yeah. There's a cool composing program on there, if you can figure it out, uh, that uses the Nintendo engine sounds, which are which are pretty cool. What's the brand here? I guess I'll go this way. Oh. Yeah, we'll save the castle. I'm going to go this way and find Bella's treasure and then probably swing back to here. I'm gonna go do this fight after I talk to this guy up here. Try this way. I tried to mess around with that a few times and uh, in Mario Paint using the music composer probably. It's really hard to use, but uh, if, you're, if you're some kind of whiz kid, you could probably make some awesome music that they probably wouldn't be able to claim because you created it using their program. Um, and you can have some authentic any or SNES sound music with Mario. I mean, at least I don't think they'd be able to claim it because you made it, which which gives that program that in that game value. Ooh, Townsman shoes, nice. To go take a look at that. Let me see. What kind of shoes do I have now? You know what? I don't like my minus one speed. I should go buy those other. I should go buy those other boots that were back here. I think I'm gonna do it. I like those other legendary boots and they're part of a set, but maybe once I start getting more of that set. I just, the minus one speed with my birds is killing me because I should have been able to reach those places. Plus 15 defense has really been good though, I think. We'll see. We'll try it out. Plus three health, so I'm trading off health for uh, defense and speed. I should see where that rabbit's foot goes. Uh, although I just probably wasted all my money, yeah. yeah. So the rabbit's foot might go. Oh, and that other charm. I already have a charm, but it's not like super good, but I have it. Yeah, I mean, it's good, but I don't really need it. Do you, what is the record, man? Leadership, health, 1%. So yeah, those are pretty good, better than the other one. No warps. Oh, my eyebrows one. Yeah, I, I have a pretty fast time for the first one, but uh, not without using warps. I do want to go back and speedrun the, the game without warping. That's pretty fast. Okay, so I don't need that other stuff. Yeah, getting a world record under your belt would be pretty impressive. Now, do you use it... Are you considering using, like, glitches and stuff, or are you playing it straight up? Because I don't much care for... You know, it gets it gets pretty wild when you start using exploits and glitches and things. Can I go up here? Feel like it. There's just so many little areas to go in in this game. So maybe this is part of some other quest that I am not on right now. I'd have climbed down there and slit their throats long ago. We've been told to observe, so we're observing. Oh, yeah. they're observing. Well, I feel sorry for those lumberjacks. We've been told to sit here, 
So we're sitting here. Sitting here still. <laughs> There you go. So you want to find these shrines throughout the last treasure. Oh. Not sure how important finding all that stuff is in the grand scheme of things, but the more power, the better. You kicked the 75 yarder. Nice, dude. With which kicker? Good old Chip. Chip Low Miller. And Morton, the legendary Morton. What happened to the kid? Well, we'll find out, but I gotta get my dredge out fast. Alright, that's probably all we can get here. Hopefully you drafted a good team as well, buddy. <laughs> Look, man, don't patronize me. I can do this. I just need to collect myself first and then... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm a loser. Yes, it's a true. Nothing. A slug. What's this you're cooking? With a dash of self-accusation and a spoonful of despair? Damn it. I was planning to marry her and settle down, build a cozy house, have some kids, but that misbegotten goat cleaver kidnapped my love, Marlena. He says I'm a service gang three more years before he'll allow me to retire. That's Lowry. a tough break. How do you intend Mike to Lowry. rescue your betrothed? <sighs> I've been thinking on the problem through the night. Maybe I'll sit down in this very puddle to think more clearly. Cleaver is a daring fellow. I think you'd best have a palaver rather than try and teach him a lesson. That's you insane. Know, Cleaver. 75 yards. If I defy him, he'll gut me on the spot and What's the record in the NFL like 67? Yes. I'm gonna Guess sit it's not here much further. and think on this a while longer. Ace of you're at mile high and the wind is going your direction. Who's your number one pick? Please tell me Patrick Mahomes. And I might be like excited for you. I'm gonna do this battle and try to get this go back up here and clean up this treasure and we'll go see if this fight is is really is uh how am I gonna get over here? I guess I, I have to go all the way around. I don't think it's gonna let me cross the sea. I didn't think about that. Maybe I can get a boat. That would be cool. Anyway, let's go check out what this fight's all about up here. Hmm, how do I get up there? <laughs> Bo knows. Oh yeah. I spent so much to you can't beat Metroid? It's pretty tough, man. you gotta make maps. It really helps you, or you know, um, keep notes of certain things yeah dude i've played so much tech mobile I, I love that you're playing it that's awesome man i i just you know sometimes let's see Ooh, a slightly weaker enemy huh let's kill them they're right in my way i'm trying to love my new birds that i got I know, going back and playing Metroid, it's, it's again, it's one of those things, it's such a brutal game. When I was younger and I had more time, I loved it. I would just go back and forth in the game and, uh, you know. I have no archers, so I got bears coming in over here. I actually think I'm going to go away from these bears. How far can these guys run?
that should be pretty pretty saucy. Pretty saucy. Oh yeah, dude, you got Kelsey Mahomes. Oh, psh. no, dude. People don't know. People don't know. The problem with with Mahomes is, yeah, if you don't, if you get the first pick or whatever, you know, he won't go a lot because everybody wants somebody else. But you're not gonna probably see him in the second round. That's why he's a great first round pick. You beat Load Runner? Does that game end? I didn't think it ended. I guess it, you get how many levels are on that thing? Like a ton? Okay, let's wait. Oh, I'm sad, dude. It's like the best. After these wolves and these griffins that are perched back here. Kill like over half the wolves, we'll do that. 150 levels? Oh my gosh, I thought freaking. Uh, I probably could have just killed these wolves without, with just these guys here. I guess because I already moved, that's not going to work. Oh well. That was stupid. Yeah, dude, I played uh, Dig Dug 2, and it has like a hundred something levels as well, and it took me forever to play it. That game was ridiculous. What's that? What these guys? Those fire eagles have a really cool ability. Every game in the world, dude, I love your goal, my friend. I have had similar goals in my life. Now it's to just beat every game in my collection. <laughs> so that's the goal now. I think those bears will be able to backdoor me over here. They might. Not even every game in my collection, just like every game that's not a ridiculously long RPG. And these birds have range. Alright, Odyssey, really? You think that that would be easy, man? Because it's just basically a modern game. Like, I guess because of all the all the fancy footwork and stuff you got to do in that game in terms of uh, shoot these guys. Modern games can get a lot more difficult, of course, because of all the stuff you got to do in them. Wow, they're going to go all the way that way. You'll have to tell me more about your draft, man. When, uh, maybe we'll. What are you doing this morning, Easy? Nice, dude. I'm, I'm impressed. And they're, they're all. They're not ROMs. You got carts and, and discs and stuff. Nice. 
Not that, not that there's anything wrong with ROMs, but you know, I don't necessarily count count that in terms of collection size. I got the three bird, freaking one tank and heals system going on here. So oh, actually, it's actually working out pretty solid. This bear just has no chance. So I'll wait. I should just be able to shoot these guys dead. There you go. That was a good battlefield for me right there. There you go. Level up. Let me go check this out and see if I can cross the river over here, which doesn't look like I can. I'm gonna go grab this treasure, maybe go up here and grab this treasure since I'm over here, and then I'm gonna check this fight and see if it's still unwinnable. Which it probably is, even though I've leveled up and gotten some stuff since then. Would be nice to, to let the, lay those undead to rest. And be able to use that port because I did summon them. Super Mario Golf, Super Rush. How's that one, man? That looks pretty. Good. I always like the Mario Golf games. If you're in the, ever in the mood for golf games, sometimes I'll try to go play one of the PGA Tour ones. It's, they're really cool, but I get super frustrated how long how long golf games take. <laughs> well, I'm gonna wrap this up here in a little bit, man. I don't know if you want to try to do some ESO or if you still got some stuff you're doing in the morning. I think I might be good till about 8. I probably gotta feed Sam here in a minute. Pick a make a basket. Hey, boo boo. Oh shit, you can walk on here. Nice. So I wonder if I'll be able to get around or if there's just this power shrine out here. I don't know if you guys can hear this. It's nature. It's the beauty of nature. We got a waterfall. Um, you know, the birds chirping in the background. Easy there, Chubbs. You gonna recite me a poem? Uh, I have a Game & Watch. I got the new one that came out, the uh, remake. But I would like to get some of the old ones because, you know, it's good to have the classic ones. Yeah. Grave Goblet, Magic Power. And always good to have that. I don't think I can cast spells, but it might help me with the scrolls. I think I should be getting the warfare one, so yeah, okay, you can't, I was thinking I could get over here, but it looks like, so this, see the different in the shading, so this shading here is shallower water, so it looks like you'll walk kind of here, so I actually might be able to cross right here to come get this, so we'll go check this out after I go get that treasure. Nice, man. Yeah, the Game & Watches actually aren't too terribly expensive if you want to pick them up, uh, the old ones. I kind of tried to stay away from that though because there's all those tiger handhelds and and different stuff that you want to get and uh, I just don't need to be like opening that many Pandora's boxes, you know what I mean? I, I have, I had to set myself some pretty strict collecting goals because I was going crazy like just buying everything and uh, I'm like, well, you know, if I would have just focused more on one thing, I could have had almost a complete collection of something, you know what I mean? Now there's now there's some NES games that are sitting out of reach. That, I mean, we'll get them eventually, but it's just the trouble is to find them. Yeah, forty bucks isn't too bad. You know what I what I did what I was doing for a while is uh, I was buying at yeah, GameStop. You could get they were just basically giving me PlayStation 3, Wii, and uh, Xbox 360 games. And because I couldn't really find any good deals on retro, I bought hundreds of those games, hundreds, and for like seventy five cents a piece. Instead of, you know, but it, but in the end, the total, you know, I probably spent, I don't know, five, six hundred dollars on games, right? I could have bought in, you know, more Nintendo games when they were forty or fifty dollars that are now hundred, two hundred dollar games. 
instead of buying all those PlayStation games and stuff. But it, I, I don't know. I'm somebody that values like quantity. Quality definitely is good as well as kind of like a blend. You want quality and quantity. Uh, so, but for me, it's like I'd rather go wide and get games that look fun to play and stuff than spend three hundred dollars on one game. Uh, but you know, now it's kind of coming to the point where I do need to spend three hundred dollars on one game. And so really haven't been buying too many games. We actually just started buying the shit out of the wrestlers, man. Let's see if that's going to set us back. We probably could have finished the Nintendo collection by now if we would have thought if we would have just not bought wrestlers. But gosh, how could you not buy wrestlers? That's, that's the question. How could you not buy wrestlers? They're so freaking cool. Alright, so I'm going to go... I don't know if that mana stone thing I found works for only one battle, or if it's a timed thing. Is it old game and watch too? Huh, I didn't know that. Okay, where is that treasure? How did I miss that? It's like right here. Oh, that's right, the lift. So is it down here? Or up there? It's probably up there, huh? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know too much about the, um... The non-NTSC stuff. I thought I did grab the scroll. Well, I gotta ride the lift to do all that, so I'll have to do that. I'll come back down this way and get that. Not that riding the lift is hard, but it's gonna kind of take me way out of my way. All right. So since we can't go there, I guess we're gonna come back down here and talk to that person. need to do what's this one Malar oh okay so there is a thing to talk to this guy here now talk to Cleaver maybe I'll swing around I'll swing around and talk to these guys and see what's going on Yeah, and then finding a legit copy. I don't even know how we're going to do that, man. That's that's really the, the tricky part is once you start getting up in those and then more and more you keep hearing about stuff that's going on. And, and I keep seeing, I don't want to watch it because I don't like giving views to those certain people that are making those videos right now. But there's something going on with the water grading and like people getting ripped off. I can't tell if it's just clickbait or what, but... I would be very careful buying that kind of stuff. Oh, I guess I didn't need to mount. That's pretty good detail with the water wheel sounds and stuff. There, there's there been some detail that has been kind of lacking, but there's also some very exquisite, unique and interesting things in this game. The water effect, and I was talking about it in the last video, when you go in the water, it, it's pretty weak, but everything else about the water is nice, except for interacting with it. I see you down there, bro. Let me go get you, can I have? A new show those archaeologists away. Was it Miller? Who else? They refused to give us jobs. Those <laughs> jobs weren't much. They took care of jobs. Okay, so here's where I might build a cross. Of course, I have to just hunt for treasure first. So I can buy my troops. A Snoopy Tennis? I've never heard of that. That sounds fun. We had like a Snoopy sports game that I got that looked fun. Ah. Staring at 
Move along. Got this guy. Wait, help me. Hey, where are you going? Why are you crying, Codger. old man? I was robbed. They came from across the river. Those, what are they called? Lumberjacks, that's it. They stole my daisy, hmm. my treasure, my only friend. Is Daisy your daughter? Daisy's my pig. Oh, no. She's a rare dappled swine. The only one of her kind in three days' ride. Do you know which woodcutter kidnapped Daisy? The fiend's name is Roaches. I'd seen him skulking around near my house this past week or so. He, he must have been spying on us. He's the thief. I'll pay in gold. Just bring my Daisy back to me. Oh, wow. So they're kind of like shorting their own stock and then reselling it. That's, yeah, that sounds about right. Fuckers. So they talk to Rokus. Swing back through here. Let's see what happens. I guess this guy's pig. Gosh, I have too many. Too many. <laughs> Only have a goldfish for a friend? Hey. What's your goldfish's name? Hmm. I only have easy for a friend, and you know, that's not saying much now. <laughs> Just kidding. Bro. You're awesome. You're the best. Love you. Dude, you guys still have Hulu? There's a, a pretty funny movie called Vacation Friends with uh, John Cena, and I forget the guy's name, but he was on the um, Marlin show and something else. He's kind of like the modern day, uh, gosh, what's the other actor's name? Uh, David Allen Greer. He's kind of like the David Allen Greer of today's era. Sleepy. <laughs> That's funny. A sleepy goldfish. I don't even think fish slept, but I guess they do. There's a good treasure cache over there. A key I should treasure. What the hell am I supposed to talk to? Uh -oh. Where's your quest thing? Are you Roaches? Meller Meller claims you stole his prized dappled swine. Me steal a pig? Ridiculous. <laughs> he sold me that swine himself. And now he's accusing me of theft? Uh -huh. The old man's losing his gourd. You tell him from me to go kiss a dragon's rear. I stole nothing. Oh, really? Leaving the old man's mental health out of it, where am I going to find his pig? How would I know? Ulagi is that pig's keeper now. It ran away. Creator knows where it's roaming. It's not anywhere around the village, though, so... It must have crossed the river over there. We villagers stick close to home. Bludgeon's brutes are all over the place. They'd cut a man's throat for sneezing. And I have hay fever. Hmm. Great. Now we're finding the missing pig. Hunt down this pig. Alright. So I wanted to go by here and see what these guys were going to say. And then come back this way. The pig could be anywhere. Okay. So the pig's going to be over here. So we'll wait. He's lying, you think? I think so, too. I think he sold it. He stole it and sold it. What do you think? All right. Oh, dude, come on, horse. Why'd you roll him back? Are you stuck on the signpost? <laughs> Did I walk by here? 
I did not. See, this is why it's hard to mount, because if you mount, you might miss cool stuff like this. There we go, 50 XP. Talk about a knowledge shrine. So if you guys have if you guys have been listening, I've been begging, not during this broadcast necessarily, but throughout my broadcast for the last five years or however many it's been. I've been begging for a Heroes of Might and Magic remake and not a modern one. I want Heroes of Might and Magic 2 or 3, maybe even 4 or some kind of blend of that remade. And, and you know, I was really kind of hoping this would be more like that. Uh, there was a one of these made in 2008, I think, that actually looked a lot more like a Heroes game, but it was only on PC. I would actually mind seeing them bringing that to PS4, PS5 would be pretty cool as well. Or just make you just make a new Heroes game for console and have it be awesome like the old ones. Maybe fix the AI because that's one of the things that's hard to go back and play that game now is that the, the AI is so bad and uh, it's just really unfair. <laughs> so uh, it's it makes that game hard to go back and play because you're just like fighting the same cheapness. I, I can, I've got some suggestions if somebody wants to make that game, I could help you make a really good Heroes game. Just talk to me. Talk to me about it. Unexpected visitors are not welcome. But I'll take anything. I'll take anything Iraq. anyone's willing Leave to make, and this game's once. pretty cool. I need to see Baron Farad. I have an order with his name on it from Horus, Legate of the Royal Guard. From Horus, you say? Very well. I have no choice but to let you in. Really? Darn right. I guess I should do this. Is this a main? No. Jeez, there's so many. I guess I'd love to see what this one was. Get into castle. Doesn't even show up on here anymore. did you get in here? Your friends tried to kill me at the Batil Gates. I want to know who you serve. The insolence. I know nothing of the attempt on your life, and I cannot let such an insult slide. There's no point in lying. I have irrefutable proof. You're going to come with me and tell all you know. Since when do my allies let brazen madmen into my ancestral fort? What are you staring at, you buffoons? Get this scum out of here this instant. If they persist in trying to enter the castle, kill them on the spot. What a fabulous scoundrel. Legendary, even. Betraying the guard wasn't enough for you, eh? Now you will betray your own people as well? Be that as it may, I won't set foot outside my castle. As for you, you'll be sent flying like a whipped dog. In the name of the king, I place you under arrest. We swore fealty to the crown, not only to you. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay. I swear it. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Made an enemy. Let's go fraud. Fraud Fairloin. And he's got some crossbowmen. Knights. Wow. Depending, these guys have, uh, they might have it. Yeah, they have a spell. I'm gonna see if I can't get them with my eagles. Equal enemy. I can't hire any more guys. Oh, I could use these guys, huh? If I wanna take out, maybe I'll take out these birds. Oh shit. Well, maybe I get extra guys? I was trying to bring them into my army, but I guess not. Oh yeah, nice, they're right there. 
Yeah. I get you. Free guy. Only in theaters. I need to figure out how to get my healers out of the sight, uh, line of sight of those damn archers. Well, if I put them over here, maybe. Fierce light could be trouble. Yeah, the, well, they had they had another kind of like video game movie with a similar name that was like a similar style. Came out a while back. All right, where can I dive on? Uh, uh, Sam's starting to get mad. Can't make it over there, so I guess I'll try to wait. So at least they're all dead. <laughs> Waste to heal on them. They're all fortifying over there. Before I could have reached over here. Dang it, I blew it again. Let's see what kind of spells I have. Look, I might need to use it for shroud. Alright, what's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome here to Brothers Forge Gaming. You know it. We're in the crown lands. I, we're going to be here for a while, so just keep at it if you're enjoying what you're seeing, and we appreciate you guys coming by um, and checking it out. So, you know, we won't beat it to death uh, talking about the game and all that like we were doing in the first. So what ended up happening is this game keeps getting cut out for whatever reason when I'm streaming it. It doesn't, it's kind of random. So anyway, we were in a battle down here. Uh, I ended up winning that battle. It was actually pretty tough. I lost a lot of troops, had to re revive them, didn't really get a lot of gold out of the fight. Uh, but what ended up happening is I probably should have started another stream, but I didn't want to, you know, anyway, all this technical stuff. But make sure to look around in here. There was a lot of treasures and hidden things. I actually found this helmet I'm now wearing, that, which I'll show you. Uh, but within the dialogue, as you're brought back to over here to talk to this guy. So that's where we're at now. Actually, this lady, I believe. So let's see. I think it's her. It doesn't really tell you. So sometimes these quest markers are a little busted. Here we go. We're gonna be we're gonna be looking through. We're gonna be talking here. Um, I'm probably gonna swing back. Uh, I'm probably gonna come back here, talk to this guy here, and then head back over this way and check it out. So that's what we'll be doing today, depending on how much time I have to to do that. But I did want to finish up this for you in case you you know you got left hanging on that last one. But yes, I did win that battle. It was pretty epic. Here we go. I'm investigating a case of treason. A regular of yours, Knight Farad, lost a large sum at the table recently. To whom? People win and lose at my parlor every day. I don't remember the details, and I don't care to. Then perhaps you might know who a certain Mr. D is. He wrote this letter. That's who Farad played with. All right, then. Let's read it. 
My wayward friend. A most unfortunate concatenation of circumstances. I only know one man who uses such ornate language. Armand Dupont. Dupont? Baron Dupont, of course. He's so well-bred, so noble, so wealthy. A philanthropist and a patron of the arts. That's the Baron. Any lady with an ounce of blood in her veins secretly wants to be his wife. Or, failing that, his mistress. Where exactly can I find this spoiled child of fortune? I need to disengage him from the arts and lady admirers, and likely arrest him as well. Is that so? Keep in mind, then, that laying your hands on him won't be easy. Armand is more than just a well-bred man from a noble family. The nobles respect his manners, and the officials love his generosity. The peasants enjoy his theater. Have you heard of his theater? It's just like an ancient Antis. You'll have a hard time bringing a man like Armand to justice. There's no question of walking up to Dupont and arresting him. The estate is heavily guarded. We'll see. Thanks for the tip, Madame de Guienne. Hey, what's up, Leo Plays? I just got a trophy for that one. Law abiding side with Horace during a corrupted guard's quest. Uh, depending on how these trophies go, you may have to run these quests twice. So do make sure to uh, have backup saves so that you can go back to that if you're trying to swoop the platinum in, in fewer runs. Uh, this may prevent you from having to do another full run. Um, and you're playing the Lost Levels, man. Those are cool. Those are tough, man. I haven't played those since back in the day on the uh, Super Nintendo Mario All-Stars version. And that's the only way I've played them. I believe is the Lost Levels are Mario 2 in, uh, if you get it on Famicom, right? Kind of throws the whole larder off. But yeah, man, we're just chilling. Drinking our morning cup. Cup of tea, cup of joe, whatever you want to have. Monster, Rockstar, Bang... Any of that. Oh, so I need to go talk to this guy. Find allies. See, I wish it would. I wish I could switch it to the quest right here. But yeah, whatever you're into. Uh, I have to actually go track down that pig. But it keeps switching off my. I do need to find that miss. Maybe I will. I'm gonna try to find that missing pig. I think it's actually where I wanted to go. Where the hell is this thing at? I guess I don't need the quest marker up, but I do like to have it up so that I can. Oh. Okay, so... I need to find this one. With order or anarchy? So let's see which one does what. Okay, I guess it's a two-parter, so... Alright, here we go. Ah, shoot, I'm spilling my coffee all over the place. Dang it. Hey, Dizay, what's up, man? You're here with Mr. C, buddy? Oh, man, where am I going? Easy is, uh, I went the wrong way. Easy's still sleeping, sleeping, I think, or, or doing something, he said, doing some chores or something. <laughs> this is a different one, but, yeah, there are some, there are some glitches in this game for sure. How the hell do I get in there is the question. I have not seen that yet. Oh man, this is going to be annoying to try to find this place. The fuck? Is it like on the other side? Did I like walk around the whole darn thing? Hmm. You would think it would be through here. But it is not. So maybe I have to go all the way this way and come swinging through here. 
And so better yet, how do I get here? Ah. That's not it. How the hell do I zoom in? Ah, here we go. Man, I don't even know how to begin to get in any of these places. Maybe this way, if it lets me in. Alright, that one seems... That's not the right way to go to that one. Hmm. This one says it's closer. We'll see about that. Pretty sure I'm ready to go for my next fight. I, I'm pretty sure I uh, got all my troops. Let me make sure. Yeah, ready to pote. Hey, you. Hey, you. How you doing this morning, Dizay? to inform you. Baroness Gilda is displeased with her daughter-in-law. Don't forget Oh man. Her I hate paying money. This could be buying games and swag. <laughs> or perhaps a gift for a gift in the style of your mentor, Aranox. Silence, fools. I have forbidden the utterance of his name. And his style is outdated. Remember that. Yes, but but nothing. He who taught me is dead, and his cause died with him. He served blood and blade, not the wisdom of the darkness. He betrayed our teachings and almost sold us out. Do not speak his name again, ever. As you wish, master. Hardcore, right? As you wish, master. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get that to be my title, master of everything, or you know, something like that. I wouldn't mind being called master now. <laughs> I questioned Farad. He was acting on the orders of Baron Dupont. Not surprising. We knew of Farad's extensive debts. While you were away, we made to question Dupont ourselves. But the young man proved more cunning than we expected. He escaped Marcella ahead of us. He was accompanied by an infamous mercenary order, the Grey Knights. They will be guarding Ooh, I like it. Master of the sword. Yeah, man. That's pretty good. You can hardly afford this contract. I used to, I don't intend I used to work with a guy who called me Sir Charles. That was pretty funny. Ah, yes. <laughs> Miss that guy. Questioning. That will be Mr. Hubbard. But I believe I can offer you a deal. My best student, the Iron Mask, is currently working in the Mage's Tower. His assignment is a rather delicate one. We need to make the mages spill their secrets. They're hiding something from us. All the mana spent, the noise. Something suspicious is afoot. We need the assistance of someone the mages don't know personally, such as yourself. Help the Iron Mask complete his little assignment, and we'll help you deal with DuPont as a token of our appreciation. Agreed? Stealing? Stealing? What's up, EZ? I'll ask for help. You're damn right, dude. Got that coffee gun. I just spilt it everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna freaking clean it up. Did you ever message me? No. Okay. Alright. Well, yeah, I was gonna see if you want to do scrolls, but I started playing this. What's that mark? Talk to the Iron Mask. Let's see where that's at. I know, right? I really want to play Mario 3, dude. I want to play and beat Mario 3, but on I almost maybe should do it on All Stars so I can save because I don't want to warp. I want to beat it without warping, so maybe I could do like two streams. Play through it because I don't even if you're speed running it, it could take you a while to get through that whole game. And I am not uh, I'm way too rusty to try to speed run it. So why did it switch my quest? Confer with Horus, I guess this maybe is another question one. Yeah, 
Yeah, so four hours Leo plays. So yeah, that would be a, probably a good way to break up two streams then because, you know, four hours is, I would, I could do it, no problem, you know, with a few breaks or whatnot, but it just getting that block to be able to stream it would be tough. I, I was also planning on playing through Super Mario World, but then they, they freaking shut us down because I was going to play through the whole game and I have the complete, it's a... Uh, it's like the anime, the cartoon, uh, Saturday morning cartoon Mario World from back when I have the whole like first season or whatever. I might even have the whole collection of it. I was gonna beat the game and pair it with that, and you know do like a Saturday morning cartoon with that. But they just won't let us do that stuff anymore. So unfortunately, that project got sidelined for now. Mario World is definitely my favorite. I'm confused as hell as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Dude, Leo has some lofty goals, man. Really, like, impressive what he wants to get done. Reminds me of the way I used to think. <laughs> I'm going to beat every game in the world. I do not know how to get in here. And I don't want to waste my time going over there and trying to figure it out. But the other one wanted me to come way over here, so maybe I just skip that for now. I'll try to dink around finding that later. I'm going to warp back to down here and go talk to this guy, Cleaver. Let us go talk to Cleaver and find the missing pig. That's what we're going to do. Yes, here we are. Wonderful. Nice day for a Saturday stroll. I'm going to go re-up re -up my drink. Yeah, it's really sad, man. I feel like... <laughs> actually, it's funny. I've probably told this story before, but uh, when I when we were growing up in school and some people were like, oh, look at this video, you know, most likely it was on YouTube. It would be some kind of, like, jackass video, you know what I mean? That's what I thought YouTube was, was, like, home versions of jackass videos, basically, and then it kind of grew from there. And... Uh, it's just silly, like what it's you know what it's kind of turning into. It's like public access that's no longer public access. It's a public access channel where you better have a major development studio behind you so that your stuff is like full HD with like everything done professionally and all this stuff. Or <laughs> you're done, son. Man, me and Easy started out with a freaking tablet, dude. Recording with a tablet. And going from there, so, you know, here we are now. <laughs> Still trying to shut us down. We got a couple more days before the axe comes down, so we'll, we'll really see what goes, what happens. I think we have till the 8th, and we'll see what they decide our fate. The fate of Brothers Forge Gaming hangs in the balance. Have you come for Malena? Really? When I saw her tied up, let's just say it made me keenly aware of my own captivity. You look free as a magpie to me. Oh, you're as simple as Cleaver. He also thinks imprisoning someone is simply a matter of tying them up. Well, two simpletons are bound to see eye to eye. But remember, Marlena isn't the only one who's lost her freedom. Do you have anything else to say other than hurling insults? If I regain my freedom, I'll be able to do many things. For you, for me, for Marlena too. But I cannot succeed alone. I must deliver Bludgeon's rendezvous invitation. Everything has been prepared at the Bandit Sanctuary. Food, beverages, a warm velvety blanket. I warned everyone to stay away. But delivering the invitation to the only one I hold in awe and dread, I fear that is beyond me. Now I understand you even less. Who is it that frightens you so? Madame de Guen. She has a salon in Marcella. Do you know it? My dad and his dad before him used this path. So do I. <laughs> yeah, dude, everything with the roller. Oh, man, I missed all that because I went to uh, get some coffee. I know, dude, when is that next game trap? I want to see some light gun, dude. That was awesome, Dizzy. Have you seen Did you want something? Where's this Cleaver guy? Are you Cleaver? No, you're Bolt. Do I have junk to sell you? I don't. I'm all... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what we did too. I didn't even have a camera, it was a tablet camera. <laughs> I 
and I had an old digital camera that I used that could record like 15 minutes at a time, dude. It was crazy. Cleaver, right? You and I need to talk. You're a brave one to come traipsing in here. What do you want? Let the girl go at once, or the trouble you're looking for will find you. Trouble, huh? How so? That's just the kind of person I am. Wherever I go, trouble's not far behind. Huh. I see you mean business, not like that milksop brand. Come then, show me what you're made of. Why do you shrink away? Come to me and we'll settle this. Scared, are you? <laughs> Ooh, I think this guy's calling me out. What are you, chicken? Dude, okay, so I like I like Thursday because it was something I wanted to do for a while. It was Throwback Thursdays or, or something like that uh, for retro. And then Tuesdays, yeah, that, so you could pretty much do it either way. But Throwback Thursday seems to, to rhyme a little better. But, yeah, either way, man. Tuesday, Thursday, it's all good. But you got to think NFL season's coming up, man. Uh, Thursday night football, brother. I don't know. I don't know. How dare this fool call me out as his slightly weaker enemy decides to attack me. Let's see, I have Spearman. I'm thinking about trading out my healers, but they are ranged as well, and they do magical attacks. And it's almost like it's good to have these guys so that people try to come kill them. You draw them in. I almost don't know if my eagles are going to be good, but I am trying to, to level them up, so I'm using them in weaker fights. This guy's already full right here. Yeah, dude, I know Monday Classics, you might have to try to start doing that like two so you can be be done by Monday Night Football. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, Monday Night Football. Fight! No, oh no, they didn't kill one. I need to get them healed. This dive bomb is super cool because I can fly in and hit. It does area of effect, so I'll wait with them and try to get them a heal. No. Let me check this out here real quick, sorry. I'm trying to see what's happening. I hate this attack and withdraw, but they didn't. So it said they did, and then they didn't. So these guys are almost dead as well. So, Dizzy, is Gamecraft the one you do where you try to not be, like, um, using bad language and stuff and try to keep it more chill? Because I don't want to, like, you know, bomb your stream and start <laughs> wrecking what you got going on, man. I just get so excited. But, yeah, retro retro without Gamecraft, if that's if that's what you're saying, uh, would be cool because then, you know, we could get, like, cut, cut loose and get high. <laughs> I'm going to get you high today. All right, let's see here. She's stealing boxes fault, Craig. I might not have to this season. Oh, yeah. I know. I, I have been watching it on, like, um, I got an antenna, dude, so I can catch most of the stuff. Monday Night Football's a little tricky. I got to watch it on the phone, but... 
um, because you can watch it for free or whatever if you have the app. Dizzy, I miss, I miss what your comment got cut off, man, and it's not showing up in the chat for some reason. He said something about Game Trap is not, it's, it's more just whatever, than uh, trying to keep it, trying to keep it PG-13. Keep it above the shirt, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Quads for a thousand, Alex. Is that what you're telling me? Wait, I can attack these guys now? No way. That's legit. He can bomb in there and then attack. Those guys are badass. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I want to see some night trap on that thing then, and some chilla. What's the other like more adult one? Um, there's a couple of them on like Sega CD, I think. What, do I get to attack again? No, on defense. These guys are boss. Oh, I got my camera screwed up. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to zoom in and figure it out. Man, it's kind of making me dizzy right now. <laughs> making me dizzy. What's up, dizzy? Should I go in and finish this guy off, or should I go after these wolves? Yeah, I should go off. Single cover. Single cover. Are you not entertained? Additional turn, that's what's up. Oh, dude, break in the Playboy Mansion game. It was... I, I, I got it. I think you have it too, but I was like playing it. I was like, man, I thought you could get like all these nudes or whatever. You have to like take them up to the room and do a photo shoot to get it to where you want it to be. But you can still, if you wanted to keep it, you know, PG-13, you could just do the, just walk around the mansion and stuff. We're just disgusting old perverts, I guess. I don't even, yeah, the guy game, that one you might get in trouble with though, man, because this isn't the reason they pulled that game off because there was a minor on there, so that one you might want to be real careful with. Round two, fight. Killing these guys? Nice. Slightly weaker. These guys are much weaker. I can fly them out of here so they don't get attacked. Or defend. Wait, can those guys <laughs> do what I want? <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, it's America, right?
Let's see here. Oh wow, additional turn. Scrum diddly umptious. Can I attack him from right here? Ooh. Dude, yeah, let's just check that out on the game trap. Who's even attacking right now? A griffin? Die, you bastard deserter. Get him. What's up? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. We're back at it. King's Bounty 2. Now, the broadcast got cut off. I've been talking about this. We've been having problems. I don't know if it's to do with the music. So I did turn the music down a bit. Hopefully that will help out. If not, I might have to turn it off altogether. Um, I do have some disputes out there, so hopefully we can continue to enjoy this game as it's meant to be enjoyed and play it with all its excellent beauty that was designed into the game. But anyhow, what happened last time? It went and cut off. I was fighting a uh, battle right here against uh, Cutter or whatever the hell his name was. <laughs> Catcher, cutter. Anyway, what ended up happening, yes, I won the battle. Yes, I leveled up. Yes, it was amazing. But what ended up happening is we found this letter right here. Was this the letter? I think it was. Anyway, let's examine it and see where it takes us. Honestly, I don't think that's what it was. I think it was a romantic letter. <laughs> so maybe it's gone because I logged out. I don't know. Maybe this is what it was. Anyhow, that did nothing for us. She won't even talk to me again. She said something about doing something. Well, anyway, that's a bust. So I was really hoping to show you guys that, but it, <laughs> it, it did not work. So we're going to go over here, find the missing pig, and then we're going to go find the treasure. That's what we're doing this morning, assuming it doesn't cut us off. So let's hope that happens. Oh, I need to switch that to probably something in here. If these are done, why are they still in there? Maybe this quest line is still open. Oh yeah, so that's way over there. So that's one of the main quest lines there. There we go. Let's go get this one. All right, have at you. Yeah, hope you guys are doing well, having a great morning. I'm just here enjoying my cup of joe. Still trying to wake up. I have no idea, it'd be interesting to find out why they call it a cup of joe. Maybe joe was a coffee maker guy that was popular. The bunny. Some birds, some squirrels. You know, you've heard it called many things. Espresso. I have no idea how to get over here. I would like to find that. Maybe I have to veer off over here somewhere. But the quest at hand is this one. So we're going to go there. Right after I warp to Lumberjack Village. Anyhow, yeah, it'd be interesting to, to figure that out. Espresso, you know, you've heard it called the bean. And <laughs> wink, wink. Um... All sorts of other fun names. And who showed those archaeologists the way? Was it Meller? Who else? They refused to give us a job. Yeah, we're just going to be doing it. If you guys want to drop by, chat it up, let me know. I have chat up on the screen. Uh, I had something out here to watch it on, but I think my daughter stole it. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to use the phone to check chat. So uh, do let me know what's going on. I'll uh, have it up on the screen, but it doesn't always pop up there. So welcome all. I hope you're having a great morning. We're back at the King's Bounty, doing it to it. You know how we like to do. I thought they were hiding treasure right there. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing that. Hope you guys have been enjoying the story. Make sure to go back and watch all the playthrough if you uh, 
like this kind of thing. We've, we've started from the very beginning and we're going to be going, well, as long as it'll let us go. If it, it Actually, if it keeps dropping my streams, it's going to get really frustrating and I, I may stop playing it for a while at least until, you know, we can figure something out in terms of the claim going through. Because I think once I get uh, one dispute in, it actually helps me moving forward with the, them not claiming my stuff. But we'll see. Uh, I also heard there's another uh, Games Workshop is another people that have been making outrageous claims. So if you're playing any of the Warhammer games and look out, they might be coming for your content. Uh, maybe think about that. And uh, when you think about your purchases and moving forward, maybe look into that or, or think about it. it's a very it's a distinct possibility here. And too bad that they will uh, be taking your content. But here we go. Let's evolve the story. Let's get in some battles. We're going to go for as long as we can go here. Right on. Kick ass. And you know the drill. We're Brothers Ford Gaming. And if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Dang, these guys look really tough. Let's take a look. They're all trolls. These are stone skin trolls and two stone two stone skin trolls and two regular trolls. I guess they kinda look like trolls. They look more like golems if you ask me. Let's take a look at their power. They got twenty five percent defense. Tons of health. Holy crap. Wow, plus two armor. They heal 20% of their health. Most of health to the last member in the unit. Ah. Wow. Hmm. I almost wonder if I need to bring more range to this fight. It says equal enemy. Maybe I should bring some more... Uh, Maybe I should bring some more range to this fight. I'm going to ditch the one eagle I can bring for now because he just doesn't seem as useful in this fight. Let's see here. I could bring my heavy crossbow. Actually might be able to go get more of these guys. I could bring one more. One more does make a big difference, but we'll just go with this for now. See what it says about it. Huh. So maybe the, the crossbowmen don't do a lot of damage to them. Well, that is darn interesting. So yeah, I think it ranks it based on your level, though, so I don't really understand if that's something that, you know, is beneficial, but I guess that's as good as I have. I wonder if it'll let me bring two parties of these in here. It will not. Let's see, oh, I guess they do have a lot of life. A lot of life. Look at these guys. Man, I wish I could buy more knights. I wonder how many I can hold. I can hold four. Man. Alright, well, I wonder about what it would say about bringing these guys, because they can cast, but they might only get like one cast out there. Let's see. Might be all the casting I need, though. Let's see what they say about that. So I guess my eagles are my best bet. I'll go with that. Or my griffins, sorry. A Gryffindorf. If I knew where to buy more knights, I would. We'll see how this goes. Could be rough. Equal enemy. Might have to use some magic. Alright. 
may need to take out the... Actually, did all of them have that? Yeah, so they heal. They all heal the 20%, which is really irritating. Might be able to kind of peel around over here. Kind of force them to come that way. Alright, well they definitely made that sound a little harder than it was. Those guys look tougher than they are. It's possible because my warfare is so strong that I can just wreck people. I don't know. But they did some work right there. Wow. The only good troll is a dead troll.
these guys could be useful. I'm gonna save my money for now and not buy those trolls, even though I mean they look pretty strong. I may need to come back and find them at some point to use in a uh, battle. We saw some treasure. That's cool. You can see what the item, the treasure is that was helpful in locating whatever that item, the pouch of gold was. Alright, well we're going to take this pig back to its rightful owner. Because that just seems like the proper thing to do. Well, this quest is really confusing, so this weird. This is the anarchist choice to do, but this, uh, let's see what he says. 
Yeah, this will help me out. What do you want? Uh, We've met you. before, you know. Ah, right. This old head is worse than a sieve with a hole in it. The thoughts just seem to slip right through. <laughs> yes, that seems to be a fair assessment. Rocha says he bought your pig fair and square, but you forgot about it. Me? Sell Daisy? How dare he? But let me think a moment. I'm starting to recall. I wondered where I got that pig from. What's up, Dizzy? Oh, no. Trying to figure out if I should I'm give this pig to old. this guy who Very doesn't right. remember anything. We're done here. Hey, come back. What if I did sell Daisy to that roaches feller? So what? He'll be fine without her, but I won't. Please bring Daisy back to me. She's my own. I don't know. What do you think, Dizzy? This guy sold the pig. And he claimed this guy over here stole it. This guy said that he bought it fair and square. And... Uh, pastry's in sight. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to give it to this guy. Because that's the dutiful thing to do. What do you think? Should I give the pig back to the old man, even though he sold it? Or give it to this dude right here? I don't think he has a receipt. I found your pig. Here you go. Yeah, you took my word over that of a madman. Why, thank you. I have little coin to spend on rewards, but we've had a good catch recently. Perhaps you can put this to use. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were saying to give it to this guy. He probably did need it more. And now I feel bad. I just got some stuff, though. Some items. Let's see here. You get this ring right here? No. Hmm. <laughs> I think I only I got some scrolls or something. I don't even know if I got anything cool. I got this gear here, but I don't think it's as good. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well. Well, we got the pig back. There he is. Or there she is. Daisy. That's what I was thinking, because he already sold her before. That's fucked up. Like, you gotta, you know, you gotta love your pig. Oh, look how sweet she is. A little suey. You know. Got her high heels on, and she's ready to go to the ball. Alright. What next? Uh-oh. This lady has a quest for me now. Never, they never let me leave. I regret now how I treated you and Brand. I was far too rash. All I think about now is how to get him back. Ulagi, take me. What would you want with that pudding of a man? I want to be a married woman and earn my father's respect. The respect of others. Who else would take me as a wife now? But Brand is so weak-minded. I've been thinking and thinking why Cleaver would want him. It turns out Brand is almost a mage. What? That drunkard? Imagine it. The bandit said he could predict the future or some such. It's like a spirit takes over his body and gives him all kinds of hints. It gives me chills just thinking about it. Brand told me himself that I thought he was talking nonsense. He said he had friends among the mages at the tower. Well, he doesn't fit the part at all. Perhaps. And yet... If only it were possible to capture a brave spirit and, and use it to imbue Bran. He'd make such a good man. I'm sure of it. He mentioned an old mage friend of his. Yeah, I don't know about all this oh, nonsense. The mages know all about spirits and things. Eileen's happiness. Not really too sure I'm caring about that too much right now. Alright, let's go see if we can find this treasure.
Oh, okay, so all this was for a book, but I got a ton of treasure in here also, which is noise. Let's roll. I'm gonna go back to the town and we'll see where we're gonna go after that. Let's stick around, see what this quest does. It's one of the earliest ones I think I had. It might have been beneficial to come here first. Right back to that. So we unlocked some stone skin and regular trolls. If we wanted to bring those in our army, they seem pretty strong. And was able to do that quest. So not a bad, not a bad start. And I think we're going strong still. Let me check. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, wow. We'll see what other kind of quests, <laughs> questing we can do. I really want to find the entrance to that uh, crypt because I do enjoy delving into dungeons. Oh wait, this way. This is the book of miners' tales you lost. It fell under a wheel on the road. Elihu's blessings, yes. This is it. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to repay you. You can thank me later, if the opportunity arises. I will tell my children of your kindness one day. If I ever have them. Useless. Useless. Got nothing for that. It was some XP, which is nice, but... And there was a bunch of treasure. Yeah, pretty much, dude, but she said she'd uh, thank me later, if you know what I'm saying. Let's see here. Where to go now? I kind of want to go find this right here. Uh, so maybe let's go dink around and see if we can find the entrance to the abandoned catacombs. That sounds pretty awesome. What are you doing today, Mr. Easy? How awesome was that uh, loaded and reloaded? I didn't get a chance to check out uh, Reloaded, man. Was it was it just as good? Or is it better? Was it worse? We're going to hit this one on foot because you never know what we're going to find. The horse might be flying through too much. Look at that, man. Is that picturesque? There's something I just really like. I mean, I get it, living... You got loaded and reloaded several times. <laughs> There's sort of something about living in a village or something like this, but, you know, I get it. Like, back in this time, stuff. Like, there was no modern conveniences. I get it, but just, this seems so nice. I wouldn't mind vacationing here for a little bit, as long as I could bring my Game & Watch and my, uh... You know, my NES Mini and stuff, and there was HD and TVs and all that. We'd be good. Oh, man. And the hell am I supposed to get across here? So, I can't go over here unless... Could I have come in here and found a secret entrance? That'd be interesting to find out. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can go this way. Have you seen the way Bonnie looks at Marlene? Oh, really? Sometimes that happens, especially if their budget runs out and they get canceled or whatever. Um, the hell are you supposed to pick this way to go? I'd have to go around, so maybe I have to go around this way. Since I'm here, I'll check it out because I swear I've already been over here. So why don't I go this way? Oh wait, I don't think I'll be able to go this way. The hell do they want me to get in there? Might have to fix this bridge maybe to get over here. Oh, we'll go check it out. We'll go see if this leads into here. That almost looks like a path. So we'll check that out. 
But yeah, a lot of time if, uh, you know, towards the end of a cycle or whatever it is, games get cut. Like there's, man, there's so many. There's two wrestling games that I've seen now that we should have got on 64 that we just didn't get because of stupid shit. And they looked amazing. Ah, uh, well that's a buggery. Huh. Yeah, dude. Okay, so we're gonna drive down in this canyon. Although, what the hell? I thought I walked back here before. Oh, uh, maybe they wouldn't let me come back here before. That could be very possible. Upper fields. Yeah, there was one, um... It was like Backlash, and there's another one I saw called like Invasion or something. There's two, two now uh, that I've seen, unless the other one's a troll. I mean, there's uh, there's actually fans working on the game trying to, to make it, but they're basically just updating the roster from the No Mercy version and maybe doing some other tweaks like that, which is pretty cool, but... It's no nude game by those same original awesome developers. What the fuck is that? Man, an ancient bear. That sounds cool. Equal enemy, I guess we'll... Wait. What system is that on, Evan? And they can get there. The wolves can get me here. Stinking walls, I can go so far. Don't want to leave. Yeah. I heard something about that too, Dizzy, with the golden eye. That would be pretty cool to check those out. Shoot, they don't have that. I'm honestly surprised to hear that that's not a thing, Dizzy. I figured Switch was pulling all that stuff to to them, but uh, maybe not.
See, that's kind of one thing that always drove me crazy about Nintendo is that um, every time a new system comes out, they want you to rebuy all the games. You know what I mean? Like, I guess they have backwards compatibility on some of them, which is nice, like the Wii, right? And then if you have, like, the Game Boy Player and stuff, you can you can open up your library that way. But it's like, I like it. I think that's great, especially for people who don't have that stuff. You know, that's awesome. They bring it to that. But it just, like, drove me crazy just every time, like, something came out. They're like, I'll buy these games again so you can play them on my new thing. And you're like, no, I don't want to keep buying the same game. <laughs> you bastards. They should have a way to have it be free if you own the physical copy. You can, like, scan it or something. I don't know. Or be much cheaper. I always thought that would be neat. Damn, they got me with a critical. Fuckers. I did not want to lose a flaming eagle right there, but this guy's pretty strong, so that was a decent trade-off, but not the best. Not happy about that. Normally I don't like to move out of those control zones, but I don't want that ancient bear to go crazy on my flaming eagles. And those wolves are pretty much done city, so. Yeah, so that worked out pretty good. I, I screwed up, I lost a couple of my flaming eagles. I wasn't expecting a critical. Got me. What is up? Good morning. Welcome. You're here with the Brothers of Forge Gaming, and we're playing King's Bounty 2. You know what's up by now. Uh, so last time we were fighting right here, the, the stream cut out again. So what's happening to our determination is that there's a new balance and checks process that happens when you're streaming on YouTube. Uh, whether it's from PlayStation, computer, whatever it is you're doing, the way that it checks your what you're doing to see if it's violating any rights or whatever is it essentially it stops your stream to do that and what it's doing is it's it's just constantly stopping our streams so if there's any music or images or anything that they find in the games that they think could be copyrighted if some algorithm's picking it up it's causing us all sorts of problems so not sure if that's helping into anybody else um, but what I've had to do now is turn down the music of this game so there will be no music unfortunately um, which is one of the nice parts about this game, especially because there's not a lot of noise in between the fighting, the talking, and stuff. There's there's good ambience, ambience, but you know if I'm not you know talking myself, uh, the game's pretty quiet. So unfortunately, that might really kind of detract from the experience of the game. I know well, for me, the the music's a big part of the game for me, and not being able to like listen to it, at least to hear it, it just ramps up those fights and does different things. So uh, this might be one of the last streams I do for King's Bounty for a while, till they can kind of figure that out. Um, I don't mind if they're, like, claiming things and then I can trim it out and stuff, but the fact that it's stopping my streams, I may need to move to just doing recordings of this. So maybe what I'll end up doing is offline recordings, and I know that's not as interactive 
But that's where we're probably going to have to go. Uh, anyway, what was happening last mission is that we were coming in here. We did a fight. I think we're going to be able to creep in here. If you look, it looks like there's almost a trail right here, right? So hopefully that's true. Because this, this part was locked previously. We had to um, do the mission in this town. And I think it unlocked this. I, I'm not 100% certain, but... There's like this little town right here, and I thought I, I tried to go through here. I'd have to go back and check the footage, but I was pretty sure you couldn't go through here until we completed this mission that involved <laughs> many missions, but it was basically getting food to this town, which took probably a good portion of the game that we played so far. Anyhow, so we came in here, and I'm going to look for treasure now. And as I said, I'm sorry, guys, I had to turn off the music. Uh, this is just a real big problem with... Uh... Right, let's see here. It's just becoming a real big problem with streaming on YouTube. I don't know if it's like that on Twitch or any other streaming platforms. Uh, we do Twitch every now and again, but it's just one of those platforms for us that just hasn't really been very... Um, it's just not really for us because it's all more about doing super chats and having apps and doing all these different things that we're not that we're not really into doing. You know, it's we're we're not really here to like... You know, we are here to entertain you, if you will, but we're also not here to just like baby you and, and spoon feed you and stuff so uh you know if that's the stuff you're looking for on twitch oh it is the secret path that way um we're not really into that you know giving you presents for making comments and shit like that like if you want to comment comment you know what i mean we don't you don't need to be rewarded for uh whatever it is <laughs> this is silly to me i mean it's cool right but it's just not us so that's you know if that's what you're into that's great but that, like i'm saying that's not really that's not really our speed here at Brother Ford Gaming. We're just here to game and enjoy that with anyone who wants to do the similar thing, which is enjoy gaming, whatever, chat, bullshit, stop by, uh, whatever you want to do. You know, keep it uh, respectful and we're all good. Anyhow, uh, not sure what we'll be streaming next. I know EZ is going to be, see, there's a treasure right there. I believe Easy is going to be doing Monday Night Classics with a special guest star tonight. Ketchup, our buddy Ketchup from uh, Twitch. <laughs> Just talking about Twitch. Anyhow, <laughs> nothing, no, nothing uh, to it. Where? Oh, man, look at that glitch right there. What's this damn treasure? Oh, it could be a tricky bag of gold. Cache. Ah. Anyhow, I have been really enjoying this game. I'm sad to, to not really be able to stream it the way I want to stream it. Due to some BS. Due to the old BS. Again, so that one should be over here if there's any treasure. That is not the quest I'm looking for. That's another thing that's annoying is once you complete a quest, it kind of throws off your whole quest mark you had going on. Oh, nice. I better go get this. This is usually power or experience or something like that. Nice. 60 leadership. That was probably pretty big. Let's see what that gave me. Yeah, I can actually carry one more flaming eagle and another eagle. Yeah, I'm going to have to go uh, back and up my troops. Maybe we can find a warp stone in here somewhere. Let's see what that entails. Ha ha ha! Tried to trick me. Yeah, look at all that good stuff. Anyhow. Hope you guys are having a good morning. We're just here gaming, enjoying, getting woke in up. Woke up? Drinking our morning cup of joe, all that good stuff. I'm sure Easy's out there doing the same, wherever he may be. Don't say his name three times or he'll appear. You know how that works. So apparently the new Candyman movie is, is all the rage. Uh, originally it was one of those horror movies coming out that there were so many good horror movies coming out in that era in the 80s and 90s uh, uh, that was just like cheesy horror movies. I always thought Candyman was, was you know, one, it was okay, but it was not one of the greatest ones there was. And uh, <laughs> it was just silly, right? Um, 
but it, apparently the new one, the remake, is supposed to be good. Um, I haven't really seen outside of the stuff that the guys at the like that make Insidious and those ones that studios doing uh, mainstream, I should say. Anyway, there's obviously some good stuff that's that's not mainstream, but really haven't been seeing too much horror that uh, I was impressed with. Apparently, Quiet Place and some of those other ones where you can, you know you can't talk or you can't go in the dark or whatever those ones are. Those were pretty popular. I watched them. wasn't wasn't yeah, it was all right. I liked Saw. Saw was a good one. That was one of the better recent ones. And then of course Insidious, Sinister, uh, Conjuring. Those are all pretty good in the horror franchise. I saw that they tried to remake. Well, not even remake, but they tried to revive kind of the campy '80s slasher flick thing with that Fear Street on Netflix, the original series. Which is alright, but um, it's, I guess they're not really gearing that for the audience that grew up watching it. They're trying to kind of get a new audience to watch it based on nostalgia, this is, which is weird because if you didn't grow up with it, you wouldn't really have nostalgia for it, I guess. Unless it reminded you of your, I guess, like your dad or something. <laughs> but, uh, Secret Passage. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Death awaits you in the laboratory. First time I've seen a specter playing guard dog. Who might you be? My name is Lograss. For centuries I have awaited a living human. Someone with the courage to speak to me. Are you guarding the entrance? Chasing away unwanted visitors. Carrying out the Archmage's will. You didn't run away. You're talking to me. Now you are a guest. Welcome. I will be your guide. That's weird, it almost seemed like it gave me a different quest, but maybe it's the same. There we go. That gold trimmed belt and plate. The bell hurt me. This way. Oh. It's starting. Well, even I did it. <laughs> but yeah, our uh, buddy Punch Out FPV was asking what this L was if it removed my helmet, but that's what it does right there, buddy. It just kind of shows you who's in your army and who could be in your army to make you kind of see if you need to go get some more troops. Because your uh, the amount of guys you can have is based on your leadership. So if you have weak leadership, uh, I think so, man. It's PS4, but of course you can play it on PS5. I, I really don't know too much about Xbox or Switch, but I don't see why it wouldn't be. I don't believe it was an exclusive of any kind. Um, yeah, it's you know it's your basic strategy RPG kind of game. What I like about it is there's a lot of also this kind of stuff you're seeing here outside of the fighting, whereas in a game like Shining Force or Vandal Hearts or something like that, you know, you don't get as much of kind of the in-between as you would in a game like this. Um, but of course it's a remake, in a sense, the original EA game, 90s, classic New World Computing, you know, on Sega Genesis and PC back in the day, King Bounty. Did I read that one? Uh, it's been remade a few times over the years. This, of course, is not is like the spiritual successor, not like the original, but still pretty cool. Um, it's definitely been modernized in terms of, you know, your questing and doing those different things as aside from just purely fighting. So I like the blend of it. 
course, in the vein of like Heroes of Might and Magic, if you've ever played that on PC back in the day. A couple ports to Game Boy. I think the only consoleized version of the game ever was on Game Boy. Uh, there was supposed to be one for, I think, 3DO, which never got made, which is, which is a bummer. You are standing within the very laboratory where King Maximus. But yeah, the, the fighting would be more like Heroes of Might Magic Five. Learned. A laboratory. What was the nature of their research? A myriad of subjects. The secrets of the world. That's right. The boundaries between the living and the unliving. The arcana of matter and logoi. First and foremost, though, they studied those incredible creatures called. Chimeras. Ooh, chimeras. Are chimeras still about? Dude, this is all about alchemy I think down I've here. Heard you know about it. those beasts. No. Right? The most dangerous specimens are locked in the astral plane. I love old maps. They cannot escape. I could make you a scroll to summon the beasts from the astral plane, but first you'll have to help me. The details? The archmage stole my heart. He took my freedom from me, as well as my emotions. That's I've been up. tied to these catacombs ever since. Living You're fucking with my emotions, dead, Smokey. I cannot leave them. Find the Archmage's bedchambers. Oh, the stairs leading to them are to the right behind this door. Huh. The abandoned catacombs, see? I'm, yeah, dude, I saw you were playing Worms. Wait. I messaged you, but I wasn't sure if you were you were done for the day. What the fuck, dude? Oh. Nice. Give me that treasure. Uh -uh. I'll ride a star chart. Oh, is it one of the half off days? Oh yeah, it's Labor Day. I thought that you said they weren't doing those anymore. Oh, great it's advice. not so easy. I should think a bit harder. Yeah, I guess so. Ah. That's cool, man. I know we've been wanting to get down there to go by just to check it out. There's been a ton of yard sales this weekend, too, so that's just crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you're gonna do it that early? Well, found something. Oh, huh, there must be another valve somewhere, huh? Might have to come back here later. Unless I can take the valve again. Hmm. Yeah, I might, uh, uh, four. I might do something later. I'm gonna see about trying to get something set up. I just really don't know what to do, man. I, this whole thing is bumming me out that we, like, can't stream anything anymore, ever. We might just have to go back to making, um... We might just have to go back to making videos again, I guess. Doing it the hard way. That oh, there we are. Handy. I wonder if we can go further down here. Oh, no, I see you probably, yeah, you have to lift something up. That's neat. I didn't realize this part of it was going to be such a such like a puzzle solving part of the game. Oh uh, yeah, I know. Huh? It almost feels like vultury. All the people getting kicked out and shit. All right. So how do I do this? Okay, this it doesn't matter. It's clear. But what next? I hope nothing got broken. Yeah. Let's hope so too. Maybe this water beast wants to attack me. What is this? Oh, I see. I flooded it. So it's kind of cool that I did that first. Because I probably wouldn't have been able to get some of those items in there had I not gotten them first. Treasure. <laughs> I 
I don't know, man. Yeah, we have to... We just have to hope that something happens, but it, the problem is, is I think it's only really happening to, like, us. It's probably not happening to the people who, that if it was happening to, would make a difference. So it may be one of those things where we're just totally bent over for a while again, if we so choose to continue to <laughs> keep taking the pounding. Aha, uh -huh. always look behind things. There's treasure to be found. We go to the wrong spot. Oh man, what's this? Some kind of door trap. Here's the door to the Archmage's bedchambers. Sounds sexy. The Archmage sealed bed it with a lock. Come to my bedchambers. I can't tell you how to open it, but there should be a sign nearby with a hint. I promise nothing bad will happen in my bedchambers. Treasure. Extreme. What did I miss? Okay, so they basically could I have went this other way? Oh, okay. All these books. I thought it'd be so nice to have. I was watching this show and they had like the complete hardback series of Hardy Boys. You know, it'd be so cool to have some nice books like that on a cool bookshelf. Kind of like games or whatever. Can't open that. Not that I'm super into the Hardy Boys or anything. It just was cool to see all of the, the series. The complete collection of hardbound, leather-bound books. You know what I mean? It was nice. But I would love to have something like this for my games. Oh my gosh. Just a crypt of games. Could you imagine, bro? Just sick. Like, look at that nice-ass bookshelf. I got, like, chinsy-ass shit that I freaking found at, say, like, super sales and closings and stuff. I actually want to uh, do some improvements, and I wasn't sure. I didn't want to do too many improvements because I wasn't sure, you know, how long we'd be here and all that different stuff, so... with the way things are going now we'll probably be here forever <laughs> so it won't matter but i get everything might just have to make everything permanent to be honest man the summers here are killing me where would uh where would you and obs move if you could oh, i'm going the wrong way we were thinking oregon for a while and then it's pretty, you know, much the same there at the cities we could afford to live in. But I know there's a lot of good, uh, good groups up there. I feel like we're so, like, on an island here in the part of California we're in. Okay, so look at those over there. That's probably the order you step in a man. Maybe this one. Right? To a haunted house in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, dude, and we don't have AC. I mean, you guys know the, you guys know the pain of a swamp. We've grown up with that. We, we po, you know, so, uh. I see the one, but can I get to it? Ugh. Perhaps I need to try another approach. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get to that one if. Another approach, huh? The haunted house in the middle. That was freaking scary, man. Uh, okay. No. That doesn't seem right. Right. So what? Uh, that's what I'm saying. The Oregon, you know, we know Joel and those guys up there, and then a little further is where like the mecca of the West Coast for the gamers are, where are those people we we won't talk about them. You know what happens when we even mention talking about them. It cuts off my stream. Extreme. Uh, that doesn't seem right. I know how to get there, but it won't let me not walk on it. 
Back to square one. Oh, I just haven't been stuck here. Huh? Wrong. Okay, well that's right. Okay, so maybe it's back and then to the left. So now it would be it's that S one, but oh, right. <laughs> so did that one, that one. So then you think it would be this one, but I can't get to that one. So. Would it be the S, which I can't get to, which is right next to that one? I mean, you think it would be like this, right? And then over there it's the S, and then the W, and then the A. Hey, well, who's got two? <laughs> What's the thing? This guy. Who's the most awesome guy that has two fingers pointed right at him? Hey, this guy. Is that how it goes? <laughs> Robert Loja. Anyway, yeah, fuck those guys. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> I actually did some digging into the into that one guy I was talking to you about, and uh, like I said, it's kind of a sad story in a lot of ways. But I guess it's it's easy to hate. You know what I mean? Easy to be a hater. I know I find myself guilty of that sometimes. But uh, you know. We're only human. Music for humans. This is pretty good. <laughs> How do I get in there? Is that the bed chamber? What the? F oh, okay. I gotta find a hidden. Yeah, there it was. Was this all the way back down in that other room? I bet it was. Wait, did I not get this? Huh. Very strange. A real garden. That's unexpected. Nice. Not really sure what he's talking about. I don't really see a garden, but maybe those flowers? Huh. Maybe not like a vegetable garden, but... Wait. I'm going down to the bedchamber, pray nothing bad happens to me. You know, like in my butt. Some butt touching. I guess I went the wrong way first. Logress said there hasn't been anyone here in a long time. Hmm. So where did these guys come from? Indeed. Apparently somebody sent me down here. Poker. <laughs> he needs some herbs. The bag man, dude. Then you owe me, owe me, oh. Hey, I smelt this treasure over here. Do you smell treasure? I smell the treasure. <laughs> Alright. You're a weirdo. What's going on here? With a bag of goo? Yeah, anyway, dude, we're thinking, like, Midwest, bro. You want to roll out to the Midwest? Seems like all the cool t cool YouTubers live out there. You know, I don't know where they live, but I just assume they all live in the Midwest, like Dan and Captain and the Tony and all them. Those other guys, you know, those guys that basically stole our identity. <laughs> But then are the complete opposite of what it is that they say they are. 
yeah, the you know I, you've met them. I'm sure they're they're just fantastic people, and I like just like to talk shit about them because I'm a jerk, I guess. Yeah. What's this? Huh? Maybe that if you're a mage, you get something else to open a door right here. Maybe. Did I read that one? I might have. See, that's a bug me. I, don't, I never remember if I rate read those. Wait. Oh, up here. Okay. Well, yeah, hopefully the uh, lack of music is not draining the experience for you too much. We can still hear the ambiance, uh, but, you know, I can't even tell if I'm hearing a bird or something else, which would be strange to be hearing a bird down here, but, uh, bird dogging. Okay, so we might need to remember this. First place the container in the oven. Cast a simple spell. Chadalakara. Huh. Final spell. No need to thank me. Hmm. Nice. Oh, that was the one that we saw. Goggles of Truth or something I can read. Oh, she's sure I did on button. Wonder how many times I've done that before. Right, now I gotta go down here. I'm assuming. Let's take a look at these awesome new items I just got. Gold ring, two percent health, leadership. Yeah, that'd be awesome, dude. We were thinking some places, but like a lot of those small town places we were thinking are like the hottest real estate markets in the United States right now. So critical hits, plus one more of the bandits. So this is pretty good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Armored boots, plus one armor. What do I got rolling around now? Oh, entry boots. Ah, crap. What the hell did I just do? Oh, I unequipped this sword right here. Which, I wish it would tell me if that much stronger that I man. I don't know who the Nostrian army is. I figured it was those other guys. True critical hit too low for that. The other one gives me so much leadership. Up. I'll have to check it out and see if it gives me enough leadership to get more troops next time I am buying them. Damn it all. That's pretty good. Two warfare, 20 leadership. But that other one's giving me... If the 20 leadership is doing nothing, I'm getting two more critical hit and then a 15% damage if I have the right people in place. I still don't have a necklace. That's good. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay, I guess I already have a night ring. Oh, this is just a gold ring. 50 leadership, 2% health. Plus one more. The power is always good. Okay, nothing fantastic, but let's get these boots going here. Leadership one armor reverse. Be nice if you could pair it, but I have all this junk. So the health is nice. Critical hit. I don't really think I'm a critical hit thing, so I'm getting plus one armor and plus twenty leadership, which I like, so you know. Anyhow, does that let me equip more people? It does not. But if I went ahead and put the night sword on. 
it does not yet. But maybe by my next level. So we'll keep an eye on that. See, I don't like that minus one speed there, especially with my birds. Maybe you get to a point where you can only hold so much troops, and it won't matter if you lose 300 leadership to get those resistances. But yeah, let's look at all my gear. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if those extra goggles were something I needed to use right now. Looks like they're just junk to sell. Where'd they go? Oh, here we are. Yes, just junk. Well, valuable item for sale. Alright. Do we actually have to go to the kitchen to bake something? Is that, what, is that what this guy was telling me? But where? I don't even remember if I read these yet. Well, I'm lost. I'm going to tell you that much. Let's see. What's it say? How do I get over here? Okay, so there are two different quests down here. One is finding the ancient treasure, and then it gets me sidetracked with this other one. Not actually sure if I can do anything here, but I do see the spot to, to do that. Obviously there's something going on with this, but I have no idea what it is. So, it may have something to do with being behind this door, which you could possibly assume has to do with this. But I have not seen anywhere to like bake anything like that thing was suggesting. I guess I'll go back this way. Maybe there's something back at the beginning I gotta do again. something. Oh no, that's how I, so that's how we got in. Not even sure if you can go over there. Do I have items in my inventory I'm supposed to combine? I can't really combine it, but I do have a cauldron. 
and chicken meat. So maybe there was a way to ki uh, cook something back there. But you got me. So I'm sitting there standing right next to the damn thing. I don't imagine it involves going back up there because I don't remember anything else up there. But I am still half asleep, so that could be it too. You would think maybe something through this door here, but that looks like the final door to some kind of boss fight. This is obviously something that's going on here. I can't attack it. I can't book of magic it. Clearly we need to go through there. click on anything here. I don't see any items. Could the quest be broken? Oh, maybe I have do have to go back up there. Is there ingredients to cook in there? I thought maybe there is. Alright, well that's going to be annoying. Sorry about that, guys. If you're watching this, maybe skip ahead a bit. And if you're watching it in the playback, because I am totally lost. It would seem back is the only way forward at this point, if not... Maybe I'll get out of here and I'll come back and try to figure this out another time. We do have some other... I have a little bit more time and there's some other uh, other stuff I could do in this map, I believe. Well, that's a real bugger. I'm not really too sure what to do there. I feel like I've done everything there is to do and it's either glitching or uh, I just didn't do something. Let's go check up here again. It would be kind of irritating if they make you walk back and forth like this to begin with. But let's hope that's not the case. Which it might be. <sighs> not here. Of course Nevedes isn't here. Did you expect him to be sitting around waiting for you? The heart's not here. My heart is not here. I would feel sorrow now were I capable, but I cannot. At least I'm thinking clearly. The heart was taken to the garden, obviously. What makes you think that? Hi, brother. Take care. There is no other place to hide it nearby. The garden is locked with a key held by the head administrator. Find the key. It will be somewhere in the library. I found a key while exploring the dungeons. This is the key. To the garden. Hurry. To the garden of Eden. Okay, so that door is probably open now. So, irritatingly enough, that marker was above. So basically you're having to go back and forth, back and forth with this quest. Back to the one room, back to the other, you know what I mean? And then so... I did a little needless running about, but uh, essentially you do just kind of have to go back and forth. I'm assuming the door was in here. So he's going to open this for us, I'm assuming. You said I was the first living person to set foot in here in centuries. But there are human remains here. Fresh remains. Those ones, yes. They didn't help me, you see. They were only interested in treasure. 
I didn't stop them. It was the treasure that doomed them. So interesting, you can't do this unless you've progressed the storyline, which was part of the confusion. And you have that weird thing telling you how to cook it. That must be for a different class. Maybe you can cook as a mage or something. This is nice, though. I get the treasure before I talk to this guy, although these ones did not die well. You probably gonna tell me to get those for the ingredients. Poker's back. Well, how do I get over there? Not here either. Again? This is bad. This is very bad. What happened? It's in astral storage. There's no other place it could be. And that's where one finds. That's where the chimeras are. Mm -hmm. Naturally. Yes, chimeras. At least one. You'll have to fight it. Why do I keep getting dragged into these situations? I recall the mages of old distracted them with a favorite food. There used to be ingredients for that dish in the laboratory. You have two options. Kill the chimera outright, or pacify it. Let me know when you're ready. I'll open a portal to the storage. Yeah, I could go back and try to cook that order. We're going to go ahead with power. Hopefully we're able to beat it. Are you prepared? I'm opening the portal. I'm hoping for your success, friend. You'd probably say. <laughs> I'm hoping that once you get your heart back, you'll be more human. I guess I should save before I jump down in there. And get a few more troops and probably always come back here another time as well. That's cool. Neat. Am I prepared this card to isn't going camera? anywhere. Shame. Huh. Take the ride. Oh dang. A little bit more than a chimera. Deadly enemy. Wow, look at these guys. Fire elementals, ice elementals, there's a chimera. That might be one of their higher level troops. Probably level five, yeah. I don't know, it's five might be the highest level you can get. I think scary looking, man. Alright, well. Deadly enemy, huh? I'm assuming I'd have to probably come in here with a certain kind of troops. Maybe ones that hurt fire and ice. More just more guys, more spells, more attack power. Oh, we came all the way in here for nothing. There's no warp stone, no nothing. We could find a way to distract the chimera, was a thing. I mean, the game did say there was, that power was not always the best option. So we'll, let's do this and see what happens. Press, hold me. Shadala, Aka, Toro! Okay, so, oh, I got a finesse point. See, I, would, I wanted the power point, but... Got some XP for that. 
Level up? Level up? So I have been building this up. I think I have full there. 20 evasion. So I haven't used 16 power points yet. I really don't want to put points in there, but I don't think I have enough otherwise. Four points, four points, three points, three points. So I actually need two points in something. So I could do one here, one here. 16 power points, or maybe I have to have, how do I only have 11? That's weird. can actually add one guy to my army there. Nice. Super strange. Maybe you get power points another way. Maybe that's only by doing those kinds of quests where you get those power points. See how I just earned a point here. Maybe that's what those are in the middle. And I just wasted my uh, points doing these. And I can do them here. Look at that, I could be getting the XP. Oh, I could gain leadership. Dang, I should have done a reset here. I may look into that. I did get one free reset. I don't know how to get a reset outside of that. But I may look into that, especially because I just wasted two points there. Hmm. Anyway, let's go check out and see what if I can do this fight now. This card isn't going anywhere. Shame. Oh, I keep thinking maybe I'm supposed to put the bait in there. I'll just leave the full cauldron right here. treasure in here probably not but maybe what's all this over here nada I'm assuming there's probably just the one thing here What do you think this guy is like some super villain that I just unleashed on the world? Well, I gotta go look up here. Block.
I can feel again. I have a body. My body. I'm back. I'm fully materialized. My head is spinning. I can't believe it. I'm alive. I never thought the undead could return like that. <laughs> Not all. Just some. I've had centuries to prepare after all. Oh, this will take getting used to. The body is so heavy. I'm eternally grateful to you. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Hmm. Maybe I find him later. All right. Well, let's see what else there is to do. I guess we already went and got this treasure. Oh. I guess we did that last time. So I could go back and check this out. It looks like there's a new quest here. Confer with Horus. Oh, that's right. I was trying to find that. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, I'll probably do that offline and, and really see where that goes. So these are some fights that I needed to go back and do that were pretty tough. Uh, this fight was pretty tough here. Um, so, I mean, I'm kind of looking at needing to complete these two fights in order to progress the game. I could try to go back down through here some more. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was kind of stuck in here. Why I didn't go in here. So, you know, I might be able to go back and check that out. But, uh, I mean, that pretty much wraps that up. I mean, like I said, I go back and do some of these fights. I may have to end up doing everything offline from here on out because of the way that the streaming is working and just what's been happening here with YouTube and allowing us to kind of stream and, and blocking our streams and, and doing some different stuff because of whatever's going on with the checks and balances process. Hopefully they can get that figured out. Uh, if you guys watch this video and you've been having the same problem, leave, let us know in the comments. Let somebody know that matters so that they can get that fixed. Uh, hopefully it's not just an issue for us. <laughs> So, anyway, well, in a way, I hope it is, because then other people aren't having to go through the same thing, but if it becomes a known issue, we should be able to take care of it. My goodness, anyhow, I'm still waking up, enjoying the beauty of King's Bounty 2. Thanks for coming along with us, guys. I definitely am going to be playing this some more. Like I said, I'm just going to have to figure out what's going on with the streaming uh, it may just end up doing offline recordings and then uploading massive chunks of this game at one time, which is more of a hassle for me, but you know what? I'm enjoying playing the game, and hopefully you guys are enjoying experiencing it with me. Uh, I know it's not as interactive to, to do this non-offline streams, but there's a lot of stuff here for you to enjoy with or without me blabbing on and on and on. So uh, anyway, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. You've been hanging out with Brothers Forge Gaming. And we'll see you next time.